What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for you. Another live fight companion. Today, we're staying in Paris, France. Yes, we were there for Eris 15 yesterday, and we are back, or I should say, we are still here for Bellator 296, Musasi and Edwards. That's right, Leon Edwards' brother against the legend Gegar Musasi. Can he get to 50 wins tonight? How crazy would that be, by the way? 50 wins, 8 losses? I mean, vote in our poll question, does Gegar Musasi have another uh, title in his career? I, I know that's not how I worded it i worded it way better than that but anyways vote in the poll question on youtube if you're joining us on twitch or facebook get your ass over to youtube so you can vote in the poll question and join our live chat despite the poll question being centered around gegar musasi potentially winning another title in or outside of bellator in his last year couple years of competition wouldn't it just be a boss move for him to get that 50th win and then just drop the mic i'm done 50 and 8 what a crazy record that would be. I'm Isha Jeremy, by the way, if you're new to the channel, what is up? We do live fight companions every single weekend. We have so many more planned out this weekend, folks. BKFC tonight, uh, followed by a member stream as well. If I could sneak it in between this and uh, BKFC, we'll do that as well. Then tomorrow we have UFC and some top rank boxing to cap the day off. Uh, we're totally interactive, so join the live chat. I know we're a few fights into this Bellator card, but there's so many fucking prelims on this card. And shoot, folks, it's Saturday. And and you know what? I was gonna originally do the one championship stream early this morning, then do Bellator, then do BKFC. The one championship card wasn't even announced till two hours before I went to bed last night. I went to bed at like two a.m. So fuck off one like i'm sorry I, I love you you're one of my favorite promotions out there but like come on i can't prepare for that shit even composer didn't have it on his site until like probably yesterday either so anyways my apologies for not covering one but we're here bellator 296 very fun event here we're a few fights into the prelims they've been kind of exciting that's why i wanted to start a few fights into the prelims so let's freaking go you can watch live on youtube and or showtime then we'll switch over to the pay-per-view on showtime for the last five fights on the card. All right, let's. I said we're totally interactive. So let's get back to the comments. Then we'll highlight the next two fighters. I'll give my prediction. Then I want to hear yours. Uh, the My favorite right off the bat, though, is this Shane, who, guys, like Shane and I, we've been friends for a long time. Shout out to Shane, one of the exclusive members on the channel. Shane doesn't wake up early, okay? Shane sleeps in. And I, I like waking up early. Um, you know, so sometimes I even wake up early, do some things, and then like take another nap, wake up, you know, late morning again. But like, I like waking up early. I like waking up right when the sun is um, rising here in like the spring and summer or like well before in the winter, right? The the darkness for a couple hours. So when Shane said I got up early, mostly for the fights. And then he thought it started at nine, didn't read the fine print. I chuckled a bit. I chuckled a bit. Uh, Poke uh, banana or banane, banana, banana. It's on YouTube, buddy. Uh, what's up, Peak Masters? Let's go, France. Salut tout le monde. Yeah, lost 69 action. I saw that too. Uh, what's up, Jules? Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Appreciate you all. No behind the comments. We're going to run through them. I don't know a name on this card until Saul Rogers, and then not again until Douglas Lima. Bellator, baby. And we have our next fight here. Featherweights coming up next. They're being announced in the center of the ring. So we'll. Uh, We'll highlight them quickly here in a sec. Uh, that was close, but not enough. To you as well, Mr. Master. There's only four fights on the main card. TRPZ, yo, what's up, TRPZ? It's good to see you. Sorry, I'm skipping KSW this weekend. We're gearing up for Coliseum 2, baby. Fran French MMA, mon ami en France. Salut, mon ami. I am good. How are you? Did you enjoy the Ares event yesterday? Mike Jones, yes, BKFC and Bellator. All right, speaking of, uh, fighters are being announced in the center of the cage, so let's um, also highlight these guys. Again, this is in Paris. There's a lot of French fighters on this card. Uh, Faba Carey, uh, Diata versus Kier Harvey. Faba Carey, Diata, 8-1 and one in his pro MMA career. He's 4-1 and one in his last five fights. He's 20 uh, six years of age. 2-1 and one in Bellator, 6-0 and oh in 100% fights. He lost his last fight to Jordan Barton before then. Impressive win streak. Uh, two of those wins came in Bellator. Looking at his opponent here, Harvey, 5-2-2. Two two, last two fights. He's from Scotland, 24 years of age. Round one. We'll get to the commentary in a sec here, folks. 
Uh, one, one, and one in EFC. Uh, had a, a two, two draw. His last two fights were a draw. That's crazy. Two draws, a loss, and a win in EFC. He's fought in Cage Warriors, Celtic Gladiator, making his Bellator debut, representing Scotland. I'm going with the France guy. I'm going with the French guy, I should say. I'm going with Diada locking it in. Let me know your predictions in the live chat, folks. We are four minutes and 30 seconds into this fight. Again, you can find this on Showtime, YouTube, and or Bellator. Switch over to the main card later. I'll update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. We'll get right back to commentary. That's right, folks. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat here. So join us and get your predictions in. Diata in the red corner. Harvey in the blue. And Harvey from Scotland. And Diata landing some good left hands. You can see the right side of Harvey's eyes already starting to swell. Beautiful combos by Diata there. Just, just a lot quicker in his combos. The inside leg kicks, double jabs, straight lefts all day, every day. Yes, a lot of those editing clips. I can't say hi. I wish you a good stream. Thank you so much, French MMA. Drop by later. We'll be we'll be around all day and night. Shout out to you, sir. Shane's also picking Diada. Yeah, Diada's piece in the part of Harvey right now. Three minutes and 35 seconds on the clock here. First round. Trying to enter with that straight left jab was Harvey. Oh, my God. Diada with some beautiful counter strikes. I mean, Diada has some quick hands. Let's see if the speed lasts. Eye poke. Harvey poked Diada in the eye. I'm going for Coliseum to Warsaw. I want to feel this crowd live. That is amazing. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. That's going to be so awesome, brother. I hope you have an amazing time there. I can't wait to just watch it as a fan. You going there, that's going to be incredible. Or right, a little bit of a break in action right now. And today, let's be honest, tomorrow's KSW card, it's not the best card. Three minutes and 20 seconds. Now, I know KSW, for the most part, they all deliver, but you know what I mean. We're back into this, like I said, three minutes, ten seconds on the clock, first round. Entering with that straight left and trying to set up a combo is Harvey, but man, Diada's just way too quick. He's way too quick. With his inside low kick setting up his punches or vice versa. Haven't seen Diada mix it up too much with the body yet, but just because he's having so much success with that straight left jab. Look at the, I think it's right under the eye of Harvey that's cut up now. You can shout to Benjamin and Shane, the exclusive members on this channel. But we got the regulars here as well. Special shout out to you guys as well. Thank you so much for joining. Big day of fights. Big weekend of fights. As we have BKFC tonight. UFC and some top ranked boxing tomorrow. Also KSW going on tomorrow as well. It's during uh, UFC though. So, Oh, and a nice shot there by Diada. Tagged Harvey. Diada's a tank though. He's continuing to move forward. But I mean, look at the damage on his face. And we're only in the first round here, folks. Two minutes on the clock. I mean, the broad guys, be careful because Harvey brings power. I don't know, man. He hasn't... I mean, mind you, he hasn't connected with a big shot. Oh, beautiful right and straight left by Diada. Right by Diada. Diada's landing every single... Every single strike, man. Oh, and just leaking now is Harvey. Absolutely leaking. Another counter left by Diada. And it's so quick. So quick. JC, you missed it. You missed me rant about it. One championship didn't announce that they were even going to have one until yesterday at uh, midnight my time. So fuck that. I Like, I'm sorry. Composa didn't even have it listed. So if you're not going to get your shit together until two hours before, you know, midnight for us, and, and and regardless of time zones, if you're not going to tell us a day ahead of time that it's actually happening, I'm going to plan my fucking mornings for this shit and take work off and stuff. So I'm a little disappointed with one, to be honest, JC. I'm a little disappointed. I was going to like, and I stayed up way too late last night going to bed. I'm like, oh, so there is going to be a Friday fight. So, well, like I'm going to bed. I stayed up late. Like, so I was a little disappointed, not going to lie, but I did catch the end of it and I'll rewatch it later. But yeah, I was a little disappointed that like, just say, we're having them every Friday until, you know, stated otherwise, rather than me having to wait and refresh my YouTube and Kaposa's, uh, you like website and all this shit, just waiting for it. It was so fucking annoying. I'm rattled, as you can see. But yes, uh, the last three fights were really good. I caught those. Excited to check the check out the rest of the card later. Uh, JC, thank you for joining, brother. Two or 25 seconds left. 
They were on the ground for a little bit there. Diablo did have success taking Harvey to the ground. Harvey got back up to his feet, though, using the cage to help him back up. 15 seconds left. Nice left elbow by Diada. God. Big John McCarthy's play-by-play -play is not that great. Anyways, uh, ending strong in the top position. Diada took, him to, took Harvey to the ground, just ended with some shots to the mat. I also see that as well. One is inconsistent updating Friday fight, so I just expect every Friday they will be a fight. Fair, but like I have a job. It's really early for me. Like I can't just bank on it every week because if it's not the case, then like, oh boy, that ruins my whole day sort of thing. So like, yeah, I mean, these are first world problems. I get it. Um, for the most part, I will assume that they're going to happen. But again, like I have to set up the stream, right? And like put the, the bout order, the names of all the fighters. Like I have a whole system. If I don't even have that, if Tapology doesn't have that info, I'm screwed. <laughs> but uh, no, we'll definitely, I know... I talked to a few journalists uh, for one championship and they said that basically there's going to be one um, Amazon obviously card every month and then one stacked Friday fights card in addition to one every week. Um, so I'm excited for the next stacked one. It should be coming up either next week or the week after. I haven't looked ahead because again, they don't really announce them too much ahead of time. Already bruised and battered is Harvey. Second round starting now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's Dang, what the heck happened with those PFL fighters that just got suspended? They were uh they were test subjects for Paulo Costa's new secret juice. Tiago Santos to Oh, nice a left hand by Diada drops Harvey. Harvey desperately going for a single leg as he's not down and out, but he is about to be as he rolls to his back here. Diada hammer fist from the top position. Harvey still moving here. Still moving. Trying to defend. A right underhook under the le left leg of Diada. And a left arm around his torso. But elbows now to the body. Attacking the liver. Actually, I don't know if that's where the liver is. But I imagine it is. Attacking the body anyways. I got corrected once for a stream for not knowing where the liver is. Right side? Left side? Anyways. Despite that, regardless, nevertheless... Attacking the body is Diada. Harvey here. Holding on for dear life as Diada's his right knee to the ground. Left leg planted. Diada trying to push off his head. God, I wish there was the global rule set because then Diada would have just kicked Harvey in the face there. Good night, Jim Kite. What's up, Soto? It's good to see you, buddy. Back up to the feet. Straight left hand by Diada. Harvey's getting his ass kicked right now. Going for a takedown. Harvey gets the takedown, but only to be reversed by Diada. Diada's is back. Diada left shots to the side of Harvey's head. Can he finish it here? Covering up right now is Harvey. Three minutes and ten seconds left, though, and Diada's just bullying him, son. Hey, old brother. What's up, Mr. Grant Gregory? One of our exclusive members on the channel as well. What is up, Lord Gregory? It's good to see you, man. It's been a few weeks. Look at that. The whole crew's in the chat here today. I love it. Well, minus Mike Jones and, and a few, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. We got a good, we got a good bunch here. Uh, right side of Harvey's shoulder and torso. Now back up against the cage. Ass on the mat. Back to the cage. By the way, if anyone's viewing on Facebook or Twitch, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat so you can vote in the poll question. We will not be streaming on Twitch and Facebook all the time. We did stream there last weekend, so thank you guys for the support there. As we, were, we were unable to stream on YouTube. Twitch and Facebook will be our backup platforms that we stream on whenever we can't stream on YouTube. So we decided to stream on Twitch and Facebook one more time this last weekend to tell you all, you new viewers who met us, viewed us, and hung out with us last week to get your ass over to YouTube, like, and subscribe. Folks, we are setting the like goal on this video here today at 50 likes. We hit our like goal of 30 likes yesterday. Oh my God! We're setting it at 50 likes today. So if you haven't already, get your ass on YouTube so you can like this video. We're trying to get this video to 50 <laughs> likes. One minute and 48 seconds left in this second round. Pure domination by Diada here in the wrestling department. Just controlling how he wants to beat up Harvey here on the ground. Harvey 
back and or right side. Keeps getting pressed up against the cage. Good job by Harvey getting back up to his feet. Found an opportunity there. You see the size difference. Harvey is a little bit taller than Diada, but Diada, man, those quick hands. One minute, 25 seconds. Diada with a good counter left uppercut. Whoops. One minute, 15 seconds left, folks. Uh, Tiago Santos, Bruno Capelloza, Will Flurry, Christoph Jocko, Christoph Jocko, uh, Rizvan Kuniev, Cesar Ferreira, Mohamed uh, Fakardin, no way, Fakardin, uh, Alejandro Flores, and Daniel Torres suspended. I knew uh, I knew Santos and Jocko were, but those were just the headliners of some articles. That's crazy. All of them were removed? Damn, PFL just lost a ton of their roster. That's crazy. 43 seconds left in this fight, by the way. Harvey is an absolute beast. Harvey is an absolute tough son of a bitch as he's still in this. And he gets a, I wouldn't even count that as the takedown because that was mostly Diada trying to get out of the way. And Diada rolls out of it and starts punishing Harvey again. But Harvey's just been taking so much damage in this fight, ladies and gentlemen. So much damage in this fight. Diada's basically, he's basically sparring right now. Secret juice. All performance enhancers. They all pissed hot. They pissed Conor McGregor 2022 hot. Absolutely leaking now. He's got to watch those elbows to the back of the head. And that is it for the second round. Harvey is somehow still in this. Absolute domination. I know you got to punch his chance in MMA. We've seen crazier comebacks, folks. But I don't think Harvey has landed. Uh, I don't think he landed a single strike in that second round. Seriously, okay, let's say significant strike. Maybe he landed like a little muffin jab. Anyways, end of the second round here was it 10 8 10 8 for Diada. I mean, these are Bellator judges, so who the, I know again, they're not Bellator judges. Someone read me out, someone re watch an entire stream. And by the way, Benjamin, I have some mean, uh, mean slash YouTube flagged comments. I'm put together a compilation, I'm going to read four of them. Or maybe I'll do like three at a time, actually, and bank a few. And then we'll kind of like the mean tweets segment. We'll, we'll do a little uh, series of that on the channel. Um, but one person literally watched an entire Bellator stream only to rip on me every uh, with timestamps every time I said Bellator judges. Bellator judging is just notoriously bad because they're mostly in California and California judges suck. Okay, so that's why I'm when I'm saying Bellator judges, I'm saying California judges. In this case, it's France. And I will say the Aris judges yesterday, magnifique. They did a great job. I don't think there was a single robbery. So maybe the judging is a little bit better here in France. But uh, I got that Bellator stink, that Bellator stench, rust. Um, you know. Terrible association with judging in Bellator. Round three. Let's get it! Which makes it crazy to bet on. By the way, I don't see any betting odds here on Topology for these fights. PFL said they'll release why they suspended after a meeting in a few days. Well, we all know why. Loser reads hater comments number four. <laughs> four minutes on the clock here in this third and final round. Harvey on his right side on the mat. Diada, absolute dom. Like, I don't know what else to say, guys. I know I've, I've repeated that so many times here, but like, absolute domination. What the fuck else do you say? <laughs> By the way, Benjamin. Benjamin Shamer watching me on the exclusive membership stream. Fe literally fell asleep in these clothes last night on my desk. So my neck's a little hurting here today, guys. I may have to take a couple breaks between these Bellator uh, breaks and roll out the old neck here. Three minutes and 35 seconds left. Skip the gym last night to do a member stream. Love you guys. Elbows here at the top position by Diada. Three minutes and 23 seconds left. Just continuing with the back control here. And what I love about Diada is when he's on the ground, he's actually doing damage. Like, I've, there's been so many fights. And I get Aris lower level in Bellator, but like, and then that, that's fresh in my mind from yesterday. But there's so many promotions, man. There's so many promotions where guys just get on the ground and, and UFC too and just wrestle, you know, a couple shots here just so the ref doesn't stand him up. But Diada here, he wants to end it in every position on the ground. I love it. Harvey's face looks like he's just being massacred. 
Oh, short right elbows here inside control by Diada as he's pushing the back of Harvey while Harvey's on his right side on the mat up against the cage. So just like Harvey has nowhere to move here. Harvey's trying to move here, which is why the official's not any it because it's not like um, a consistent sequence and flurry of strikes. But it is crazy. <laughs> this is new. This is new. Uh, Belter feels more like a regional promotion so far below what Strike Force was. Oh, 100%. If it was not for Strike Force, the UFC would not be what it is today, too. Strike Force was unbelievable. Uh, back take, Diada with the right hook in. Uh, the Splendid Dingler. <laughs> What's up, the Splendid Dingler? Big up, the Splendid Dingler. Welcome to the stream. Uh, back mount, 1 minute 50, one, or 55 seconds left in this third on back mount. Now, Modified half guard, but pretty much fucking mount here is Harvey again. Left side on the mat here, back up against the cage. Hammer fist by Diada. Could this be the end of it? No, Harvey's moving again here. And shout out to the dingler. Francis by negotiation. <laughs> What's up, man? Thank you so much for joining. Doesn't have the hook in, but was threatening with a choke here. I mean, just absolute domination. Fighting the hands is Diada just so he can push it down and get some shots in on the side of Harvey's face. Now looking to grab the leg here and pull him outwards. This is a good comment. This is a good comment, Benjamin. This, this is comment of the night thus far. This is comment of the night thus far. <laughs> Benjamin is our resident winner of comments of the night every single stream. I think Shane gave him a run for his money like once. Back up to their feet here. I mean, props on Harvey. He's still in this, but... I mean, oh, one-two by Diada. But yes, Benjamin, this is very true. Like, some cards, mind you, when they stack them, looks like, you know, one of the better promotions in the world. Then there's some other ones, man, like that. Katsunganu, who... Was she the headliner or, like, co-main, the last one that we did on the channel? Awful card. Awful card. Bad decisions, bad fights. It was fun to see underdogs win, but underdogs win in every Bellator card. I'll never forget the fucking plus 900 who knocked out the guy in 10 seconds. Or 30 seconds. Potentially going for a last second arm bar here with 10 seconds left is Harvey. No, does not have the arm. Potential triangle, but there is not enough time. With only five seconds left, there's not enough time here by Harvey. Reverse triangle here. 69 triangle here, baby, and that's going to be it for the fight. We're going to finish it, and it's all over! Oh, splendid. I got you, buddy. I got you. Splendid, don't say I never did anything for you, buddy. Bum, bum. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I'm watching on YouTube. Um, you can also watch it. Well, I mean, YouTube, they're showing it on Showtime and Bellator. I can't believe they didn't let you watch in the UK. Splendid, I got you. Mr. Dingler, I got you. Um, oh, I love how you changed your profile picture, too. Uh, the MMA guru hasn't got anything on you. Big up the Splendid Dingler. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Well, thank you very much, brother. I know, I mean, the Gru, he, he is 100% an MMA channel. This channel here, I mean, it's it's me and my, 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 my best friend, my brother Kyle, and we're just doing what we love. You know, music content, tarantula feedings, fucking general travel vlogs, um, fishing content, and I love mixed martial arts, combat sports, so I do these streams and these fight companions. So, uh... I appreciate the kind words. We're very much different channels. I love mixed martial arts. I love combat sports. Um, I appreciate that you love these live streams, sir. We do live fight companions every single weekend. Thank you so much for joining. And I love the barbecue profile picture. That is awesome. Shane is watching on YouTube too. Your stream is like 10 seconds ahead of you. Shane, are you watching on Showtime YouTube or Bellator? I'm watching on Bellator YouTube. All right, official decision is coming up. We all know what happened here. I'm just curious to see what the score is because I had that 10 8, 10 8, 10 8. Thank you so much, Splendid. Shout out to Splendid. You're just making horns, buddy. Thank you so much. Seriously, I appreciate it. Fuck. 
30 to 26 in the last judge there. Uh, I haven't, there are, oh, I haven't, there are many of us. Oh my goodness. Fuck, <laughs> Teguru is a crippled Jew. I thought I saw him walk though. The Splendid Dinglers. So they're Dinglers. All Hail City Life Project. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Wow. There are two parts of the Dingler, clearly. There's a couple Dingleberries. Can't watch it in Turkey. Mr. Big Wig, I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, uh, Mr. Big Wig, uh, Majig, I saw you on another stream, by the way. And on a couple of YouTube clips. Maybe it was uh, Mr. Grant that shared them. Um, I'm going to get right back to the comments here in a sec. I just want to update the graphic on screen as we roll on through these prelims, folks. Again, appreciate you all for watching. You guys are amazing. Shout out to the Dingles, the Dingleberries here in the chat. Flood in the chat. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> we are many. There are two parts to the Dingler. Um, by the way, uh, Mr. Big Wig, my jig, a jig, lig, Vietnam, ham, gem, fig, stig, the guy on uh, Twitter in the last stream couldn't even say your name. What a peasant. I just threw something in the live chat. That is for you. Patchy Mix and AJ McKee get signed by UFC and Bellator goes under. Where isn't Bellator being sold right now anyways? What is up? Yuri's Roy De Leon, my man. What is going on, brother? I'm here again. Yes, you are. Thank you so much for joining Splendid Dinger Takeover. We have decided collectively to ditch the Guru and follow you City Life for life. Look at that. We got some new City Lifers here, folks. Thank you so much to the Dinglers. You guys are awesome. I did not expect on this Bellator stream to have the Dingles join us. The Splendid Dingles be part of our family now. So thank you very much. No, no problem, Mr. Bigwig. I'm on the Bellator channel. I tried the Showtime one, but it said not available in my country. Okay, so that must be just in the United States. Yeah, Wig showed up on one of my podcasts. Okay, that was it. And I, the guy couldn't even say his name. What a peasant, Mr. Grant Gregory. What a peasant. I don't like the Guru since he moved out of his Nana's house. His Nana's shed. I, I don't watch the Guru's live streams. I, I do watch a lot of his, uh, like, well, his prediction videos, a lot of his breakdowns. Um, I like his tier list and I like the satire stuff. You know what I mean? Like I like when he goes after some of the fighters. I love Dan Hardy and Veronica Hardy. I love Veronica Hardy way more than Dan Hardy, but respect Dan Hardy was always a fan of the fighter Dan Hardy. Um, but the way he 10 would him and Goddard who I like as well was just, it was funny, but anyways, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you guys. I can't believe that the splendid army is in the chat here. We now have two commercials worse then BK, have it your way. Oh, God. You know what? I, I reamed out my roommate the other day. Um, he brought that atrocity into our house. I saw the rappers in the in the garbage. Nana should steal Guru's wheelchair back. The Legion of Dingers for crack. <laughs> I like it. It's mine. The price blow my mind. Cha-ching. Hail to all the dingles. The main card is not. It's on Showtime. Or what I sent Mr. Grant or Mr. Uh, Mr. Bigwig. I'm just being less. Uh, Shane Speaking Gonzalez. Yes, we have to highlight the next fighter series. Thank you so much. Dan Hardy, 10 sevens is white. Wait to see us hype UFC, the Dingles for life. Yes, I can't wait to see you guys for UFC. Dude, Dan Hardy's wife is, is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. And some people roll their eyes like, oh, yeah, whatever, Risha. Hey, we all got our type. And the fact that she's a badass fighter is just like, oh, swoon. It was the same with, like, Valentina. But on party, she took the throne. Uh, Primus took the secret juice. It's cheatery. <laughs> uh, mind your own. What's up, mind your own? Dingleberries. Splendid Dingle Takeover. Okay, we'll get back to the comments here in a sec. Keep them coming, folks. Fighters are being announced in the center of the cage, which means we have to highlight them here because I want to give my prediction. Shane, I'll get back to your prediction in a sec. 
We have Tim uh, Wildy against Chris Gonzalez. I say Wildy just because I'm a freaking North American pleb here, and it's not spelt. It could be Tim Wild, but anyways, we'll say Tim Wild out of England. <laughs> Plus 220 underdog, by the way, 35 years of age. Uh, 15, four and one. He is three, one and one in his last five fights. Huge underdog, six KOT gear, one submission, eight decisions, three, one and one in Bellator, two, three and oh in Cage Warrior, and three and oh in Bama. He's on a three fight win streak right now, uh, despite one draw in the middle of that as well. Going up against Chris Gonzalez, who is my pick, ladies and gentlemen. He is the minus 275 favorite, 31 years of age, eight. Two and oh, three and two in his last five fights. He won his last fight. Three KO, TKO, one submission, four decision. He's seven and two in Bellator. This is someone who they homegrown Bellator product here. He beat Max Roshkop, who's a seven and one guy in his last fight for or second round TK. I'm going with Gonzalez here. He is the favorite minus what is that, 275. Locking it in. That is my pick. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Live play play commentary, reaction, and interaction, folks. We do fight companions every single weekend, so like and subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of this weekend, and we are trying to get to 50 likes on this video. That is the like goal today on this video. We hit 30 yesterday for Eris. Let's up it. Let's get 50 here for Bellator. Four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock here if you want to sync up with my stream. I'm watching on Bellator YouTube. Here are the prelims for Bellator 296. Vote in the poll question if you haven't already as well. Wild in the Blue corner, Gonzalez in the red. Gonzalez, a lot more lanky. Moving though, bopping up and down. Head movement, footwork here by Wild. At least he's making it look that way. <laughs> kind of awkward here, kind of awkward. Ooh, a nice step in right hook by Gonzalez. Francis T wins by botch negotiation. I'm gonna steal Guru's wheelchair and send it to you via FedEx. If you do, I will make a I'll make a vlog in the wheelchair. Hell, I'll do a whole live stream in the wheelchair. I mean, only uh, only Cyril gone as of late. There's a lot of good French fighters yesterday. Mama Edwards has a favorite son. Well, obviously, he bought her a restaurant. Good vibes. Good vibes. The first time I needed you for Ryzen, your stream gets pulled down. Useless. I know. We got scammed, bro. Hey, was that you? Was that you, mind your own? Yeah, we uh, almost... We uh, we were in the midst of being hacked and scammed. Hey, we were back the next one for 42. And that was three and a half hours in. Why do I need to use a VPN in order to see this? They blocked my country. What the fuck? Serial gains. Bang right. Bang. Two minutes and 33 seconds. Keep the comments coming. You guys are awesome. Straight left hand by Wild. Ooh, a nice combo by Wild. A good flurry by shots there. The first three landed. Gonzalez goes, no, no, no. But no, there's a few shots that landed. By the way, if you guys want a better look at the, the fighter profile here, if you want me to click any of the fighters here as I do my rundown, just let me know. Gonzalez is smiling here. They're loving this. They're loving this, folks. You can shout out to all you joining us here. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. The Splendid Dinglers, Peak Master, mind your own. We got some exclusive members in Benjamin and Shane. Jules is here. Mr. Grant. Oh, yeah, Mr. Grant, exclusive member. He's here as well. Mr. Big Wig. Uh, De Leon. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much for joining. Soto as well. Drop by. Appreciate you guys. Keep the comments coming. What do you guys think about the poll question, by the way? Hit me up with uh, your thoughts. One minute, 35 seconds on the clock here. If you guys are watching on Facebook or Twitch, by the way, get your ass over to YouTube so they can join our live chat. The guru went to a bisexual orgy. Aren't like all orgies bisexual? Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't that, isn't that implied? Um, should have seen him in the sex swing. Did it have hydraulics for the wheelchair? One minute and four seconds left. Wild is good footwork, man. I'm impressed. 
I'm impressed. 53 seconds. I know I haven't been doing as much focus play by play for this first round. I've been, I mean, we've had some comments and you guys know I love the interaction. Nice spinning body kick or spinning kick to the body by Wild. Um, I've had one eye on this full first round the whole time. One eye on the comments here. And Wild, in my opinion, has won this first round. Now, I have to take a look at the significant strikes. Again, not as easily available as the way ESPN tracks them for the UFC when we do live events like that. But still, I, I, I'm hoping Belter will show them in between rounds here. Nice body kick by Wild and evading the takedown again. Oh, and he just gets taken down by Gonzalez. He did a good job of defending it up until that point. Gonzalez gets a takedown. Let's see if he can do anything with the takedown here with 10 seconds left in this first round. Uh, Sean, what's going on, Sean? So far, I think Wild is winning. Gonzalez got a late takedown and landed some few strikes on the ground there. For the most part, it's been a good striking affair. I think Wild has landed more shots. When he walks in, he lands more strikes with the flurry of shots. There is an argument to be made that Gonzalez maybe landed the more significant strikes, but especially towards the end of that first round. I got Wild winning that. Again, Gonzalez with some nice shots here as we're looking at the replay right now. Of course, Belto is going to show the like their guy in Gonzalez, but still. Mama Edwards with the Jamaican restaurant. So the Jamaican chicken in the soda. I picked Gonzalez too. Yes, I did. Lock it in for good measure. Yo, we'll tell, tell Ant-Man to get his ass over to this stream. Shane, I see Ant-Man in every MMA stream. I was watching the BKFC uh, weigh-ins, and I saw him there. But yeah, Shane, tell him to get his ass over here. Ant-Man, where you at? Round two. Let's get it all! Ant-Man, one of our exclusive members as well. Shout out to Ant-Man, by the way. He watches all of our other videos on this channel that aren't related to MMA. I don't know if some of you do as well, but he, he comments on them and stuff like that too. So shout out to him. I should set Big John to be my morning alarm. His commentary is like nails on chalkboard to my ears. Dude, I know. It, he's bad. He is. And look, like, un, like unbelievable ref. Like, he never... He, he never nosedived like, uh, like Herb Dean, who's just awful now, right? Like, Big John was good till the end. He's so bad. He's so bad with the color commentary. Because just, it's not even that, like... Like, there's some who are like, like for example, Cruz. Like, Cruz isn't exciting for the UFC, but like, he actually has, except for that one blunder that we all know, he actually has good takes, right? And he's good at breaking down the fights. Big John just lies straight up, man. He just lies and he just talks nonsense. Oh, a beautiful left hook by Wild. Beautiful left hook by Wild in that exchange. Three minutes and 55 seconds on the clock here, folks. I know some of you aren't watching this right now. If you need a place to watch this, let me know. I'll go back to the. Focus play by play by play here, but keep the comments coming. Live play by play commentary reaction and interaction, folks. Oh, a nice step in right elbow by Gonzalez. Gonzalez in the red corner. Outside low kick by Wild. Right away, Gonzalez goes for the takedown after that. He did not like that again. Wild's footwork, head movement, outstanding here. And sometimes when a guy moves around, it's, it doesn't necessarily mean it's good footwork. There's moving, but Wild doing a good job. It's slowing down a little bit, don't get me wrong, compared to the first round, but Doing a very good job of pressuring Gonzalez to the cage. Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock here, folks. Spinning kick to the body. Again, that's the second time that Wild has employed that in this fight. And now he can fake with it, right? Now he can fake with it. Oh, a nice right hand by Gonzalez. Overhand right to set up the takedown. He gets it wild back up to his feet, though, and a slam takedown by Gonzalez right after. This is where Gonzalez wants the fight to be. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Guru's grandma was in the original cast of Animal. Did he live with this guy? I thought he lived with his parents, not his grandma. You guys really don't like the guru. Uh, another good option for morning alarm. Eddie! Ah! Yes. Uh, that is hilarious. I love how he was asked about it on uh, the MMA hour. And I love his response for it too. Dude, you can tell. They're just like, they're, they're probably just 
a crazy couple. So much fun. Uh, they probably embarrass their kids. You know what I mean? Or they, maybe their kids are still too young to be like embarrassed by their parents. But as soon as their kids like become teens, they're going to be the ones like embarrassing them. The kids are going to be the ones picking Eddie and his wife up from the bars. Like it's... Yeah. Or from the dinner parties where they're a couple two... Or uh, a couple a couple bottles extra deep on the vino. <laughs> oh, the tides have turned in the second round, folks. Gonzalez at around the two-minute mark was able to take Wild to the ground. And now in side control right now, just beating him up. We'll modify half guard side control right now, pinning his left side up against up against the cage and just beating him up on the ground. Absolutely, absolutely. They have good rapport too, which makes for good interviews. Especially between them. Oh, and a good reversal there by Wild to get back up to his feet. One minute left in this round. He could still win back this round. Wild could still win, still could win back this round. I love Guru's Nana. Not anymore. He did not show us love like you. Will we show you love, the splendid Dinglers? There's only two Dinglers here. Are there more of you or are there just two Dinglers? 44 seconds. Oh, beautiful front kick. Wild landed a beautiful front click right on the chin of Gonzalez. Gonzalez is phased. Gonzalez is wobbly. 34 seconds left. Spinning kick. Oh my goodness. Spinning back kick by Wild. Wild just won back this round. That was a beautiful front kick right. Oh, and now flung, switch me. Gonzalez desperately go for the takedown and he gets it with 20 seconds left. Wild has to make sure Gonzalez doesn't do any damage here. Gonzalez is tired, though. He's just landing some muffins here. Guys, did you see that kick? Wild kick Gonzalez right in the face. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. 12.46 p.m. for me. Folks, it's going to be a long day. I don't know if I should have another cup of coffee or if I should just go right into the beers. End of the second round. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. This underdog is looking amazing. God, why do I, why do I pick the favorites in Bellator, man? The underdogs always seem to win in this fucking promotion. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let me know your thoughts on this fight, ladies and gentlemen. First and second round. Second round is very, very close. I am giving the edge to the underdog, Tim Wilde. I think he is up in this fight. Two rounds to none. I think 10-9, 10-9 each time, but that second round was close. I can see the second. Oh, you know what? F fuck. Honestly, I could see the either the, I could see the judges scoring them either way. Second round, oh man. It was so back and forth. Both of them did damage to each other. Wild definitely had the fancier shots with the three kicks. I mean. Depending on who's dominant in this round, it could all come down to the first round. It's so close. Anyways, great fight. Great fight. This is what you want to see. They're both wearing damage. They're both landing good shots. They both show each other respect here to start the third and final round. Let's get it all. Let's get it on. Again, folks, let me know your thoughts on this fight in the live chat. Oh, outside low kick by Tim Wilde. Again, I think Wilde's winning this fight. I think he won the first round. I think he won that second round. Desperately going for the takedown now is Gonzalez. And coming right back at him is Wild. Good job by Wild there. Don't give him any time to breathe. Don't give him any time to breathe. By the way, folks, if you're watching on Facebook or Twitch, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat so you can vote in the poll question. Nice body shot by Wild. Again, Wild. Beautiful footwork, head movement, striking all fight, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think? Switch over to the Wobbly Pops or keep drinking coffee? Four minutes. On the clock here in this third and final round. Straight left jab by Wild pressuring Gonzalez to the cage. Invite him into the clinch there for some dirty boxing quickly in and out. Can Wild know he, he can... He can employ some fakes, especially with those spinning kicks. Yeah, Tim Wild, 100% controlling the round right here. That's the thing. It's the one good thing Big John has said all night. There you go. 
Peak Masters will offer you something special for those who migrate over from Facebook and Twitch. Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock here, folks, while controlling the... Oh, I almost said it. Controlling the ring. I guess not even a ring. Cage. Fuck, doing so much one championship in Ryzen. Ring, cage. Oh! And I don't know if it was a... Sl I think it was a slip there by Wild. I don't think he got dropped. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock here. Ooh, a nice step in left elbow. Shout out to all 30 of you viewing, by the way. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the video here today. That is our like goal. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction across the world of mixed martial arts and combat sports every single weekend. We do fight companions every single weekend, up to six, minimum of two. I really appreciate you all joining. It's tough. It's tough, Ruiz. I think that Tim Wilde is winning. I think he won the first round close. I think he won the second round close. I think he's absolutely dominating this third round thus far on the feet. As far as not allowing Gonzalez to get any shots in, he's in and out, landing some strikes, spinning back kick again. Doesn't land clean, but I have Tim Wilde winning this one. He can't get too careless, though, as there's one minute and 55 seconds left. It's not available in the God's country of Yorkshire. Guys, did you not see? I've been giving you stuff in the chat here to help you out. Peak Masters, I couldn't say who win this, to be honest. Well, if it comes down to who's landed the more strikes at this point and damage, I think it's wild. Okay, this is for the Dingler. This is for Ruiz. Come on, guys. You got to be you got to be smarter than this. I'm helping you out, and you guys are just la -da 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 -da, just looking over it. But yeah, it is close. It is close. Like I can see it going either way. I have it for a while. Like for judging this as a fight, there was about a minute and thirty second stretch in the second round where Gonzalez got the takedown, much like he just did right now, and actually did damage inside control. Right now, he's in the full guard of Wild, and I, I can't say he's doing as much damage as he did in that second round. Of course, brother. Of course. For the record, Splendid, I sent that like twenty minutes ago. But there you go. There you go. Just don't leave us now. Watch with us. It's a watch party. Still in the full guard. 32 seconds left. I don't think his takedown has done enough to win back the round at all, folks. And that's the thing. Even if it was a, even if it was one round apiece, one, two, this third round, you have to give it to Wild. He's done nothing with this takedown. A couple muffin left shots. Wild did way more on the feet. Should Robocop go back to KSW? I mean, he's had one legitimate one championship fight. He's had one. The first one, he got his nuts shattered. Okay, that's not his fault. All right, end of the third round, folks. Look at the finish it! And it's all over! You've got to give him three fights in a promotion to, to see. Are you going to call the fighter what? I absolutely, sir. Sean, like I said, uh, like I say every single time, brother, like I say every single time, I, I'll do focus play by play way more if you need. Sometimes everyone's watching anyways, and they just want me to, to hang out with the chat. Spencer, since you spoke up, I will absolutely do more focus play by play just for you, brother. So there you go. You didn't have to get cheeky about it. Look, Spencer's getting all fucking cheeky over. You can do play by play or what? I've been doing a little bit of a hybrid, bro, because the chat's been going and no one's been like, Isha, we need play-by-play -play now. Sean, by the way, Sean, Sean's heads are in the clouds too. I love you, Sean, but can you not see in the live chat? I gave you a gift, Sean. I gave you a gift. And this, and, and, sh and this is how Sean says thank you. <laughs> I love you too, Sean. Anyways, end of the third round. Sean, I will do more focus play-by-play -play for you, brother, in this next fight. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Sean with the cop out. Now I feel like a dick. God damn it. God damn it, Sean.
emotional damage. Now I feel like a dick. Now I feel like a dick. You should have told me. All right, anyways, the fight is over now, Sean. I will uh, definitely make sure that you get all the color and all the details on the next fight here since you were driving my man. My apologies. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, listening in for the official decision. Again, I imagine that Tim Wilde wins this one. It could be a split decision. It could be just close. I have him winning every round. I could see Gonzalez winning either the winning the first round. But anyways, we're listening in for the decision. Hell yeah! Unanimous decision all around. Tim Wild. Nick saying Gonzalez won. Nick is wrong. Emotional damage. People are only here to know what's happening in the fights, bro. Speak for yourself, mind your own. Trust me, how many live streams have I done now? Like 300? That is not the case. A very small fraction or can't watch it. And mind your own, I literally gave you... Um, folks, are, are you guys are you guys more baked than I am right now? I mean, come on. I'm, I literally gave you a gift. And mind your own's just like, no, no, no. I just want you to speak it to me. <laughs> oh, no, I love it. Hey, and like I said, you trust me. <laughs> like I said, you guys let me know. If you want more focused play-by-play, -play, I'm 100% will just devote to that. If not, I kind of do a hybrid because I want to hang out with you guys in the chat. And I assume, and this is on me, I assume you are all watching as well. So my apologies, my apologies. Some dude texting on his phone just drove by me snaking like a drunk Sean. Tim the dog. Yes, the dog winning this one, folks. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. Unanimous decision. I think it was the right decision as well. All right, moving on to this next fight here. And again, my apologies, folks. Not last fight for reading too many of the comments and not doing more focus play-by-play. -play. I will not disappoint you. Mind your own. I will not disappoint you, Sean. I trust you, brother. I trust you. I am not here just for the play-by-play. -play. Oh, there you go. There you go. I prefer the audiobook. Okay, some do, some do. They aren't for everybody. They're actually they're geo blocked for a few people, apparently. Um, which by the way, folks, main or uh, co-main event of the evening, uh Premise versus Barnoui is uh part of the lightweight world Grand Prix, as we know, Nurmagomedov beat Henderson. Uh Shabli Shabli, is that how you say his name? Uh, he advanced also in the last Bellator event. <clears throat> or read the comments that I fucking put in the live chat for you guys. I want to hear play by play in the narrative style of Morgan Freeman. Unfortunately, my voice ain't that uh, beautiful. I, I like I, I don't even know where to try to imitate Morgan Freeman. So I'm not going to. All right, we're going to highlight these quick these fighters here quick because we've been rushing them the last few times. Again, I promised this next uh, bout for folks at 140 pounds. A little catchweight action here. Uh, I will do more focused play-by-play -play as the fighters make their walkout to the cage. Now already they are in the cage. Belts are moves their shit quick here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Uh, it does work in the UK. I tried. Oh, there you go. There you go. Anyways, folks, um, let's highlight these next two fighters as we are seeing the tail of the tape right now on screen. And the fighters are about to be announced in the center of the cage. We have Shar Varjon Kamidov against Kevin Pechi. Uh, Kamidov, 14 and 0 in his pro MMA career. He's 26 years old out of Tajikistan, minus 550 favorite. But we know this is Bellator. The favorite don't mean shit. 14 and 0, ladies and gentlemen. Three KOT KO, four submissions, six decisions. He's 1 and 0 in Bellator. He won his Bellator debut via liver kick, where he beat Jose Maria Tome, who's 49. And oh, 
Really don't know much much else to say. He hasn't really crushed many cans either. To be perfectly honest, to beat a twenty nine and nine fighter before that, a seven and one before that, six and zero, oh, seven and one, five and one, and then a few cans, I guess, between uh twenty sixteen twenty nineteen when he was uh in his first seven fights. Yeah, he fought some cans. After that, he fought guys. You know, up a level, up a level, up a level. So not a can crusher by any means. Going up against the machine gun, the hometown boy out of France, Kevin Petchy, 32 years of age. He is four and one in his last five fights, 18 and five record, three KOTKO, nine submissions, six decisions, one and one in Ryzen, zero and one in ACB, making his Bellator debut. Here today, coming off a three-fight win streak. Last two were in a 100% fight. I'm going with the favorite, locking it in. I ain't going to be burned twice in a row going for the favorite, folks. I promise you that. Round one. Let's get it all! Know your predictions in the live chat, folks. bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum bum you can start your Morgan Freeman impression by painting your face black. Just ask Justin Trudeau. It's a Borat too. Look at Canada. So pro progressive with their black president. <laughs> I'm not really confident, but let's go France. <laughs> Clinch now in the center of the cage. Kamidov in the red. Pechi in the blue. Four minutes and ten seconds on the clock here. Back to the focus play-by-play. -play. We go. Shane's picking Kamidov. <laughs> Kamidov is shorter. Pechi with the height and reach advantage here. Pechi goes for the low kick. And immediately Kamidov goes for the takedown. Pulling guard is Pechi in the full guard. Close guard of Pechi is Kamidov. Again, Pechi with huge, or I should say long, long legs and limbs here. So comfortable, already looking comfortable in his guard. But Kamidov, just like a little pit bull here in the sense that he's just... Elbows, short shots, and actively trying to pass that guard. Hey, don't make fun of the French blended dinger. We have a ton of French fans here. Three minutes and 23 seconds left in this first round. Kamidov in the full guard of Pechi still. I don't, I can't even really do an Arnold Schwarzenegger voice, to be perfectly honest. Now you guys are treating me like the guru. Three minutes on the clock here. Half guard now. Kamidov landing some short right hands. Trying to get into side control, but still half guard has not postured up yet. And he's just kind of hard to posture up against a guy as long. Especially even his torso is long and Petchy. Two minutes and 46 seconds on the clock. Is Highwell there? Cage Warriors were desperate hiring Highwell. The try hard to MC. Get to the chopper. Shout out splendid dinglers. There you go. Hey. Because your food's better, you're better looking. And your girls are better looking than ours. Two minutes left in this first round. Again, not much happening, folks. Not even much to commentate on. Back in the full guard here is Kamidov landing short shots in the top position. Enough to probably win him this round. Left hand there. That was a nice shot by Kamidov. Kamidov on his feet now, but still bent over in the full guard, trying to pass here again. Thank you, thank you. Oh, almost into mount there, but settled into the half guard, right side. Again, I will say Kamidov, he's active. Yorkshire Tingler spreading our seed. <laughs> One minute, 19 seconds on the clock here, folks. Shout out to everyone joining us here. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Fight Companions every single weekend, folks. 
We got BKFC later today, UFC tomorrow, followed by top rank boxing as well. We appreciate every single one of you joining. 55 seconds on the clock here in the first round. Kamidov still in the top position, full guard of Pechi. And Pechi, the underdog, plus 380. Is that the announcer, Splendid Dingler? I can't keep track of all their names. I watch way too much, too much MMA. Too many promotions. 30 seconds left. Still in the full guard. The chat was getting fired up in the last fight. Me not doing enough commentary. And now there's just nothing to even commentate on. Ref stands him up here. Finally. Going with the flying knee attempt as Petschi coming in hot. 10 seconds left in the first round. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't really like him either. And that is it for the first round. I mean, let me know your thoughts in the first round, folks. Kamidov won it. Was it entertaining? Nope. At least he didn't lay on him the whole time. He passed guard a few times here, landed some shots. Oh, counterfeit, but he's not even... Bro, you even adding buffer in a reference to him is disrespectful and slapping Buffer in the face. So shame on you. That's a little bit better. Except I still think you're making fun of Buffer there. So no, shame on you, brother. Shame on you. The fact that you're even comparing them in the same sentence is you slapping Buffer in the face with disrespect. Come on now. Um, I miss Joe Martinez. Another beauty from Strike Force. <laughs> At least you guys have a sense of humor. The Dinglish taking over the chat, folks. All right, second round is upon us here. Again, not really much to commentate on. We kind of knew what went down. Kamidov won that first round by laying on his opponent with short shots. Round two. Let's get it all! Kamidov with an overhand trying to set up that takedown again. And looks like Pechi kind of just took his back there. Just, just tried to pull guard. But now Kamidov now taking the back of Pechi. Throwing him back to the ground. Bruce Buffer's in a league of his own. Yes, absolutely. I, I do like Joe Martinez. I will say that. We hate Highwall or Highwall High was a tool. Joe Martinez again. A, an, another beautiful thing to come from Strike Force. Am I right, Benjamin? Are you ready? JL loves Martinez. Four minutes on the clock here in the full guard of Pechi's Kamidov. Nowhere near the cage. Right hand, but again, these are muffin shots by Kamidov here. Muffin shots. He's going to win the fight like this, but it's a boring fight thus far, folks. It is a boring fight. Full guard still. Petchy, close guard. Petchy trying to throw some shots from the bottom, but I mean, it's just, it's just a muffin. It's a muffin fest. The muffin men here, folks. Throwing the muffin shots. Stand him up, ref! Oh, just when I say that, Petchy's... <laughs> Petchy's trying to maneuver his legs for a high guard there, maybe to set up a triangle, but that only lasts a second. Some short elbows here, short hammer fists. I mean, Petchy's not looking active enough, in my opinion. For the ref to even keep this going. Muffin shots, bro. Muffin shots. Hi -yo! How about that cringy dude that goes up to fighters and asks to do his garbage introduction for them for social media? Oh, I hate that guy. You don't like Martinez? I like Martinez. He's not great. He's not bad. He's the perfect um, substitute teacher, for lack of a better term. Yo! The only person who isn't jealous of Bruce Buffer is Michael Buffer. <laughs> yeah, big bro. Let's get ready to rumble! Oh, shit. Now I'm going to get copyright struck. 
Two minutes and 15 seconds left in this second round. Shout out to everyone joining. Appreciate you all. Petchy. <laughs> Still on the bottom. This fight sucks. This fight sucks, man. Kamidov in the full guard. Still of Pechi. Ref still hasn't stand them up because he thinks these muffin shots are actually doing something in this fight. Yo, Mikey B now. I know, I know. He lives down Deary Lane. All right. Up on his feet is Kamidov looking to pass into side controller half guard here. Pass into side or pass into modified half guard side control. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. No rubber guard now for Pechi. Oh my god, this fight sucks. <sighs> Michael C. Williams is always solid. Eh. See, I'm I like uh Martinez more than C. Williams, but C. Williams isn't bad. He he's I would like prep like personal preference wise, I have him below Martinez, but like it's he's a good substitute teacher as well. Payne Hansen, what is up, Payne Hansen? Thank you so much for joining, brother. Yeah, let's talk about the next one because this fight fucking sucks. 52 seconds left in the second round here. Kamidov still in the full guard of Pechi. There's nothing else happening, folks. Here, there's nothing else happening. Uh, we got Eves Landu versus Piotr Nedzileski. Nedzileski from Poland. Oh, and this one's like the odds have it even. Minus 110 apiece. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm just taking a look at who they fought recently. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay. So the Polish fighter, he hasn't fought cans. He's actually fought decent guys on the come up. Well, I mean, in his last one, two, three, four, five fights anyways. Eh, even He fought an 11 and 2 guy in 2019 as well. Six seconds left in this second round. Ooh, half guard now by Kamidov. Same shit, different day. Five wins, take over three and one. So I'm rising. Um, blah, blah, blah. oh shit. You know, I'm giving it to uh I think uh I think Landu wins. Five submissions by Landu, five TKO, eight decisions. So he's well rounded. And he's beaten a lot, he's fought a lot better guys than uh the Piotr has both of them have decent records coming off a loss is Piotr. So he might be a little bit more motivated or not, but you know, have some dog in him, some fire, uh, but two fight win streak for the 36 year old in Landy. That's the only thing their age is like the only, I guess thing to take into account, but I'd go Landy for that one, brother. Splendid Dingler by TKO. All right. Third round. <laughs> I just wish this fight was a, this fight sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight sucks. Okay. If it was an actual grappling match, if they were grappling, it would be good. But they're not grappling. One guy's laying on the other. That guy from one sucks. Yeah, he's not very good. Losing a bet listening to your voice hurts so much. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Uh, it's a trap. Nick doesn't like my voice. Yet he's still here. Nick, we love you. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Four minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, we're in third Let's round. Right? You know what actually sucks, Nick? This this current fight right now. Kamidov and Pechi. Okay, Kamidov going for the back take. He's got the left hook in. Now he just gets the body lock and throws Pechi to the ground. Okay, Trying to take the back here. Rolling into it. He has the left hook in. He's got the double hooks in. Good job by Pechi, though, by continuing to roll. I mean, Pechi's just so long. Okay, one hook in by Kamidov. Has the back of Pechi. Please end this. Put us out of our misery here. It's because of your being too happy for Wild. And and Nick, I, I'm sorry, buddy. I, I really am. But I was I didn't even pick Wild to win. So Shane and I, we got beer, me, my buddy in the chat here. We got beer bets going um head to head. And both of us lost that one. But I gotta call I gotta call it how I see it. Wild he was the better fighter and he won that fight. So my apologies, Nick. My apologies. I hope you win some more money later on this card or for BKFC. I'm glad you're here.
And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank freaking God. Thank God that that happened with the back take there. Didn't even need to get the body triangle. Got the hooks in. And it is all over. Kamidov, a rear naked choke, chokes out Kevin Petchy. Thank you for putting us out of our misery. Wow. He wins in boring OV fashion. Bumping ground. I mean, you don't think he could have tried to go for the back a little bit earlier, folks? Like, my goodness. Kamidov is the truth. Hey, props to him. 15-0. and 0, The favorite one. The third round was entertaining. The first two rounds were exhausting to watch, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to everyone in the live chat here, by the way. You all are amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction, but most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. As you can see, we try to address every single comment. You guys are all amazing. Love hanging out with you, watching fights here today. Bellator 296. Vote in the poll question. If you haven't already, folks, it's around Gegard Mousasi. And please like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload and or live stream. We do live fight companions every single weekend up to six minimum of two every single weekend as well as a ton of other original and mma content here on the channel we're trying to get to five thousand subscribers by the end of this weekend folks i know that is a lofty task a lofty goal but i think we can do it so if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel if you're viewing on facebook twitch please migrate over to youtube so you can join our live chat so you can subscribe to this channel and like this video because we set a like goal on this video at 50 likes we we set yesterday's air stream at 30 we blew past it let's see if we can get 50 or above here today on this stream thank you guys so much i appreciate you all hope fabian wins tonight are you a fabian edwards fan nick i like fabian edwards i have nothing against him but i'm a fan of gegard musasi i've been watching mma my entire life i was born in 1993 my dad literally was watching ufc one in 1993 we got the vhs's like we are huge just combat sports and uh like kung fu movies and my whole family like martial arts it was my first love my first sport and everything so someone who's been watching the sport for that long i'm not saying an expert by any means because i'm not the chat will verify that I'm, I'm a fan um but gegard musasi speaking of fandom like he i've i've been always a fan of him he's he's getting a little long in the tooth now i want to see him get that 50th win so bad so bad 50 eight and two what a record that would be what a record that would be but i love your input i love your thoughts i want to hear more of them in the live chat okay we have one two three more prelims left here on the card ladies and gentlemen before we move on to the main card here the next fighters are making their walk out to the cage right now it's funny how like ufc very little emphasis on the walkout Bellator, they don't even show it. They give so little of a fuck. From Russia to make love. Okay, I'll remove the like for the French bashing in the calm this time. Damn. Look at that. Peak Master is removing the like. I didn't... Did I bash the French, Peak Master? I was defending the French. I'm a fan of Musasi, but I have half a unit on Fabian. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Nick Rodriguez, you're just mad you lost to Gordon Ryan. <laughs> oh, man, Peak Master took away a like. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All right, Land okay, Landu's making his walk out now, and now the camera's actually showing it. Whoops. Why did I do that here? Uh, my apologies. That's the wrong one. There we go. I don't know why Tapology is tripping out right now. There we go. There we go. All right, folks. He's Landu, 18, 9, and oh, he's 3 and 2 in his last five fights. I mean, it's a pick em right here. Minus 110 each, according to Tapology. 36 years of age. Like I said, two-fight win streak, fighting in front of his home crowd of France. 
in France, I should say. Five KOT Gale, five submission, eight decisions. Three and one in Bellator, zero and one in Ryzen. He's on a two fight win streak in the promotion, beating Gavin Hughes, a 10 and two guy, and Walter Cogliandro, who's 11, three and one. So not bad, not bad. Both of those in 2022, making his 2023 appearance here today his opponents no slouch 32 years old out of poland does he have that legendary polish power piotr nidzileski 17 and 5 he is 4 and 1 in his last five fights he lost his last fight five kot Gao, six submissions six decisions so very well rounded as well one and one in bellator five and oh in babylon mma three and oh in slugfest he lost his last fight to a nine and two guy before then in Bellator, he won against a guy who was 12 and 5. He beat 11 and 4 before that, 17 and 6 before that, and a 6 and 0 oh before that. I mean, this is this is a tough one to call, but I'm going with the veteran. I am going with the man in front of his home crowd. I am going with Eves Landu locking it in. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Let me know your prediction for this next one. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't watch his live streams. That's that strand of his content I'm not really a fan of, but I like his uh, fight breakdowns, like on his second channel. I like some of the um, like the satire stuff he does when he goes head-to-head -head with like some of the fighters or like, you know, Dan Hardy and things like that. I think those are fun. Um, he's just different. And yeah, I do, I, I do, for the most part, watch most of his videos. The live stuff is just not my cup of tea, and I'm doing my own live stuff, usually when he's doing his stuff as well. He's the UK's youngest disabled rabbi. Is that the crippled Jewish dude? I had a 15 fight parlay to go over one and a half in 13 fights. The other two are Barnwee and Gary wins. Well, Nick, best of luck to you, my man. I'm Canadian. I don't know what a beanie is. We call them toques. Everyone in the States here, too. They don't know what they keep calling these things beanies. It's the stupidest fucking word I've ever heard. Beanie's a little fucking propeller hat from Wizard of Oz. A toque is a winter hat. Get it together, you fucking plebs. Round one. Let's get it all! Uh, Shane's going with Piotr, so we're going head-to-head -head on this one. Let's go with the beer belt. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Live play, play, commentary, reaction, interaction. Let's get it on, folks. We are right back into it. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here. Landu Nijleski. Nijleski in the blue corner. Landu in the red. Center of the cage right now. Looks like Nijleski. A little bit of height and reach advantage. A crazy neck tattoo by Nijleski. 10 bucks to make 2300. Let's go, Nick. <laughs> Beanie or toboggan if it's for snow. Toboggan is a type of sled. Man, Americans are so weird. Four minutes on the clock, says the plaid wearing Canadian. <laughs> Outside low kick by Landu. Or skull cap if it's being worn by a douche. Okay, I'll agree on that one. Three minutes and 44 seconds on the clock here. Still standing. Oh, nice check leg kick by Nijleski. Right hand by Landu. Landu trying to land that straight right. Three thirty on the clock here. First round outside low kick by Nizleski. Now, folks, if you want a better look at the fighters here, just let me know. I can go through the profiles up in the between rounds. Again, they're called Tukes. Three minutes on the clock here. Uh, what's up, Shelly? Um, blah, blah, blah. One, two, three. In three more fights. Well, two more fights after this one. Hey, join us on uh, Facebook, Shelly, if you haven't already. Appreciate it. Or sorry, join us on YouTube. You're joining us on Facebook right now. Um, Facebook is not our primary streaming destination. We It's our backup. Uh, we were unable to stream on YouTube last week, so we streamed on Facebook just so we could still appease the fans. Uh, we're streaming one more time this weekend on Facebook just to say to all you folks to come join us on YouTube as that is our primary streaming destination. Shout out to you, Shelly. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. We're trying to get to 5,000 subs on YouTube. We're so close. That's why I ask everyone watching on Facebook and Twitch right now, please migrate over to YouTube. We would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, let's go, baby. Let's go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Subscriber hype. Let's go, baby. We're so close to 5,000, folks. That's why I'm getting so hyped here. All right. One minute and 55 seconds left in this first round again. Nothing much has happened. They're both on their feet here, but very, very much a chess match, I guess you could say. Like, counter-striking here. Although, Nizleski, as we're nearing the end of the first round, he's starting to pressure Landu a little bit more into the cage. Outside low kick by Nidleski. Landu trying to land that straight right. Hasn't been too successful with it thus far. Nidleski with the outside low kick. Overhand right by Landu. It lands, but with not a lot of power behind it. Again, folks, if you're watching on Facebook or Twitch, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat, so you can vote in the poll question, and so you can join our community. Facebook and Twitch are not our primary streaming platforms. We're streaming on them again this weekend to remind you all that we are back on YouTube. And if we ever have any issues with YouTube, we will use Facebook and Twitch as our backup. A nice straight left by Nijleski, and he drops Landu. 53 seconds left. Nijleski is going to win this first round as he gets that knockdown. And it looks like the right eye of Landu is starting to give him trouble as I can see him like wincing a little bit. Landu might be overmatched here against this Polish fighter. Overhand left by Nizleski. Outside low kick and it drops Landu. He's dropped Landu twice now. Once with a low kick, once with a straight left. Landu's not going to last this whole fight, ladies and gentlemen. 25 seconds left in this first round. He may get out of this first round, but he's getting his just oh, outside or inside, whatever it was. Attacking that lead left leg. I think it was the outside... Low kick, and that hurt Landu again. I mean, that lead left leg of Landu is done. He had to switch his stance. Or his lead right leg, my apologies, is done. He had to switch his stance to the left. Splendid. Come on, stop making fun of the French, dude. Like, we literally have subscribers who are from France here. Je parle français aussi. Like, there's no need for that, brother. You're literally causing more harm as there's French fans in our chat who are now unliking the video because you're making fun of the French. Now, we can make fun of those from Quebec. That's a whole different story. Because they're their own. They're not even French. They're French-Canadian. And they don't want to, They want to be Québécois. So, I mean, go ahead. But uh... <laughs> I'm kidding. We love all the French. Bum, but no, shout out to everyone in the live chat. Again, reminder, at the end of this stream, in a few hours, when we're done the main card and everything, before we hang up the gloves, I'm going to go through every single comment in this live chat. And I'm going to give every single username on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube a shout out. I want to show you guys respect for giving me some of your time and hanging out with me here today. And I want to give you guys a shout, an additional shout out because that's how much I appreciate every single one of you folks. What other streamer does that at the end of the stream? Takes another 15 to sometimes 30 minutes to scroll through and give every single one of you a shout out. That's what we do here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Round two. Let's get it all. Shelly, thank you so much for joining, Shelly. Shelly, Wisconsin, thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate it. <laughs> the French puss. <clears throat> oh, man. I don't get it. I, I never understood why why Americans are so salty towards that country. Being from Canada, <laughs> we because we just it's Quebec. Like that's 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 our friend. We live in a little our own French bubble. I didn't realize how how much hate there was between America and France. It's it's really interesting. Four minutes and fourteen seconds. I mean, like, we see an, an undinky little YouTube chat here. That's what's crazy about it. Like, bigger picture, real talk here, folks. It's crazy. What is up, Hockey from Home? Four minutes in this second round. Still on their feet here. Nijletsky getting the better of Landu in that first round. Dropped him with the leg kick after piecing it apart. Dropped it with the straight left. Dingleberry. Are you one of the Dingleberries too? Are you a Dingleberry too?
<laughs> Three minutes and 26. On the clock here, folks. And looking just for that ending blow or ending sequence, anyways. Nidletsky. Landry can't tag him with anything. Center of the cage. So many feints from Nidleski here, and Landry's biting on them all, seemingly. There we go. There we go. Uh, I'm both. That's the trip. No, I just moved to the States uh, about like eight months ago. But, I, um, but I'm half American, half Canadian. So there's the, there's the twist in it all. Born and raised in Canada, but uh, one, half of the, one half of the family's American. Uh, I'm out. I'll be in tonight's stream. Time for lunch. See you after church. Take me to church. See you later. Thank you so much. See you for BKFC. He can join, but isn't for the lighthearted. <laughs> the Dinglers, not for the lighthearted. You can put mind your own through some like initiation. Oh, a nice right hand. Finally by Landu there, escaping the clinch. Two minutes on the clock and... Nizleski not picking up where he left off after that dominant first round. Like, I don't know how to fucking score the second round because they're not doing much. There's like not a lot of action here. Just again, a lot of feints, a lot of failed shots by Landu. Nizleski with a straight left. Nizleski though with that Polish power, man. All he needs is one or two shots and he'll put his opponent down. One minute and 42 seconds left. This is where... Nudleski went to work at the end of the first round. Let's see if he does the same here. Uh, fights are going over me like... There's only one re real Dingleberry. The Splendid... Actually, there's two. Mind your own. Since Mind Your Own hasn't been... Uh, <laughs> hasn't been very attentive in the chat, clear. There's actually two. As you can see here. So there's the two and only. <laughs> but yes, I'm picking up what you're putting down. 55 seconds on the clock here. Outside low kick by Nijleski. Not employing exactly the same game plan as he did at the end of the first round. Which literally, one minute and 40 seconds at the end of the first round. Drop land, do the straight left. Land, do go back up his... Uh, back up to his feet, and he started piecing apart that leg. Dropped him once with the leg kick as well. 35 seconds on the clock here. Looking for that counter right. Is Nidleski. 32 seconds, center of the cage. Uh, let's pray the fighters are warriors and the referees. Let the fighters be warriors. Looks like they are right now. Looks like they are. 20 seconds left in the second round here. Attacking that leg again is Nidleski. Running away is Nidleski here. Final 10 seconds. A weird knee attempt by Landu. There are many splendid dinglers. I think one of the big deals, end of the second round. I think one of the big deals is France was their role in World War II, quick surrender to Germany, and they flip flopped in support of Germany after the occupation. No, of course. Uh, Sure, but like people our age, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe our parents and our grandparents, you know, butting heads a little bit, but like our generation, it, it, it just seems like our generation on both sides seem to just like hate each other for the stereotypes. And they actually, they've actually never hung out with a per, like a French has never hung out with an American, Americans never hung out with a French. Like, and they just hate each other for stereotypes. That's my observation. Um, Benjamin, I would say, I would agree with you if if like we were 30 to 40 years older. But I don't know. I heard there's a little splendidness in everyone. We are legion. I think there's a little sugar in everyone. Not necessarily splendid. Splenda. Fuck, I ruined the joke. Emotional damage. I ruined my own joke. It was a bad joke. Um, yeah, not the most exciting fight here, folks. At least they're keeping it on their feet as we go into third and final round. Again, I liked how Nijleski ended that first round, the second round. Not a lot happened from either guys. Could go either way. 
You got to imagine if you're either of these guys, Landu or Nugleski, you want to finish this fight, and Landu lands Let's the right hand. Landu lands the right hand. Nugleski falls to the ground. Landu, side control. North-south. 69, and I love how Landu has you know on his ass, and he's sitting on Nugleski's face right now. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. Somebody screenshot that. <laughs> Look for the arm bar here is Landu. Still looking for the arm bar is Landu. Nijleski rolls on top here. Still singling out that uh, right arm is Landu, but he lets go over here. Nijleski's in the top position. Three minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. A lot of time here for Nijleski to work as he ended up in side control. Back up to the field. I see the comments here. We'll get to them in a sec. I just want to keep my eye on the fight here. We actually have some action going on now. Right hand by Landu. We got to give Sean Strickland, by the way, a headliner in France against like uh, another French fighter. That would be fun. The amount of booze. <laughs> High kick attempt by Landu. Landu's finally getting his groove on here as he lands a couple good kicks and a one two. Is Nizleski still hurt? Nizleski going for the takedown. Nizleski gets the takedown right in the side control on Landu. This is the fight that we've been wanting to see this whole time, ladies and gentlemen. Where were where were these guys in the first and second round? Two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. And again, I see your comments, guys. There's just like, there's a lot, there's a lot of meat in the bone there. We'll, uh, <laughs> I'll comment on it and read it after this round. I mean, there's not a lot of meat on this bone, so maybe I'll say this one though. I hung out with the Frenchman once, but we couldn't be around one another for so long. <laughs> Man, these splendid dinglers, Benjamin. They got some good comments. They got some good comments. Two minutes and 23 seconds on the clock here. Nijleski in the full guard of Landu. A nice left hand by Nijleski. I mean, we talked about how one fighter has to dominantly take this round or try anyways, as it could be one. It could be one and one. I really don't know. I think Nijleski won the first round. The second round could go either way. Actually, I know Nijleski won the first round as he dropped Landu twice. The second round was boring. Maybe Landu landed more. Who knows? This third round, Nidleski has to put it away. If he wants to win it, Landu also probably needs a finish. Seeing that he's been on his back quite a bit in this third round. One minute and 31 seconds on the clock. Dude, I, I could eat a whole... I have eaten a whole brie to myself. And then I farted so much in my room, I set off the carbon monoxide alarm. But yeah, my, my go-to when I go to my favorite uh, little brewery and uh, like um, tapas restaurant in Nanaimo, British Columbia, shout out White Sales Brewing. Um, I always get a, a little baked brie there. Shane and I tackled an entire baked brie, actually. And I'm a little humble plug here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to throw the video for you guys. I'm going to throw the video on the link. I'm going to throw the video link in the live chat here. Back up to their feet. 45 seconds. Center of the cage. Some crazy cartwheel style shit by Landu. That ain't going to land, brother. That ain't going to land. 35 seconds. Who wants it more? Who wants it more? 30 seconds. Who wants it more? Neither of them are throwing. Landu with the right hand. Landu going for a takedown. What are you doing? And Landu somehow gets the takedown. Are you shitting me in the rubber guard right now of Nidleski trying to pass the side control? Final 10 seconds. Landu's going to end up on top, but he hasn't done much with this yet. Si or half guard. And that is it for the fight. He's going to finish it. It is Well, that third round was exciting. 
I just I'm throwing a video in the chat here. This is me and Shane taking down a whole brewery at our favorite brewery. Unbelievable, folks. Good third round. Good first round. Boring second round. Both these fighters give each other the thumbs up. Both of them smiling. Nizleski looks a little gassed there. Putting his hands up is Landu. Man, it's like, this third round was close. It was back and forth. Props to both of them who were really trying to take that third round. I think no doubt Nizleski won that first round. He, he dropped Landu. But Landu dropped Nizleski in that third round, however, was able to put a submission attempt, then reverse him after that. You know what? Ah, oh, fuck. I think, I think Nizleski split decision. That's my prediction. Uh, ML Pui, one spec? What does that mean, one spec? One spec. Uh, da, da, da. We don't actually butt heads with the French. The French surrendering is just a joke all around. That's the thing, but it I I would disagree with you if I didn't see it multiple times online and like in my friend group and other friend groups. Like there is an underlying hate for each other in the United States. And it's unlike anything I've ever seen in Canada. I've never heard of any Americans actually having... No, dude, it is it is real. Trust me, it is real. And, and not just this state. Like, in pretty much every state that I've spent time in and, and know people in, that's why it's, I was blown away. And it's mutual. Oh, no, Sal Diamato's here? Fuck's sakes. Unanimous decision? No way. Eves Landu wins unanimous decision. Look, my prediction, I predicted, oh, look at the crowd. That's a huge crowd there. That's amazing. I predicted the right fighter to win. Do not agree with that decision. Do not agree with that decision. Uh, what's up, fellas? Um, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, well, we're trying not to because our boy, for all you know, like Peak Master is French here and everyone's ripping on him. Peak Master actually left the chat and unliked the video. So I'm actually upset right now that Splendid Dingler and every and is going and the few others are going after Peak Master. That's not cool, guys. Peak Master is a huge supporter of this channel. Peak Master's been our homie. Peak Master's part of our Discord and everything. And as much as I love the, the Dinglers coming in here and showing support to this channel as well, they're coming in here literally going after Peak Master. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. So, that's that's grinding my gears a little bit, I'm not going to lie, but you guys can have your own opinions. <laughs> I just don't get like, I, I'm pumped. Like, two days in a row, MMA in France, MMA now legalized in in that country and they're doing amazing things I, I have no reason to shit on them so you guys if you do so i ain't gonna i ain't gonna address the comments no peak master is awesome splendid fuck off i appreciate your support but uh no peak master is fucking awesome See, that's not cool at all. Even foul one who like, and, and you know, foul one and I like <laughs> foul one has a good sense of humor, but like, we're, we're not going to rip on peak master. He's a huge supporter of the channel. I have no issue with the French and I want some brie cheese, dude. I want some brie cheese as well. Shelly, thank you so much for joining. No. Yeah. Come on. Splendid. You're better than that. You're better than that. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> the Dinglers came in with huge support saying that they're like, fuck the guru, we love city life, city lifers. Um, and they just start throwing shade at Peak Master. <laughs> it does not stand. <laughs> oh my goodness. No one actually dislikes France or the French, right? Politicians excluded, of course. I mean, I hope not. I hope not. Um, I like the community that we got here. 
And again, you guys can have your opinions. Just don't rip on anybody in, in the chat here. Well, I mean, unless I send the troops after, because there's been some people who we've got, <laughs> who've just been absolute dickheads in the chat, and I've let you guys tear them to shreds before we block them. Oh, man. All right. Uh, he was a member. He was a member because he's in our Discord. I don't know if he renewed it recently. There we go. Nothing personal. Love you, Peak Master. No politics or religion talk at the bar, Ben. This is my bar. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Speaking of bar, we've been talking about a bunch of bullshit in the live chat right now. I forgot to grab a drink. I was watching the Jew doing wheelchair porn in Babe Station. It was fire. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a chat today, folks. What a chat today. All right, we have our next prelim here, folks. Again, shout out to everyone in the live chat. Shout out to the craziness going on. This is this is why we do it. it it's very much like going to a, 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 like a, a watch party at a bar, or going to watching fights at a bar. You meet a bunch of characters, and that's what we got here in the live chat, and I fucking love it. I hope Peak Master comes back, though. Anyways. Speaking of Saul Diamato, we got Saul Rogers. I like that segue. Here coming up next. Both these fighters being announced in the center of the cage. Belter almost moves too fast for me. Belter honestly moves too fast for me. Like the next fight's already about to begin. We haven't highlighted the fighters or anything. They're literally about to touch gloves. This shit's crazy. So uh, bear with me. Uh, why? Why is mind your own? Why, why are you so mean, brother? Bruce Buffer's buffing Guru's porn. Shane's picking Saul, locking it in. Oh, he comes back, but fuck the Habs. Yes. Bum, 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 bum. All right, round one has Let's begun here, folks. Thirty seconds in. I'll go back to the play by play here in a second. I'm just gonna highlight the guys here. Um, Saul Rogers, the hangman, minus 175 from the UK, 33 years old. He's in the blue corner right now. Looks like, like the heavy striker too. Looks a lot bigger than Gallon, who is in the red, uh, 15 and five, three and two or two and three in his last five fights. He's going for a takedown right now, coming off a loss. One KOT go, eight submissions, five decisions. As you can see, he is a wrestler here. So he just slammed takedown. Gallon looking to take his back gallon on his side right now. Three and three in Bellator, one and one in ACB. Uh, lost to Tim Wilde in his last fight, split decision. Got a win in Bellator before that. His opponent, again, plus 145 out of France, 34 years old. He is on the bottom right now, north south position. Rogers is in the top position. Gallon in the bottom position. Davy Gallon, 34 years old, 21, eight and two. Four and one in his last five fights. Lost his last fight. Looking for a guillotine right now on the ground here. Roger. Look for a guillotine on Gallon. Doesn't get it yet. All right, he's squeezing. He's squeezing. Gallon using his leg to try to push off Rogers here, but. And pull his own leg actually back for some leverage, not to be. Flattened. Three minutes on the clock here. Roger squeezing. Roger squeezing. What? Oh my goodness. Folks, Gallon wasn't out. Gallon didn't tap. And the referee just ended this fight. Oh, Guy Yon is how you pronounce his name. He was holding the bottom of his leg uh, in defense so that he wouldn't get choked out. The official thought he was asleep. And the official ended the fight. The fight wasn't over. Okay, let, let's see if this fight is... Uh, oh, he is pissed, and he should be. He wasn't even out. He looks like Paige Van Zandt's fucking husband there. Anyways, I, uh, the fight is over. The fight is over. I didn't even get a prediction. And Gallion, by the way, 3-1 in Bellator, 7-2 and two in 100% fight. 2-1 in Pancrase, coming off a loss, but two, Bellator, 267, 275, and 280, he had wins.
Big John, shut the fuck up, dude. This could happen to everybody. Shelly, I got your back. Shelly, here. Shelly, I got your back here. And I hope Mind Your Own can forgive me. I literally gave you another gift, Mind Your Own. Mind Your Own doesn't like gifts. I keep giving him a gift. Keeps pretending like I didn't give it to him. Oh, I missed a ton of comments here. French fries and stars. Y'all see how much Isha hates me still hanging around because it's not that serious. <laughs> I hate Toronto sports. I don't hate you, foul one. Why wow, so serious? All right, so Sal gets announced as the winner. This was controversial as hell. This was textbook Bellator, ladies and gentlemen. Terrible stuff. Terrible stuff. That's some bullshit. That was a mistake. Damn. That's dirty, bad reffing. Bullshit, bad shout. Spurs, a good call, Ad Rogers. <laughs> Look, if you had money on Rogers, then fine. Um, touching. But, uh, oh, shout out to Jorge Rodriguez on Facebook with the like. Appreciate you, Jorge. Hey, guys, for anybody watching on Facebook and Twitch, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat, so you can vote in the poll question, so you can help us get to 5,000 subscribers. Well, shit, that would that kind of took the wind out of our sails here. Oliver Encamp against Luca Poklet? Poslet? Poklet? Coming up next here, folks. Um, but, but, but shout out to everyone joining us right now. Over 40 people in the live chat. That is fucking amazing. Thank you all so much for joining. Uh one or two more prelims. Two more prelims, folks, then on to the main card. Man, Bellator, they just erased through their prelims here. Um, all right, let's highlight these next fighters so we don't miss it like we did last time, folks. Uh, da, 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 da. Should have that should have done that one Fridays. <laughs> We'll avoid that one since you didn't even pick. Yeah, I didn't even have time to pick. Well, we'll avoid that one because just the ref fucked that up too, and it wasn't even real. Hey, bro, how the ref, though the opponent was out, but he was not out, weird, but a win is a win. I, I don't I don't know if a win is a win in that particular scenario. I mean, Sal gets one on his record, but I don't even think, I don't even think he's going to look at that or the promotion is going to look at that as like a legitimate win for him and like boost him up in the ranking sort of thing. Internal Dingerling. Uh, Leafs win today? Nope. Go Panthers, baby. Who do you have for the next one? We're going to get into it, Shane. We're going to get into it. Uh, best commentary on YouTube. Well, I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Folks, like this video if you haven't already. Vote in the poll question. Subscribe to the channel. We do Fight Companions every single weekend. And we got more coming up. We got BKFC later tonight. We got UFC tomorrow, followed by Top Rank Boxing. We got the next fighters already lined up, ready to go. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, Oliver Enkamp against Luca uh, Poslet. Uh, out of Sweden is Enkamp. 11 and 3 in his pro MMA career. Uh, four and one in his last five fights. He won his last fight. He's 31 years of age. Again, he's the favorite minus 160 fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden. Two KOTKO, seven submission, two decisions. Four and one in Bellator, zero and two in the UFC. Uh, he won his last fight in Bellator via buggy choke in the third round. Lost to a seven and one guy, unanimous decision before then, was on a two fight win streak in the promotion. Uh, looking at his opponent, Luca Poklet. Poslet. Uh, eight and one in his pro MMA career. He's on a five fight win streak. He's five and zero oh in his last five fights. Out of Moldova, thirty three years of age. He is the slight underdog plus one thirty. 
Fighting at a SBG in Ireland. Uh, one KOT go, five submission, two decision, uh, f- six and oh in Eagles fighting championship, one and oh in Bellator. He won his debut against a nine and three Dante uh, Citro via Luke Canator choke. Jesus Christ. Again, on a hell of a win streak right now, two, four, six, eight fight win streak. I am going with. The UFC veteran. Oh my God. Why is Tapology tripping out here? I'm going with the Swede. Locking it in. That is my pick, Shane. And look at that. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here, folks. And then we'll get right back to the live commentary and play by play. By the way, we do live fight companions every single weekend, folks. Play by play commentary, reaction, most importantly, interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. The Swedish loses. You think Guti wins? I do think so. Enkamp in the red corner. Postlet in the blue. The Swedish loses to Sacha locking it in. I study this for a living. Oh, Sacha knows then. Sacha knows. Going for Guillotine is Enkamp. Guillotine attempt by Enkamp as Postlet went in for the takedown. Doesn't get it. Is it Poklet or Postlet? I can't hear on the broadcast because I have it low. Now in the full guard. Half French here. I don't sweat stupidly. I don't sweat stupidity. <laughs> what do you think about that Petriangelo suspension? I think Petriangelo went full lumberjack more than I even look right now. That whole situation was crazy. Nice reversal by Encamp as he ends up in the top position here. Three minutes and 33 seconds. I have Oliver locking it in. Take my plays, please, guys. Go against the Swedish. 8-1 prospect wins. Hey, it would be a good pick if you go against the Swedish as uh, Luca is the underdog, so if you want to make some money. Encamp in the top position here. Encamp going for that guillotine again. I don't know if Encamp should have done that. I don't know if Van Kemp should have gone for the guillotine there. He was in the top position. He gave it up. Shane is going for the underdog. Listening to Sacha going for Luca, the Moldovan, locking it in. Enkamp now potentially going for a triangle here. Enkamp, his jiu-jitsu looks damn good as he's fighting off his back. Two minutes and 46 seconds. Again, shout out to everyone in the live chat. Appreciate you guys. Two minutes and 34 seconds. Super high guard here. Super high guard. Doing a good job of isolating that right arm and shoulder of Postlet from the back. Encam looking damn good off his back. Sacha, Shane. Sacha, <laughs> in case you're new here, Shane and I go back and forth on the beer bets, buddy. I'm going for the Swedish fighter. I locked it in. The Swedish fighter is having the better round right now. Shane is in your camp, though. One minute. I'll get your comment away from home right after this round. One minute and 42 seconds on the clock here. Again. Luca not doing enough. Not doing enough in the top position here. If anything, <laughs> Encamp is the more active fighter on his back. Trying to sweep and or set up submissions. We're still in the first round here, Sacha. All right, so the last fight we just uh, we just heard the broadcast just say was turned to a no contest. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, put it this way, Sacha, you made it seem like it was going to be a blowout, so I I expected Polka to come in and just finish in the first round. He has. End camp looks pretty good. Uh, still in the first round, 49 seconds left. I mean, let's be honest. Luca did nothing in the top position. He has not landed. Okay, he has not landed a single significant strike. He has not landed a single significant strike in the top position. 
End camp has been so active off his back trying to set up submission stuff. Oh, there's one significant strike. There's one significant strike. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll tell you, you have to give it to NCAP just because he's throwing up more submissions. And I hate to give an MMA fighter the round for just doing submissions, but he has been more active off his back. Final 10 seconds here. Final 10 seconds. Five seconds, I should say, in this first round. And now this is a grappling affair, ladies and gentlemen. And a solid, solid first round by both these guys. Can you pull up some stats? I don't have any. Do you have a stats site? Does Bellator have a stats site? Bellator doesn't do stats, unfortunately. I wish. Trust me, for the UFC uh, commentaries, I always pull up ESPN stats, but Bellator doesn't show any. If And hey, if I'm wrong, let me know. But the last time I checked, Bellator doesn't show up the stats. I will read them if they show them on screen. 100%, buddy. Bellator. Um, away from home, French, uh, from France here. Can I have your bet about Primus versus Barnaoui? Because here in France, the media all about Monsoor. It's crazy. Are we fooling ourselves? I don't think you're fooling yourselves. Uh, Brent Primus, I mean, he's a solid fighter, but he is the underdog here, even in the United States. Minus 360 favorite for, uh, Barnaoui. And to be honest, I watched his last few fights. He's solid, man. He's solid. Um, his, uh, rear naked choke win against, what was his name? Uh, Piccolotti, Piccolotto, Piccolotto, something like that. Um, let me just check quickly. Yeah. Adam Piccolotti, rear naked choke, second round, dominant win. I think he's going to take it. All right. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. So far, I have the Swede winning the first round. It's close. 10-9. He beat him simply because he threw more submission attempts. Say less. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for joining, brother. Yeah, he looks good with his wrestling and grappling 100%. I like his shorts, too. Very BJ Penn-esque. Piccolotti, yes. Yeah, no, he looked really good against him. No problem, buddy. That's who I'm picking to win. Again, Primus is a solid fighter, but even the betting odds, even the betting lines here in the United States, everyone's kind of supporting the Monsoor. Thank you so much for joining away from home. I appreciate you. Merci beaucoup, mon ami. Je parle français, but it's the Québécois français. <laughs> Dusty tabernacle. We have different curse words. <laughs> Three minutes and 50 seconds on the clock here. Low kick. Oh, and a nice one two by Encamp. Encamp in the red corner. Luca. In the blue. Center of the cage. Teases with a spinning kick there is end camp. End camp with the last days go side kick there. Again, folks, if anyone's watching on Facebook and Twitch, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Nice straight left by... Luca. So far, it's a pretty even affair on the feet here. Outside low kick by Encamp. Counter left by Luca. I will say Luca's hands do look a little bit quicker. Encamp doesn't look like he has like really good striking or quick striking, but he's landing. He could just be a little tired too. But you can definitely see like he is a jujitsu guy first and foremost. Uh, thanks for streaming. I stream myself, so I know it's a lot of energy into it. Thank you so much for your commentary. Maqui. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. Yeah, we stream every weekend up to six fight companions every single weekend. Covering all combat sports, kickboxing, Muay Thai, nice high kick by camp, MMA, BKFC, boxing, jiu-jitsu, the whole nine yards. Hey, merci, guys. You guys are awesome. Go for the takedown now is Luca, and he got reversed there by Ankem. Ankem going for that guillotine again, gives up position side control for Luca. Zach, salut Zach. Uh, Monsieur Bernoui va gagner au first round par soumission. First round submission is Zach's prediction already for the main event. 
<laughs> Same bet here, Zach. What's that phrase? La mem, la mem bet. Mem is same, right? Fuck. I haven't spoke. I was in French immersion when I was a kid uh, in, in high school and stuff. I haven't like spoke with people other than on these live streams uh, to you folks during the air streams and and anytime we go to Paris, UFC Paris or Bellator. So I'm getting my French reps with you guys again. One minute and twenty two seconds on the clock here. Luca in the fur in the full guard of Encamp, much like he was at the end of the first round. However, not doing much in the full guard, not doing much with the top position. We're still in the second round, buddy. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, and as I've been saying, fifty-five seconds left in this second round. It's very close. I'm giving it to Encamp. I think he landed the better strikes and I don't think Luca has done enough in the top position. I could see the judges giving it to Luca based on control time only. He has not thrown any strikes to show any dope. Oh, there's one. He threw one freaking strike on the ground. Congratulations, Moldova. You have a fighter who's threw one strike on the ground after being on the ground for like two minutes here. So I don't know. I can see some judges being like, oh, you're in top position. You won the fight. He's done nothing to prove to me that he's winning a fight here, that he's doing damage to his opponent. So I have Encamp, despite being on his back. I don't know. He landed a few one twos. And then I don't know. This second round's kind of been super close. Oh, there we go. This could, this could, uh, three seconds left. Luca gets the back of Encamp. I don't know. I have no idea who won that second round. Neither of them did too much damage on each other. I would say in the striking exchanges, Encamp maybe landed a better 1-2 at one point, but the first round goes to Encamp. I don't give a fuck who won that second round. No one deserved to win that second round. Uh, ma grosse cuit in English is ma big dick. Uh, French people absolutely love Canadians on Quebec, but we're afraid we might be ill cons consistent ill considered but we love our cousins now man i love that away from home salut merci beaucoup zach thinks just be up here. oh you're in paris nice so the, oh yeah that's awesome whenever i sometimes um when the Olympics were in Canada, in Vancouver, what was it? 2010. I remember I would, I didn't go to any of like the games in the stadiums or anything like that. I would just go to a bar um, downtown and just feel that vibe of the Olympics. It was awesome. Uh, Diego Zencamp winning as well. So far, it could be one apiece, but I have Zencamp winning the fight so far. First round was Zencamp hundred percent. Second round could go either way. Third round. Let's see. Deciding round. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. But this way, Sacha made it sound like Luca was just going to steamroll Encamp here. So far, he's been good. But you hyped him up a little bit. Four minutes and 22 seconds on the clock here. Nice takedown by Luca. For once, not going for the guillotine is Ankem. Ankem starting to look a little tired here. So, our boy Sacha. Am I saying your name correctly, by the way, Sacha? Is it Sasha or Sacha? Um, Luca's looking good so far here. Ankem trying to roll out of this. Okay, Ankem starting to work again from the bottom here, getting his left leg around the back of Luca. Sash, Sasha, my apologies, sir. Three minutes and 36 seconds on the clock here. Shout out to everyone joining, by the way. Please like this video if you haven't already. Haven't already. We're trying to get hit our like goal of 50 likes on the video. That would be amazing if we could hit 50 likes on the video here today by the end of the stream. Shout out to everyone who's been watching us so far. You all are amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. We haven't even taken a break yet. We'll probably take a break after this fight or the next, just for a few minutes before the main card starts. The judges are going to give it 
to the 8-1 prospect. Why, though? And how is the 33-year-old a prospect up against the Swede who's 31? Just saying, just saying. There's 2 minutes and 47 seconds left. If uh, if Lucas lays on Encamp for the rest of this round, he will probably win this fight. Um, Did you hype him up way more than you should have? Absolutely. You made him sound like he was going to tear through this guy and look like a brilliant prospect. He's disappointed me more than anybody on this card thus far. Actually, no, I take that back. The ref disappointed me in the last fight more. Based on how you hyped him up, I have I've, this is the guy I've been most disappointed in watching because he does he's not that good <laughs> for an eight and one prospect going up against a guy who seemingly has no striking. He ain't that good. <laughs> Can't do anything in the top position, man. And he might get submitted here as Encamp's trying to get a triangle or something going in the final two minutes of this fight. And here we go. One minute and 53 seconds left. Reverted triangle. It's not that tight. It's sliding off the side of the head. Uh, so Davey Gallion lost the first round. No, the guy's so respectful and all. It's too sad. No, he didn't win. Uh, it's a no contest. No, It got overturned to a no contest. It's rigged. Uh, no offense, Def, not. It's hard to run through somebody, but he's going to edge it. One minute and 11 seconds left. <laughs> you made it sound like it was a lock, though. That's That's what I'm trying to say, is you made it sound like it was a lock. This was this is by no means a lock pick. Hammer fist by Luca. I will give credit where credit is due. Luca's having a better third round. He's looked better in this round than he has in the entire fight. Okay, fair enough. Again, you were making it seem like he was a lock. You, you said how many times did you comment? Bet him. I'm the expert. Bet him. Hey, if you say that in the chat, that's make that's making it sound like it's a lock. I don't know. Anybody else in the chat feel that way? <laughs> Anyways, at the end of the day, you're going to be right. Oh, no, Condes due to an eye poke or something? No, away from home. He didn't tap. He was in a, He was fighting a submission. He was actually defending the submission, and the ref ended the fight. Final five seconds left here. And then Camp was trying to go for a submission here, but Lucas stays in the dominant position, stays on the back, and ends on the back, and that is it for the I'm fight. I'm going to finish it! Sasha's pick is probably going to win this one as he did win that third round. Unless the judges had the first two rounds for Encamp, I imagine that Luca's going to win this uh, win this fight. Because that second round, I think the judges will probably give it to Luca. Uh, I would, I personally think Encamp won the first and second rounds, but what do I know? I'm just a fan. I ain't a judge. And I have a little bit of bias here because I picked Encamp to win. So there you go. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. Good display of respect by both these fighters as well. The fuck must have been pissed off. Yeah. He was disappointed. The judges look at the third round a lot. I disagree. I disagree. This ain't one championship in Ryzen, brother. But man, we got Sal Diamato here in Paris, so anything can happen. I thought I thought France was gonna have their own like commission and everything, or yet we got Sal Diamato as a fucking judge. I don't I don't understand why is this guy flying to Paris when Paris has their own judges? Like it. <sighs> Breathe, Isha. Breathe. It's like why are you trying to recreate California's commission in Paris? Like, come on. Do, 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 do. And, and the only reason I push back on on uh, that comment is because it is. Uh, a ten point must system. It's not. It's not rising. It's not. Uh, it's not one. He's pretty fucking bad. Uh, yeah, des Français du Sud, c'est où vous faites quoi ici? 
Peak Master is back! <laughs> and look at that, we got Away From Home Peak Master. We also got Zach in the chat. Lost so much money with him, dude. Ugh. I, I just don't like betting on Bellator anymore. And so many people rewatch this go, oh, it's not Bellator judging its commission. I get it. But for some twisted reason, it's consistent with Bellator bad judging. All right, official decision, and Luca wins this one. There you go, Sasha. <laughs> Sasha giving the pick. Sasha is the expert. Shane, you won this one. Nothing wrong with your predictions, brother. Much respect. Does result of Yi Landu's fight is fair to you? I love him, but seemed that his leg was pretty damaged considering the new rules of scoring. I don't know what to think about it. I think he, uh, I think he won that one. I, th I think it was a round apiece going into the third, and I think he dominated that third round uh, to win to win that fight. That was a close one. The second could have gone either way. The first round, he definitely lost the first round being dropped twice. Um, but the second round was close. And uh, the third round, he won. So I, I don't think that one was a bad decision. <laughs> Where's Mike Jones, by the way? Mike Jones is the goat of the, the live chat. Sa Sasha, you got to prove yourself to be as good as Mike Jones before uh, before I'll tell people to start taking your shit with confidence. Mike Jones is like 2002. Like, no joke, 2,000 wins, two losses. Uh, je viens juste voir les Français. Je parle plus anglais maintenant. <laughs> wow, it's like that. <laughs> hey, keep proving your worth, buddy. Keep proving your worth. <laughs> but you have my attention. Just don't overhype fighters again. Cause yeah, you looked you looked smart there, but uh, your lock of the night, man. He almost got submitted a couple times. Just saying, just saying. No, I I appreciate uh, you here, buddy. All right, final fight on the prelim next, ladies and gentlemen. Before the main card begins, we switch over to Showtime. Is this the only women's fight on the card, or do we miss one earlier? I started about an hour into this event, folks. Yeah, the only only women's fight on the card. Much like Eris, there was only one women's fight on the Eris card yesterday as well. Where is Mike Jones, bro? He'll be back. He'll be here probably for BKFC and, and UFC. He's probably working right now. Yeah, because the post opponent of Yves was asking like it was a bullshit decision. Again, the second round could have gone either way. The second round was close. So if he believed he won that second round, he knew he won the first maybe thought he won that fight. Clearly the judges thought he lost the second round and I I can't argue with them. It wasn't it, it wasn't a deciding round by any means. Let's go Sasha, call another one. Hell yeah, you can watch the prelims of the VPN. This is Peakmaster. One more prelim left. A win is a win. Unless it turns to a no contest because the referee ends the fight too soon. Then a win is a no contest. But I digress. All right. Let's hide the next fighters. Why? You guys, can I ask you, why Why does Bellator not show the walkouts? Is it like a sponsorship issue? Do they don't want to show like any of the fighters' sponsors for longer than they... Or do they even like walk out with sponsorship flags? Like what is this? Why doesn't Bellator show the walkouts? Do they, Is it just like just on the, the YouTube stuff or on the prelims because they want it to go quick. Like, It's interesting. Anyways, as we move on to the final prelim fight here, folks, fighters have already made their walkout. They are already in the cage. So we will highlight them here. We'll get back to the comments here in a sec, folks. Uh, you go against the Brazilian on that one. On this one, I haven't I haven't decided yet. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. <laughs> All right, let's go through them. Oh, here we go. They're showing the walkout here for Paula Christina. There you go. See, that's the thing. They have like a huge like TV screen and, and like runway and everything. I don't know why they don't do this more often. I guess maybe they're just going quickly through. They don't have time to show them all. I don't know. Anyway, she won six of her last seven fights. That's crazy. Let's get into it. Uh, Denise Kielholtz 
against Paula Christina. Out of the Netherlands, Miss Dynamite Denise Kilholtz. She is six and five oof, in her pro MMA career, yet she is the favorite out of the Netherlands, m- minus 230. Okay, she is two and three in her last five fights. She's on a three fight losing streak. Interesting. Two KO, two KO, three submission, one decision. She's six and four in Bellator. She lost her last fight via split decision. She won a kickboxing fight at Hit It. Lost two fights before that in Bellator. Between 2019 and 2020, she did go on a four-fight win streak in the promotion. Has only won one fight since, and that was in kickboxing, not even in mixed martial arts. Looking at her opponent, Paula Christina. She is 6-1 and one in her pro MMA career, 4-1 and one in her last five fights, plus 180 underdog. She's 28 years of age. 4 KO, TKO, 0 submission, 2 decision. She has fought in Shooto Brazil, solid promotion, uh, UAE Warriors, as well as Arena Fight. I like Shooto Brazil as a good uh, developmental promotion. Uh, she lost in UAE Warriors via unanimous decision. That's another good developmental promotion. Um, coming off a win here, making her Bellator debut. I'm going with the Brazilian, and I'm following Gravedigger Jones' rule. If you don't know much about either fighter, always go for the Brazilian. <laughs> locking it in all right michael c williams announcing the fighters now in the center of the cage i give my prediction i want to hear yours shane is going with miss dynamite from the netherlands locking it in uh, Diego is going with Paula Cristina locking it in. Let me know your predictions in the live chat, folks. Like this video if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. And subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers, folks. We're so close to 5,000 subscribers. Let's try to hit 5,000 subs by the end of this weekend. I know we can do it. This is head-to-head. We'll decide the beer bet. Oh, yeah, because you don't like watching the actual main events of Bellator. All right, head-to-head. Let's go, Shane. Let's go. Pete Rodriguez versus Nathan Levi canceled again because you left me hanging there, brother. You left me hanging there. I'm going Christina because I think she is prettier. Hey, locking it in. Whoops, the round hasn't started yet. I'll take a vibe showtime, but last time I don't. I know, I'm just teasing you, Shane, because you don't like using uh, <clears throat> the avenue that uh, some of us, some of us use to watch Showtime. I do have it, just not on, not in my office. I have it on my uh, TV in the living room. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Final fight on the prelim, folks. Head to head. This decides the beer bet for today's stream with Shane. Uh, Shane, we're going to open up the beer bets again for BKFC tonight, right? Four minutes and 50 seconds. Left hand by Ken Holt. Ken Holt's a sixth ranked fighter in the division, by the way. What are they, 125 pounds? Yep. Four minutes and 30 seconds if you want to sync up with my stream here. I'm watching on Bellator YouTube. Final fight on the prelims before we move to showtime, ladies and gentlemen. In the blue corner and green kit. Love the fight kit there. Is the Brazilian Christina in the pink kit, red corner, Kielholtz. I guess it's red, more red than pink. Four minutes on the clock here. Christina looking for that counter left. You can shout out to the entire live chat. You all are amazing. Like this video. We're trying to get to 50 likes on this video. That is our like goal for this stream. We still have a few more fights on the main card left. We still have time to get to 50 likes. But let's try to get to it before the main card, folks. Where are we at with likes right now? Do we got a lot of ground to cover still? Vote in the poll question if you haven't already, folks, and let me know who you voted for in the poll question. I'm a huge Musasi fan. I'd love to see him at least get one more win, whether he wins another title or not. 50 and 8. Now that looks like a beautiful, beautiful resume. Three minutes and 30 seconds here. Again, Christina pressuring Kielholtz outside of the center line. Very much looking for that counter left, though, is Christina. 
There it is. We just saw it there. There's that counter left. Walks in with the straight left. Kill Holtz. Nice body shot with the left. Followed by the right hand by Kill Holtz. Again, still on the back step, though, as Christine is pressuring her. Uh, because Levi said Pete Rodriguez had weight problems. Props to Musasi for his longevity. Absolutely. He is an OG, ladies and gentlemen. 61% uh, of fan votes on Tapology have Christina winning, by the way, despite her being the underdog. Straight left by Kilholtz. Yeah, Gegard Musasi, man. What an absolute legend. Like 8 0 in Dream, 4 and 1 in Strike Force, 7 and 2 in Bellator, 9 and 3 in the UFC. How the fuck are you? Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock here. Pretty even round thus far. Nice left hand by Kielholtz. I think Kielholtz has landed probably more strikes here as Christina is really trying to land that big blow on the counter. It looks like Christina might have some swelling on the next to the right eye. Props away from home as well for joining us in this live chat. Appreciate you, dude. Nice combo there by Kale Holtz again. She might be running away with this round here. One minute and 43 seconds on the clock. Miss Dynamite's got to throw some dynamite here. She's, she looks like she's the bigger girl. Is her nose starting to bleed too? Anyway, she's absorbing more strikes in the second half of the first round. Shout out to everyone joining. Appreciate you all. Like this video if you haven't already, folks. We're trying to get to 50 likes. Subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of this weekend. we got a few more streams coming. BKFC tonight, Saturday, UFC, and Top Rank Boxing on ESPN. Missing with that straight left jab is Christina. Starting to gain the timing. Even on her back foot is Killholtz here. And if any of you are viewing on Facebook, please come over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. Mark, who's winning this round? Odds are even... Uh, I would say Kale Holtz is winning this round. She's landing way more strikes. Way more strikes. Uh, Christina is relying way too heavily on the counters here, and she's not getting any of her jabs going. Ooh, there's that counter left. Again, Christina's just really trying to set up that counter left. But Mark, I have Kale Holtz winning personally. 28 seconds left, but we're only in the first round. 28 seconds left. What's up, Nick? I'm glad you're back, buddy. What do you guys think in the chat? Let me know. Uh, let Mark know your opinions. I mean, it's close. There's a nice right by Christina. I mean, Christina's landed a couple good shots at the end of the round here, but yeah, I think Kale Holtz has just outstruck her. And now they're just throwing bombs here. There's that counter left again by Christina. Christina threw a leg kick right at the end of the round. Over one and a half. Let's go. Women's MMA in Bellator. You're probably going to hit that, Nick. <laughs> Women's MMA in one championship. You ain't going to hit that, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Shout out to everyone joining us here. Last prelim fight before we jump over to the main card. I believe at the top of the hour, 4 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> Smart on Bellator for putting a lighter weight women's fight at the end of the prelim here, guaranteeing that they will at least get 15 minutes of action from these women. Uh, the over in the Gallon fight got pushed because of the no contest, thank God. And, and that's the right move to make. I'm glad it got overturned to a no contest. What's the last MMA Guru video you watched? Uh, probably his prediction video for this fight card this week. I've been behind this week. I'm watching his shit. I've been so busy. I saw he released a new one this morning. Round two. Let's get it on! Uh, putting together like a, a card. 292 or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's 90. I, I, don't, I don't know which one, but. Uh, Alex, it's still on. It's still on YouTube, buddy. 
My buddy in Canada is watching it right now on YouTube. You can watch on the Showtime YouTube or Bellator YouTube. There's two options for you. Or Alex O. Alex O, don't say I never did anything for you, buddy. Don't say I never did anything for you. Alex O, there you go. I mean, after one round, we're four minutes and 13 seconds in, or on the clock in the second round right here. The first round of Hyde Kale Holtz winning. My Saul Rogers bet was graded as one. Was the fight no contest? What happened? Yes, it uh, was a no contest. Saul Rogers did not win that fight. Saul Rogers did not win that fight. His opponent did not tap. His opponent wasn't even close to tapping. Was defending, was in a great defensive position, and the official royally fucked up and ended the fight. Alex O. There you go. I don't like Guru Predictions. He's not betting oriented. He does better than everybody else in the MMA media, though. I just like his breakdowns. Betting aside, I like his breakdowns. He's entertaining. He's just he's he's something different from the rest of the MMA media who are kind of like assimilating. You know what I mean? Everyone brings their own flavor. I like how he's kind of the edgy comedic one. Do I agree with everything he says? No. Do I watch all his videos? No. Am I a proud subscriber of his channel? Yes. That's weird. Uh, Shane was watching it and he's in Canada. Graded a win, but is a no contest now. How, how are you guys watching the main event in Canada? Is it DAZN or Showtime? Gravedigger Jones, what's going on? Gravedigger! <laughs> My man, you excited for BKFC tonight? By the way, I took your advice, Gravedigger. I didn't know much about either of these fighters, so I chose the Brazilian to win. So far, I think she's losing the fight, but that's okay, that's okay. Shout out to you, Gravedigger. Thank you so much for joining Bellator 296, ladies and gentlemen, live fight companion here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction. Okay, here's some stats. 48 of 107 were significant for Kale Holtz, 22 of 59 for Christina. So 49 significant strikes for Kale Holtz, 110 strikes thrown. Christina, just a fraction of that. So yes, Kale Holtz is winning this fight. <laughs> Gravedigger Jones, your rule might bite me in the ass in this one, though, unless Christina can land that counter left and knock out Kale Holtz, because that's kind of what she's looking for. She's been stalking Kale Holtz all night. Right hand by Christina. Beautiful right by Kale Holtz. Kale Holtz is outstriking Christina here. You can see that kickboxing background play into effect. By the way, shout out to all the new subscribers here. You guys are amazing. The Splendid Dinglers. I think I pissed them off, so they left, but... Hopefully they subscribed. <laughs> Peak Masters is back, so that's awesome. Buddy with the warning sign. He was pissed. Hope to see him back again. Takedown attempt by Christina doesn't land. What are you saying I was like crawling up someone's ass or something? I don't know. Weird shit, ladies and gentlemen. It's been, a, it's been an interesting live chat today. But that's why I love these streams. It's like going to a pub and, and watching fights, hanging out with the characters, the fellow fight fans who are all a little bit out there just like ourselves. So I absolutely love it. But again, those on Facebook and Twitch, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat so you can vote in the poll question. This is our primary destination where we will stream. Our backup destinations and platforms are Facebook and Twitch. Final 30 seconds of this second round. Kale Holtz dominating now in the striking department, lapping Christina in significant strikes and strikes thrown. I just got back from a job interview. I've never seen a butt whooping like this. Well, there was a fight earlier on the card that was even more of a butt whooping, if you can believe it, Gravedigger Jones. Which one was it again? It was... Uh, buh, 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 buh. Uh, Fabakari Diata against Kier Harvey. Kier Harvey got his ass kicked. Like, I would say 10-8 every single round. End of the second round, folks. Who's up? Oh, Kill Holtz, a thousand percent. Um, as far as significant strikes, halfway through the round, she had double the output and double the significant strikes. She had like, 
I think with two minutes left in the round, she had 110 strikes, 55 were significant. Whereas Paula Christina didn't even have 60 strikes thrown yet. And you can see the damage on Christina's face now as well. Definitely, she is out being outclassed in the striking department. Robbie Lawler will be retiring at UFC 290. Well, what we've heard from Dana is Robbie Lawler's last fight in the UFC is going to be at 290. I'm still convinced Robbie Lawler does one BKFC match before his uh, before his run is done. Yeah, you go against the Brazilian. As I said, no, I picked the Brazilian, though, this time. I picked the Brazilian. I didn't follow your rule. I followed Gravedigger Jones' rule, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to bite me in the ass here. But Sasha's proven, proven that they're a Bellator expert. Outside low kick by Kale Holtz. Start of the third round. Let's get it all! Cage Wars is where I'm at. And I don't even know much about the fighters. I just look at their records. I just go through their shit. And for some reason, I can go like a perfect predictions on... Uh, on Cage Wars. Pretty good at one championship too. Now that I know most of the fighters. Not on the Muay Thai side. But admittedly on the MMA side. But like I said. I'm a fan. I'm no expert. Sasha's the new expert in the live chat here. I can't wait for Sasha and Mike Jones to hang out. I want to see. If their expert minds collide. Because Mike Jones is the OG on the channel. Is the main event next? The main card is next. So we have four. Was it four more fights after this? Yeah, four fight main card after this. Hunter, she's still fighting, buddy. This is the third round. Hunter, join us on YouTube if you haven't already, brother. That's where our live chat is actually buzzing. Our primary destination of where we stream is YouTube. Facebook and Twitch are our backup destinations. We were unable to stream on YouTube last week, so that's why we streamed on Facebook and Twitch. Shout out to everyone who joined us on Facebook and Twitch last week. We wanted to stream on Facebook and Twitch additionally this weekend again to remind all the new subscribers and new friends who joined us on Twitch and Facebook last week to join us on YouTube here today, the City Life Project. That's where the live chat is. That's where the poll question is. That's where the party is. Hunter Reese, Christina is still fighting right now. She is down two rounds, though. Kale Holtz is outstriking her, doubling the output. Christina is desperately looking for that counter left to put Kale Holtz out, but she's not landing it. She's not finding her target. And Kale Holtz, despite being put on the back foot every now and then, her kickboxing expertise is coming through here. And Kale Holtz is like outclassing Christina on the feet. It, it's it's tough to watch at times. Uh, he That's a good question. Probably at work. Mike Jones usually joins uh, on, on the weekend streams. But again, Hunter, please join us on YouTube if you haven't already. I appreciate you stopping by Facebook. Arthur, it's on YouTube, buddy. Arthur, it's on Bellator or Short Showtime's YouTube channel. And the prelims are free. Hey, Mark, I followed, I followed my, you know, I, 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 I followed my gut and it was wrong. I drank the secret juice from Shudo Brazil. It was wrong. Kale Holtz, solid kickboxer. There's a reason she was the favorite. <laughs> Sash, I swear, I swear Sasha's Mike Jones burner account. Mike Jones, is that you? Is that you, Mike Jones? Um, Arthur, if you can't find it on YouTube, here. There you go. Who should I bet on next, Sasha? There you go. <laughs> Sasha, giving out free picks in the live chat. Thank you so much, Sasha. You're an absolute beauty. I got to start listening to you. Arthur, I just, I just helped you out, Arthur. I just helped you out, Arthur. Read the chat, buddy. Read the chat. Read the chat, Arthur. Next fight, you got, you go Guti. Please, guys, take Guti. All right, I got to listen to Sasha this next one. One minute, 10 seconds left here. Keholtz outclassing Christine on the feet. Nice one, two by Keholtz. Holtz. 
Arthur, I hope you found it, buddy. Am I the only one who wants to say Artem whenever I see Art? Arthur? Artem? This will solidify it. It will indeed, Sasha. It will indeed. Shout out for joining, Sasha. And thank you for the kind words early on. I really appreciate it. 35 seconds left in this third round, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take a little bit of a break before the main card starts. Don't worry, we won't be like off air for 20 fucking minutes, but we will take a little bit of a break. I'm going to stretch it out. I'm going to grab a something to drink. Oh, look at this. Kerholtz in the final 10 seconds. Just come on. Come on. Nice right hand. Kerholtz hands down, just yelling at Christina, piecing her up here. Let's freaking go. Shane's going to win the beer bet, but I don't even care. I love watching a scrap and Kerholtz dominant performance here against the young Brazilian. And that is it for the fight. Sasha, we do every single fight promotion. That's right. Just click click our live tab and you'll see all the promotions we've done. UFC, we, we've done we've even done Muradov Fighting League, and I don't even remember where that's being held, somewhere in the Middle East. I don't know why Bet365 doesn't open live. Betting for Bellator prelims. Uh, yeah, Sasha, we do all sorts of promotions. Not just MMA, too. We do kickboxing, um, grappling, Muay Thai, boxing, all sorts of MMA promotions. Like This is the first weekend that we're going to skip KSW in a long time. I love KSW. KSW won championship. Ryzen, they're my favorite leagues. They're my favorite leagues. UFC, they're the NFL, so we got to do them every week, right? Because we got to do as many as we can because that's where that's what's most popular. I get it. But my favorites are the other promotions. Ryzen, 1, KSW. Those are my favorite three to do. And hey, and Sasha, we're doing BKFC tonight. That's where Mike Jones makes most of his money. He says he watches the weigh-ins and just knows who to parlay based on the weigh-ins. And he makes... Thousands and thousands of dollars betting on BKFC. It's hilarious. But yeah, Sasha, I posted my schedule today, or I posted my schedule also, Sasha, if you want to check it out. I post a streaming schedule every week. Again, check out that community tab, brother. That's where all the uh, updates will be. We're doing BKFC tonight, UFC tomorrow, as well as Top Rank Boxing on ESPN tomorrow as well. We are combat sports junkies here, Sasha. So we're here every weekend doing Fight Companions, and I'm excited that you found the channel. I appreciate you, brother. All right, official decision. We know who won here, but we're listening in. Shane, I think it's only five bucks. Yep. It was the right pick. It was, well, it was, it was not my right pick. It was Shane's right pick. And was the right decision. Denise, Miss Dynamite, ends her losing streak back in the winning column. Seven and five in MMA. Shane, I think B, I think I think the BKFC pay-per-view tonight, it's it's not as expensive as the last one. All right, folks, that will do it for the prelims. And we have a four-fight main card next. We're gonna take a quick break here. Shane, congratulations on winning the beer bet. Uh, Shane won't be joining us here for the main card. Wah, wah, wah. Um, but I hope to see you on uh, for BKFC later, Shane. And I hope to see everybody else as well for the main card of Bellator as well as BKFC here tonight. We're not going to be taking a 20-minute break, folks. We'll come back. We'll talk about the next fights, how we'll come back. We might even just talk about something in the world of mixed martial arts as well. But uh, we will take a break as we've gone two hours and 42 minutes without taking a break here. I'm going to grab some more coffee. I'm going to grab some water. I'm going to grab a snack. And then we'll get right back into it. So about five minutes, five or six minute break here, folks. And then we'll come back. We'll talk a little bit. We might take one more quick break. Do one last stretch here before the main card starts. So switch over to Showtime. Switch over to Paramount. Wherever you watch this, switch over to, um, well, if you need a place, ask the chat. We can help you out. If you want to become a member of the channel, our boy Peak Master in the Discord always provides a place where you guys can watch these in the Discord if we can't get to it in the live chat here. So I'm staying here. No worries. Sweet away from home. I appreciate you guys. So don't go anywhere. Just uh, just hang back, relax, grab a drink, fill up your snack bowl, uh, do a little stretch of even as we've been sitting and watching fights for a few hours and we'll be back on the other side. We'll talk about... 
this main card. We'll highlight the next fight. We'll talk about some news topics in the world of mixed martial arts. We have a lot to talk about to rag the puck. That's what we say. To buy time in radio in Canada. To rag the puck. We have a lot of topics to get into if we need to buy some time. But back after the break, about five to six minute break, folks. Smoke. Yeah, that too. Yes, absolutely. Smoke them if you got them. Smoke them if you got them. We'll be back on the other side. A little uplifted. We will make big money tonight, guys. Let's go. Uh, how you doing away from home? Great to have you in the chat. Look at that, Diego. Look at that. Love the camaraderie in the chat. Yes, guys, talk amongst yourselves in the live chat. I'll let my wife do the cooking and stay here. This is amazing. You guys are so much fun. Back on the other side, five-minute break. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll chime in on the chat, too, via text in a little bit here. Five to six-minute break. It'll go by fast, I promise. Like this video. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the channel, ladies and gentlemen, or on this video. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers on the channel by the end of the weekend. I know we can do it. I know we can get to 50 likes on this video. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. We do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction on all of these live streams. And speaking of these live streams, we do up to six Fight Companions every single weekend. So subscribe to the channel. We post a ton of vlog content as well. Kyle's music is dropping every single month here. So check out the link in is, is in every description for Kyle's new music. Uh, Andy, what's up, Andy? When is the Kane fight? It is coming up next to your man in about 15 to 20 minutes, Andy. So hold on tight. 15 to 20 minutes, top of the hour. The main card will start. The prelims just ended. Thank you so much for joining, Andy. I appreciate you, Andy. Uh, we're just about to take a break, buddy. So tune back in in a, about five to six minutes as we, as we will be back here. We haven't even taken a break on this stream yet for two hours and 45 minutes. So quick break on the other side. We will be back in about five to six minutes to run down the next fight, the main card, and anything you guys want to talk about in the world of mixed martial arts and combat sports. Uh, talk amongst yourselves in the chat. I'll chime in, vote in the poll question, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you folks on the other side. If 
you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friends, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like... We could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We could hold hands if you wanna Hey, tell, tell me what you wanna do I just bought a new whip Spent a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you have to know it That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can all have Rocking all the same things Say you need me but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like We could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We could hold hands if you wanna Tell me what you wanna do I just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it Never tell her, but I put it in the music Well, that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you have to know it That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can hold hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna You can just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friends, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. I just bought a new whip Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you have to know it That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can all have If you wanna Late nights on the stars If you wanna We could just kiss If you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life
my life. Best friends, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We can hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. I just bought a new whip, spent a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she loved me, but I swear she never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side, make you laugh to no end. That's the stuff that I love, la la that I die. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all end. If you wanna, hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. It's like the story of my life. Best friends, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. I just bought a new whip, spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she loved me, but I swear she never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side, make you laugh to no end. That's the stuff that I love, la la that I die. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all have if you wanna, hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. It's like the story of my life. Best friends, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We can hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. I just bought a new whip, spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she loved me, but I swear she never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side, make you laugh to no end. That's the stuff that I love, la la that I die. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. It's like the story of my life. Best friends, but we 
blocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. I just bought a new whip, spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side, make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love, la, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do We could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We could just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friends, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care in my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. I just bought a new whip, spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side. And we are back live here in the City Life Project YouTube channel for you another live fight companion, folks. This time, the main card of bellator 296 that is right a huge card here yeah we don't have necessarily a title on the line but we have gay guard musasi potentially getting his 50th win in mixed martial arts can you imagine even if he retires after even if he goes to pursue a title again which by the way vote in the poll question if you haven't already folks it's gay guard musasi and title related Retiring at 58 and 2 is legendary. We haven't seen another MMA fighter in history have longevity and dominance in so many promotions. Dream, Strike Force, the UFC, and Bellator. It's truly incredible going up against Leon Edwards' brother. Look at me now. Fabian Edwards in the main event. And then in front of France, they have their boy, their Bellator star, Mansour. Barnoui up against Brent Primus in the tournament quarterfinals. For those who are watching in France, anywhere French speaking, je parle français aussi. Tu peux comment en français, je peux lire. It's a comment driven live stream, folks. So get your comments in the live chat. I'll try to keep up with them the best I can. Appreciate every single one of you. We do live fight companions every single weekend, folks. That is right. We are also doing BKFC later today in UFC tomorrow. We do live play by play commentary, reaction, and interaction here in this live chat. If you need a place to watch it, you can find it on Paramount Plus Showtime. Or I got a little gift for you as well. Don't ask me a thousand times. I'm giving you the gift. I'm watching on Showtime. Don't ask me. Don't pepper me throughout the entire stream. I'm giving you a gift. Find the gift. Use your head. Use the scroll. You can find it. There you go. Back to the comments. We go, baby. 
All right. Da, 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 da. The Ant-Man. I'm watching Bellator right now. Let's go. Marlon Z, you the man, homie. What's up, Marlon? Thank you so much for joining. It has been a while, brother. I am back. I got Edwards plus 200 money line. Uh, Machida got wrecked by Leon's bro. Machida was a little long in the tooth, let's be honest. When is it starting? It is starting right now, brother. It is starting right now. They're just showing the intro right now. And we're getting into it. We will highlight the next two fighters. Please, bro, don't go, Edwards. Don't let him bully us, son. I think I have the... Uh, I have the look at me now sound, sound bite. Where is it? Uh... Look at me now! <laughs> so I got, I got Leon's sound bite there. I don't got Brother Fabian, but Brother Fabian doesn't have a moment like uh, Leon yet. Anyway, shout out to... Almost a hundred of you viewing right now. You guys are amazing. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction. As you guys can see, we love interacting with the live chat. If you need a place to watch this, again, scroll up. I just gave it to you. I'm watching on Showtime slash Paramount. I'm all in on Edwards plus 200. I'm going to smoke that Musasi pack. Uh, take Goody if you want a good play. Man, you lost, I promise. Uh, fading Goody too. Let's go. Marlon Z, it's good to see you again. It's been a while. Happy to see you back in the live chat. Uh, man, do me a favor. Try to tell who's winning the round as it's going. I'll try to bet it live. Sure, I'll do that. 100% and chat. Uh, help out Nick as well. Sasha, let's see, baby. Let's see. Shout out to everyone who joined us in the prelims as well. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Folks, we have almost 100 people in the live chat, and we haven't even hit our like goal on the video here today. So do me a favor. Like this video if you haven't already. Please like this video if you haven't already. We are trying to get to 50 likes on the video. That is our like goal here today. If we can get to 50 likes on the video, that would be amazing. I appreciate it. The more likes we get on the video while we're live, the more YouTube helps push our video so that more people can join our live chat and join these fun watch parties that we do every single weekend. We do live fight companions every single weekend. So like subscribe on route to 5,000 subs. We are almost there. Ladies and gentlemen, knock on wood, fingers crossed. We can get there by the end of the weekend. This has to be the longest break between cards in history of MMA. I don't know. Ryzen does like a, um, a mandatory half an hour break between their prelims, the first half of their card, and their last, like, five fights. And that's usually 45 minutes. Um, this one... This one wasn't bad. The The prelims ended at... It's only been a half... It's only been 25 minutes. The prelims ended at, what? Uh, 3.40 Eastern? Bum, ba -dum, ba -ba. Man, you're an angel. Thanks. No problem. Away from home. I'm just happy that you're here. I'm happy that you can join us on future streams as well. Like I said, BKFC later tonight. We're doing another one tonight. And then tomorrow, UFC top rank boxing. I mean, we had to skip KSW and one this morning because we're just doing too much. Likewise, my guy, how you call every MMA event under the sun. Appreciate your hard work, bro. I appreciate your support, bro. So thank you very much. Who's taller and longer in reach between the two? We talking about the next fight or the main event? We will highlight the next fighters in just a sec. Uh, need a lock, says uh, Baller B. Oh, Baller B, Goaty or Gooty. He's the lock. Lock it in. Uh, on French streams, someone messed with the cameras and we saw the female journalist adjusting her boobs on live stream. That was funny. Indeed. Leonardo's brother for the title eliminator. Scary how similar their striking is. Dude, against Musasi. I mean, I know Musasi's a little long in the tooth. Again, I have nothing against Fabian Edwards. I want to see Musasi hit 50 wins because we don't know how much longer this guy's going to fight. He's at, he's even admitted it. I got to see Musasi get 50 wins. What a better way to get 50 wins. Oh, Vladdy is pissed off. Vladdy giving me the angry emoji. By the way, for those who are tuning in on Facebook... It clearly says watch party here. Migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. Don't give me the angry emojis when it clearly states fight companion and watch party. You're the one who got punked. All right. This is your fault for getting punked. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Goody, that's the lock. Yeah, I'll be there for MMA and boxing mostly. Awesome, buddy. One championship was insane this morning. Yeah, shout out to the Friday fights, Lupini Stadium. I watched the last three. 
I haven't watched the whole card yet. Musashi's going to sleep. No. Goody's from my town. This guy's fire. I promise a war in the Ox channel. Oh, we'll highlight the fighters in just a sec. Goody throws more volume. Better fight IQ. Okay, keep the comments coming again. I might not be able to hit all the comments in real time, folks, but I promise I will address them also. Just keep them coming. Keep talking amongst yourselves. If I notice you guys are like talking back and forth with each other, I won't necessarily put them all on screen. But what we will do now is highlight the next two fighters. Let's get into it before they make their walk to the cage. We have uh, Thibaut Guti against Kane Musa. GT Guti, 16 and 6 in his pro MMA career. He is the minus 140 favorite. He's 36 years of age, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. He's actually uh fights uh Soset fight team and Jackson Wink when he's in New Mexico. He is French um heritage, so fighting in front of you know his home country here in his home country. 16 and 6 is his pro record. He is four and one in his last five fights. Fighters making their walkouts right now, folks. Uh, six KO, TKO, six submissions, four decisions in his pro MMA career. He was one and five in the UFC, one and one in Bellator. He lost a unanimous decision in October to Alfie Davis, Bellator 287. Before then, was on a four-fight win streak. Uh, Tofi, French Fight Championship, War of Titans, and Bellator. He beat a 19-6 and six guy in Bellator, unanimous decision. He beat... Uh, a 22-10 and 10 and one guy in War of Titans via ground and pound. He beat split decision, a 12-3 and three guy in French Fighting Championship, and he beat an 11-6 and six guy. So, I mean, yes, weaker promotions, obviously, upon leaving the UFC. Um, he left the UFC upon losing Nasser at Hakparas uh, and Sage Northcutt. Unanimous decisions, by the way. He didn't, he didn't get finished by either of those guys. Um, then he went and, yeah, fought in... You know, a lesser two lesser promotions, War of Titans, whatever. I've heard good things, but again, it was only a second event. Um, and then you know, a, a good a good win against Lewis Long in Bellator. So not bad, not necessarily can crush. If we look back into his career as well, even the UFC fought solid guys as well. Uh, ten and two, seven and two, seven and one, twenty three and eight, seven and zero, oh, twelve and one. I mean, these are the kind of guys that he was fighting in his come up as well. That is Tabo uh, Guti, his opponent, Kane Musa, the danger. He is the slight underdog at plus 120. He is from Manchester, England. He's 36 years old. Again, I'm, I don't have the live chat up right now. I'll get back to the live chat in a little bit here. Keep the comments coming. 14-4 and four in his pro MMA career. 3-2 uh, and two in his last five fights coming off a win. 4 KO, TKO, 2 submissions, 8 decisions. 3-2 and two in Bellator, 2-1 and one in ACB. He won his last fight in Bellator, unanimous decision. Lost his fight before then. Unanimous decision. Won a split decision at Bellator Euro Series 9 against a 15 and 11 guy. Do you want to highlight? Um, he beat his last guy. The last guy he beat was 31 13. He lost to an 18 7 guy. Beat it 15 and 11. Lost to a 9 and 4. Beat a 14 and 4. And beat a 4 and 3 when he was 10 and 2 in Celtic Gladiator. I mean, ACB is an, is an all right promotion. He'd been 8 and 1 and 14 and 2 guy in ACB. It's not ACA. And, uh, man, he even fought in Bama back in 2015. That's awesome. Is Kane Musa. I think they're both good fighters, both veterans, both 36 years old. I think Guti has fought better competition. Does that mean he's taking more damage? Maybe. But I do think he's better and more well-rounded. Looks like he's wearing a little shiner there on his nose. There's a little cut on his nose there. But anyways, I'm going with Guti as well. Easy money locking it in. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Yes, I do stream. Uh, I do stream PFL as well. Sadie Dumbe signed there two days ago. I don't know if you know him. Yes, I do. He's one of the best kickboxers in the world. He's going to come into PFL much like Pereira came into the UFC. Yes, I did foul one. That was a crazy finish. Look at me now. I'm on an island from what I see in the chat. I'm the only one opposite of Guti. So Marlin is locking in Kane Musa. Thank you so much, Rennell 
in Lyo for the heart on Facebook. Hey, everyone on Facebook, please, my, I see there's four of you on Facebook, one of you on Twitch, please jump over to YouTube. That's where the live chat is actually going. That's where the live chat's actually going down and buzzing. That's where our poll question is. This YouTube, the City Life Project YouTube channel is our primary streaming destination. Facebook and Twitch are our backup destinations and we will not be streaming on Facebook and Twitch next week. The only way we will stream on Facebook and Twitch is if we have any issues on YouTube. We had issues with YouTube last week, so we used our backup Twitch and Facebook. We wanted to stream on those two platforms one more time this weekend to remind all of our new fans to come over to YouTube. That is where we are watching. I got Kane locking it in. Uh, Francisco, what's up, Francisco? You can watch on Showtime Paramount. Like I said... Thank you so much for joining, Francisco. I appreciate you, buddy. Andy saying Kane for the win. Oh my goodness. Sasha saying don't. Don't pick him. Let's go, says Nick. All right, folks. Round one. Focus play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction. You guys... Please get your comments in throughout the fights. Just know that I may not look at them in real time as quick as I do when we're in between fights or when the fighters make their walkouts because I do want to give my live play-by-play -play, and there's guys in the live chat who have specific much information as I can in real time, so we will do that. If you need a place to watch this stream, just check the live chat. Go on Paramount Plus or Showtime. My man, Peak Master, is still with us. I love it. Round one. Let's get it all! All right, 450, four minutes and 50 seconds on the clock if you want to sync up with my stream. Going for Goody, says Gravedigger Jones, one of our exclusive members. And some quick hands right off the bat by Musa. Musa in the blue corner, Goody in the red. Both these guys, 36 years old. Both these guys, veterans in the game. Shout out to the exclusive members. Four minutes and 28 seconds on the clock here. Again, if you want to sync up with my stream. Looking for the level change there is Musa. Kind of just feeling each other out here. Timing. Center of the cage. Goody lines a straight left. Outside low kick by Goody. Four minutes on the clock. One minute into this fight. Main card here. Bellator 296. Shout out to everyone joining us. You guys are all amazing. I appreciate you all. Gucci. What's up, Gucci? <laughs> Took the over. It's good to see you, Gucci. Are you joining us for BKFC later? Let's go. Oh, I might be a little bit behind you guys, but I know it's coming now. I know it's coming. I know what's coming. Three minutes. My again. I'm, I think I'm like maybe I might even be like a like forty seconds behind you guys. I just downloaded the Paramount app on my laptop. Maybe it's a little behind here. It's three minutes and thirteen seconds on my uh, on my clock. And there it is. There it is. Musa dropped. Musa back up to his feet, going for the single leg. God of work, hella early, dude. To a leak in the roof. Two minutes and 50 seconds here on the clock. Musa was dropped by Guti. Back up to his feet. He tried to go for the single leg. They're back at the center of the cage. I'm, I'm giving it to you, Nick. I'm giving it to you. Jeez. So demanding, hasn't even donated. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Two minutes and 26 seconds. They're swinging here. Musa hasn't really landed much here. Musa was threatening for a level change again. That's kind of been Musa's game. A lot of feints. Guti did drop Musa with the right hand. Quickly, Musa got back up to his feet, tried to threaten for the single leg. They're back, center of the cage. Two minutes and six seconds. Uh, Guti's winning. He got the knockdown. Again, I'm, I might be a little behind you guys. I just download this new app and I switched devices from iPad to laptop. So again, if you want to sync up with my stream, I'm one minute and 51 seconds left in the first round.
No problem, Francisco. Just like and subscribe, buddy. Just like and subscribe. That's all I ask. One minute and 34 seconds on the clock here. Is it looking like Goody's in control? So far, yes. So far, yes. He's not dominating, but again, he got the knockdown. He got the knockdown, and it's not like Moose is landing too much else. One minute and 15 seconds left in the first round. Again, shout out to you, Francisco. Thank you for supporting us. One minute on the clock here. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. We're so close to 5,000. One minute. A nice right hand by Guti. Again, Guti hasn't thrown too, too much since getting, you know, since that drop there. Double left jab. It is. It has been back and forth in the last minute and a half. Nice body kick by Guti. Nice right hand by Guti. But Musa also landed a right hand in that exchange. And Guti got the knockdown, though. He is going to win this first round. Final 30 seconds on my stream. Has Moose ever been knocked out? That's a good question. Let me see. 30 seconds left here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Moose, he's been TKO'd once. But it doesn't say, like, knockout. He was TKO'd back in 2016. It just says lost to punches. Uh, no name. Scroll up, buddy. I, 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 guys, I told you this. I'm not going to be that guy. I already gave. I already helped you guys. I already gave you a gift. Scroll up. Uh, no name. Scroll up. That's all I got to say. Francisco. He asked moments ago. Scroll up. It's still fresh. Uh, and yeah, 2016. But uh, no name. Scroll up, buddy. Scroll up. You'll find it. You're a smart, dude. You'll find it. John versus Pavlovich if that happens I mean I would like to see that but fucking John Jones he only wants Miocic and he wants to retire so I, I would like to see that again no name scroll up buddy scroll up my last comment alright second round coming up here next folks Again, I got Gucci winning that first round. I might be a little bit behind your guys' stream. My apologies. I just downloaded the Showtime or the Paramount Plus app That's um, on my computer, and I switched from my iPad to my computer here. Goatee, looking a little tired, man. Looking a little tired. His nose was already banged up going into this fight. I just want to make that clear. He didn't take that damage on his nose from this fight. He already was actually cut there before the fight started. Shout out to all 100 of you viewing, by the way. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Round two. Let's get it. Let's get it on. The uppercut left to combo is money normally. Uh, Jonathan, we are in round two, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> Goody won the first. Round two, let's go. Jones is smart. He wouldn't fight Pavlich. Well, that's what I'm saying. He wants the, he wants the easy fight, then ride into the sunset. We, the fans, want Pavlovich. Four minutes and 15 seconds. Again, like I said, folks, I'm... It's just the way it is. It says I'm in real time here on the Paramount app. Four minutes and five seconds on the clock here on my stream if you want to sync up with me. Live play, play, commentary, reaction, and interaction. Like this video. We're trying to get to 50 likes. Nice left hand by Musa. As we start this off, good body kick by Musa. Musa so far, the opening minute and 20 seconds, is getting the better of Guti. Guti's body language on the stool was not positive either. Sasha, do you not have a place to watch this? I literally am giving you guys gifts and no one's taking advantage of it. It's, it's kind of weird. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, Musa's landing more in the second. Left jab by Guti. Guti seems he has gas out. I hope he's just saving for the third because those leg kicks start kicking. Who's winning? Well, Guti won the first round. We are three, we're at the three minute mark of the second round, so I can't definitively say yet who's winning. Guti won the first round. Musa's looking looking better than him in the second round, but we are only two minutes into the second round. So, so far, it's anyone's fight. 
Uh, Guti's starting to gas, though. Guti's starting to gas, Nick. Again, I haven't watched Guti, I guess, since his UFC days. So I don't know if this is just the way that he is. Looks a little drunken monkey out there. Nice body kick. Musa with the body kicks. Guti missed on his right hand. Again, Guti in the red corner, folks. Musa in the blue. Musa walking down Guti right now. Body kick again by Musa. Pressuring Guti up against the cage. Musa threatened with the with the single leg. It didn't like kind of half committed for. He's got to be careful because Guti might land a knee if he tries to do that again. Shout out to everyone watching. There's 100 viewing. That's amazing. Please like this video if you haven't already, folks. Please like this video. Si tu vu, uh, si tu vu, et tu es en France. Je parle français un peu aussi. Comment en français, je peux lire. And shout out to everyone else watching this as well. The supporters, the regulars, the members. You guys are awesome. One minute and 48 seconds on the clock here on my stream if you want to sync. And yeah, this round's it's Musa, man. Musa with the better counters. Goody's just swinging and he's not even landing. Now Goody threw a big left hand. Everything he had looked like into it and didn't land. Musa with a good body shot. Yeah, Musa's definitely winning this second round. Right hand by Guti doesn't connect. Nice block by Musa. <laughs> Ant Man, I'm behind. So, give me a sec. But I imagine Guti's about to go down. Right hand by. Oh my goodness, Guti just knocked down Musa. Guti just knocked down Musa. Oh, he's Oh my goodness, he was just waiting to line up that big shot. That was insane. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, the UFC. Uh, the former UFC fighter absolutely slept him. Oh, oh my god. It is over. Wish Momo bonjour, tout le monde bonjour, Momo. Merci. Boku, it's all good, Ant Man. It's all good. He went to the Shadow Realm. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, that just a right hook from hell, ladies and gentlemen. A right hook from hell. Lego. Sasha, he told us. He told us. Sasha, you were sweating a little bit, though. Don't lie. Don't lie. Let's go. <laughs> Easy money. Cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. All right, Sasha. Sasha's now the expert in the chat. We got a few experts now. We got Mike Jones, we got Sasha, and we got Professor Chaos. Those are our three. Um, we have now Sasha in the big three. If you ever see Sasha, Mike Jones, or Professor Chaos in the chat, you know they are our resident MMA betting experts. There you go. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I told you, brother Sasha. I'm bound to now. That's, that's three for three, Sasha. You know, it's three for three. I study this for a living. I went 50 on him. Peak master, France, France, France. Oh, face palm for Marlon. Respect, Goody backers. Hey, Marlon, Musa looked good, man. He looked good. Uh, Mike Jones, Mike Jones, <laughs> come over to YouTube, buddy. What are you doing on Twitch? Uh, the Dinglers are back. I knew it. I told Gucci he's going to bring the fire. This guy's unbreakable. He did start to gas, though. Let's be honest. Oh, Greg Digger Jones is both on Twitch and YouTube. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, shout out to everyone joining us live here on YouTube. If you're on Facebook and Twitch, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat so you can vote in the poll question and so you can subscribe to the channel. This is our primary spot where we are going to stream, ladies and gentlemen. Twitch and Facebook are our backup platforms and we will not be streaming on those platforms moving forward unless we have any issues with YouTube. We had issues with YouTube last week, which is why we streamed on those platforms. We wanted to stream this week on those platforms to tell all of you new folks who've joined us on Twitch and Facebook to migrate over to YouTube. Guti, addressing the crowd here.
Sasha is three and three in his picks here. Oh, yes. Diego. You ask, I deliver. Whoops. I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> Hey, Francisco, chill, buddy, chill. You, you got to be respectful. You got to be respectful. You can't demand anything. Sasha Sasha charges usually for these suckers. He's giving them to you for free. So just be thankful with the picks, okay? Yeah, you say please every now and then. Come on. Uh, Barnwee vs. Premier, who should I bet? Oh, Barnwee. Barnwee. <laughs> Sasha, you're the most popular person in the chat now. <laughs> French by submission to lose. The French just won, Splendid. The French just won. Uh, listen to me, guys. I got Douglas, Sacha, what you think? Like, honestly. It's all good. I'll have the last laugh with Edwards. Sasha saying, listen to me, guys. Mark Douglas Lima. Technique like Israel Adesonia. Lima is risky, says Sasha. Yeah, um, add me on Twitter, uh, Sasha, if you are on Twitter. And anybody here, if you're on Twitter, give me a follow. I am way more active on Twitter than I am on Instagram or any other platform. Uh, VI Sports Talk, that's where you can find me on Twitter. Be careful with Douglas. I faded Lima. Sneak emote also is making an educated guess. I was lucky. Should I avoid any bets on this next fight? Sasha saying I'll grab the under if anything. Uh, look at this. Sasha, you're the most popular person in the chat right now. Who is Sasha's pick for the next fight? Uh, he was faking. Faking surrender is a pretty common thing in France, you know. <laughs> Uh, the splendid sucker tien don't ta fast. Uh, don't go Lima. Tebo Guti, I utilize la technique de Israel Adesonia. In Portugal, I can't bet the over and under. Oh, that sucks. Think Costello is worth a bet or no? Should I pass? Sasha's saying tonight his bets are his picks are free, guys. So this is just this. So take advantage of this tonight, but don't don't get too you know don't get too comfortable here. <laughs> What's up, Void Mates? It's good to see you, buddy. It's been a while. Not confident in Costello. He seems to come up short in the biggest fights. You guys are awesome, by the way. Keep the comments coming. I know I'm a little behind on the comments. We'll fire through some of these. <laughs> it's just Francesco and Sasha here. <laughs> Sasha, I got Douglas, but I hope the under hits. I made it before I saw your pick. So don't go, Lima. Take it back, please, if you can. All right, we'll get into our next fight here. Oh, look. Sasha, the City Life goat of betting, has just entered the chat. Mike Jones, Sasha is also an expert when it comes to MMA betting, and he's doing pretty good on this card thus far. But the man, the myth, the legend... One of the biggest supporters of the channel. Mike Jones has entered the chat. What is up, Mike Jones? And he enters in with a $2 donation. Lima going up in weight after four losses. Lol. Mike Jones, thank you so much for the $2 donation. It's great to see you, brother. Mike Jones, will I see you later tonight for BKFC as well? I know it's been a couple weeks on YouTube, Mike Jones, but I've missed you, brother. And I haven't just missed you because of the donations. I've missed just hanging out and talking fights with you, man. Thank you so much for the $2 donation. You're an absolute beauty. I'm going for the Brazilian, my favorite, Douglas Lima. Yo, Sasha says Mike. All right, guys, keep talking amongst yourselves. I'll get back to the comments in a second. Again, thank you so much, Mike Jones. I'm going to leave that up here because you are such an absolute beauty. Thank you so much for the donation. Definitely looking forward to BKFC. Well, we're going to fire up that stream after this uh, fight card here tonight too, buddy. 
Yo, Sasha, says Mike Jones. Again, uh, we I, I said Mike Jones, Sasha, you and um, um, Professor Chaos, you guys are our new resident. Well, not you're not new, Mike. Sorry about that, folks. Not sure what happened there. Little, little jump in the internet. Little, uh, little glitch there. But we are back. We are good for this next fight. Um, but I, I don't know where I got cut off there saying. But uh, Mike Jones, uh, Sasha, you and um, Professor Chaos, you are our resident gambling experts on the channel. Shout out to everyone joining us live here on the Siglite Project YouTube channel. Please like this video. We are trying to get this video to 50 likes. That is our like goal here today on this video. We're trying to get past 50 likes on this Bellator Fight Companion. Also, reminder, we do Fight Companions every single weekend, folks. We're doing BKFC right after this. Then we got UFC and Top Rank Boxing tomorrow. Please subscribe to the channel. We are so close to... 5,000 subscribers, and we appreciate everyone who's been joining us uh, for over three hours here today for Bellator. On je pas de serviette la haie. <laughs> Francisco, we, we aren't even at the main event yet, buddy. Chill. Look at this guy. He tasted, he tasted that green. Now he's salivating over it. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah, I remember that bout... When he humbled MVP. If Edwards wins, I'm going to let Sasha have it. Fair enough. Sasha, why do you like the under? Is it the new weight? New weight, big factor. Also, Lima is just too shaky. I feel like it a setup fight for Costello. I def wouldn't grab Lima. I like the straight minus 170 for the bigger guy. Also, I sprinkled on a finish and Sasha likes the under. Look at that. Yeah, great pick. You guys are going to be best friends. Sasha and Mike Jones are going to be best friends. Is there any interesting matchups uh, on the BKFC card? Honestly, I haven't done like a deep dive into the card yet. I'm just like one championships Friday fights at the Lupini uh, Muay Thai Boxing Arena. You don't need to know who the fighters are to know that it's just going to be a fun night of fights, right? So there aren't any big names like there were last week, for example, on that huge card, but it's going to be entertaining nonetheless. Oh, oh no. Bet the house on Lima. I hope you have a few houses. Don't go Lima, please. <laughs> All right. Speaking of Costello and Lima, keep the comments coming, folks. Keep the comments coming. I might miss them in real time. I'm trying to address every single one of them. You all are amazing, by the way. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Vote in the poll question. Let me know what you voted for in the poll question. Um, next come Costello, too. Locking it in. <laughs> I'm going to highlight these two fighters, folks. Uh, keep the comments coming again. I might not get to them in real time, but I promise I address them all, and I really appreciate every single one of you here. Douglas Lima against Costello Van Stinas. Van Stinas just entered the cage 14-2 and two in his pro MMA career. He is the slight favorite at minus 165. Again, Lima moving up in weight here after losing four in a row. And a two-fight winning streak is the 30-year-old Costello of the Netherlands. Three KOTKO, seven submissions, three decisions. He's six and one in Bellator, three and one in Phoenix MMA UK. He beat a nine and one guy and Fabian Edwards in his last two fights. Darce Choke in his last fight, split decision against Fabian Edwards. Before losing to John Salter, unanimous decision, who was 16 and four. He was on a two, four, five fight win streak between 2016 and and 2019 in combat performance, PL, MMA, and Bellator. His first three fights in the promotion, he won. Looking at his opponent, Douglas the Phenom Lima, 35 years old, uh, Brazilian, but fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia. 32 and 11. He's a slight underdog, plus 130. 
One and four in his last five fights. He has lost four in a row. He is training out of American Top Team. He has 15 TKO, KO, TKO, 11 submissions, six decisions, 14 and seven in Bellator. One of Bellator's guys, homegrown Bellator guys. His brother obviously dabbled in the UFC, but very much a Bellator guy here. Uh, three and one in International Sport Combat Federation and three and oh in Maximum Fighting Championship. Again, he lost to Gegard Mousasi, Amosov, MVP, and Jason Jackson. Now, MVP, Yaroslav Amosov, and Gegard Mousasi, solid fighters, like no no shame in losing to those guys. Before then, he beat Andre Koreshkov, MVP, and uh, Rory McDonald. So again, he's on the decline, 35 years old, been iffy as of late. I'm going with Costello locking it in. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. Oh, I missed a ton of your comments here. I'm just going to catch up. Uh, bro, so I watched the Wayans, and I'm sure a couple of plus 200 dogs cash. Can't wait for BKFC. Is this a th uh, fight three rounds? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. For a lost streak, it was in the UFC. Wouldn't have been, it would have been bye-bye. If, Lee, if uh, Lima knocks him out, I want an apology, Sasha. What's up, Soto? Lima wins easily. Hopefully the size makes up for the lack of experience. Have faith in Sasha, Jim. What's up, Jim? <laughs> we riding or dying together. Lima looks good at his weight. I give it two minutes before he gasses. <laughs> we making big money tonight. Still likes to strike or take down. Um, buh, 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 buh. Seven, seven submissions. So I imagine he's more of a wrestler and grappler. Duncan these nuts. First round finished. Speaking of the first round, let's get into the first round here, folks. Again, I'm probably a little bit behind on my stream. I downloaded the new Paramount app, and for some reason, it's like 30 seconds to 40 seconds behind. Round one. Let's get it all. So my apologies. If you want to sync up with my stream, four minutes and 50 seconds is on the clock on my stream. Fifty likes acquired. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Ooh, let's go, baby. Let's go. You all are amazing. Dude, that's you all are amazing. Motherfucker. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Fucking rights. Let's try to get it to seventy now. Let's try to get it to seventy. This isn't going to the judges. Let's go. Flea is him. Then wow, fifty-one thumbs up. GG. Can we get to sixty? Come on, guys. Let's try to get to seventy. All right, four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock here. Lima missed a kick there. DK MMA, thank you so much for the $2, buddy. Thank you so much for the $2. Going to be Costello round three finish plus 1300 brother. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, brother. I appreciate you. If that hits, you will be a legend. Thank you so much. All right, I'm caught up on the comments. Sorry, I couldn't put them all on the screen, folks, but the fight has begun, and I want to talk about it a little bit. Going for the takedown was Van Stinas. Right back up to his feet is Lima. Three minutes and 45 seconds on the clock on my stream, folks. My apologies. I'm a little bit behind. I'm on the I'm on the Paramount app on my laptop. It is what it is. Thank you so much. Two donations. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you guys. Mike Jones and DKMMA right off the bat with some donations here. Mark, so far, it's too early to tell. It's too early to tell. Van Cena's got a takedown. But right back up to his feet was Lima. And St er, Van Steenis tried to employ a spinning back fist. They're separated back center of the cage. Lima does look good at 185, but he looks so wool. So like Mike Jones said, one, I'm curious to see if he gasses. Neither really. Van Steenis landed a left and a low kick. Lima landed a straight left. Neither of them are landing anything significantly. Lima is too small, 185, but he looks better. Way too small, says Sasha. Lima tried with the counter left there, misses. You can definitely see that Sasha, or that Vancinas has a little bit of height on him. Nick's now doing me dirty. Ça tape comme des mules. <laughs> Again, it's pretty even, Nick. Nick doesn't believe me now. He's like, all right, fuck this guy. It's pretty even. 30 seconds ahead, we'll tell you the same thing. 
Unless someone got knocked out. But then it doesn't matter if you do live bet. Two minutes on the clock. Missed kick by Vancinas. I don't know, folks. Vancinas slightly up, but like it's it's so even right now. It's not even worth betting on. You know what I mean? Lima's not fast enough. He may get KO'd. What's up, Soto? It's good to see you. Mike Jones is the man, the myth, the legend, Mike. Or Nick, sorry. Mike's one of the bigger, biggest supporters on the channel. Nice left by Lima on Van Stinas. No, my, yeah. Mike Jones literally helps pay for my rent. <laughs> so we love Mike Jones though. And he's a huge supporter of the channel. Jumps on all the live streams. Is as much into this sport as we are. Helps out the live chat. Win some money every now and then. Much like Sasha is. So I haven't streamed on YouTube for a couple weeks. So it's good to see Mike Jones. Again, in the whole time I was talking there about Mike Jones, no one landed any strikes there, Nick. Believe it or not. And Nick, I gave you a, a place to watch this. I'm curious why you aren't watching it, but hey, Twitch, Theron, I'm glad you're still here hanging out. Final minute, left hand by Van Cenas. Nothing really significant. Body kick by Cenas, caught by Lima. Lima tried to sweep the leg. Mike Jones is the man. Van Cenas has a better range control, I guess, but almost a tie for me so far. Exactly. Fight seems to go the distance. So far, so far. But neither of them have cracked each other with anything yet. That's the thing. And a successful takedown, Van Cenas on Lima. Lima quickly butt scoots right back to the cage, right back up to his feet, instantly back up to his feet. Takedown really doesn't count for anything. Sash just saying it won't go the distance. If you just showed me this without any backstory on the guys, I would say that this could go the distance. But again, with Lima moving up and with the uncertainty of this, of how it may play out here. I tend to agree with Sasha. That's it for the first round, folks. Thoughts on the first round? Super close. Super close for me. I'm giving the slight edge for Stinas because he got a takedown despite not doing anything with it, but there wasn't enough by... Um, oh, sorry about this. I didn't line this up well. There, was, there wasn't enough by Lima in, in damage or striking as an output to really get ahead of whatever he's doing with the takedowns and grappling there, right? Dun, 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 dun. Might have stole the round with the takedown. Yeah. I think he had to because there's nothing really else to judge it on. I can see a third round finish. Lima always goes the distance, but this is a different weight, so I'm not sure how long it lasts. That jumping switch kick is chase you down on the street type stuff. <laughs> if it takes down... If it takes down, it counts, yeah. No, I know it, it counts. I'm just saying, if Lima threw a little bit more strikes, he probably still would have won that round because a takedown with, no, with doing nothing doesn't account for much compared to someone who is doing better as far as laying damage. That's, that's the name of the game. Lima down one slightly. I can agree with that. Round two. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Fight not going the distance because everyone's watching this is gonna because everyone watching this is gonna knock out. <laughs> and if you don't secure the deposit, don't count much at all. Uh, who do you think wins, Sasha? Still has balloon to minus three hundred. I think so much for joining uh, Rodney. Appreciate it, buddy. Shout out to Rodney. It's good to see you, Rodney. Four minutes and 23 seconds on my stream. If you want to sync up, I'm watching on Paramount Plus app. So my apologies if it's a little behind. Again, download the app. It is what it is. Fixed fight Lima on the cards. <laughs> Four minutes on the clock. Nice low kick by Lima there. Stina's doing a good job for the most part of checking those kicks, but that one landed. Cheers. Hope. Speaking of bare knucks, we're doing BKFC stream after this, folks. Hope to see you there. An exchange at the center of the cage. No one landed. And I'm calling what I see, uh, Nick. There's not much that going on. Not much going on. Three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Nice kick by Vencinas. 
I may be alone on this one, but I think it was a cheap win when Lima knocked MVP out while MVP was still standing up. Lima at plus 260. Oh, a nice couple strikes by Lima. Punches and kicks there. Bellator judges favors takedowns, bro. Bellator judges aren't assigned Bellator judges. Trust me, someone reamed me out for that the last time I said it on the live chat or live stream. It's commission-based. Except they brought Sal to fucking Paris. But uh, no, I, 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 the scorecards, yes. I, I, you are right in that sense. But are, are you really going to... And we're, we're taking away from the fight here, but I'm going to bite. I'm going to bite. Are you really saying that takedowns in Bellator mean more than strikes? Is that what you're telling me, Dash? And I'm not saying that Douglas Lima outstruck Costello in the first round at all. If anything, I'm agreeing with you, Dash, that Costello won that first round because of that takedown. What I'm telling you, if Diego Lima would have landed more strikes in that first round, he probably still would have won because strikes over takedowns always, damage over takedowns always. I don't care if it's Bellator, I don't care if it's one, I don't care if it's strike force. We're going back in the day there. Like that's just how it that's just how it rolls. So I bid on that, getting fired up. Nothing against you. I'm just saying, like, I agree with you. Diego didn't throw any strikes, so obviously the takedown's going to be the tiebreaker. But if Diego Lima had landed more strikes, I'm sorry. Like, a takedown's not going to win a round. I don't care if it's Bellator. And we've seen some bad judging in Bellator, but that's my opinion. He's guaranteed to win. Judges got paid. Mafia. One minute and 40 seconds here. Again, this hasn't been an exciting fight at all, by the way. Like, even I went on my little fucking animated rant there nothing has been happening literally nothing has been happening no crazy strikes by either of them right now diego lima pushing vancinas up against the cage vancinas has a body lock on him maybe looking for the takedown isha you're wrong we can see that he is at his natural weight and the other not so much mma as fuck What's up, MMA as fuck? Bellator fucked up big time with removing Canada from the free YouTube streams. No one is paying $20 for seven-day Bellator access. Lima wins round two, I guess. Nick, honestly, Nick, I don't fucking know, man. Like, I, I really don't. No one's landing more. Like, it's that razor thin. It's that boring. Like, it's not razor thin where they're just, like, all throwing a bunch. Like, no one's throwing anything, dude. So it's so hard to tell. Vance Stinas gets a takedown. There you go, Nick. Vance Stinas, bet him now. <laughs> 35 seconds left. Again, I'm probably a little bit behind you guys. I don't know. I'm giving that second round to Vance Stinas again, I guess. I, I really don't. It sucks that Bellator doesn't show the striking numbers. I hope they show me here in between. This is just like not a good fight. So that's why I'm just getting annoyed. <laughs> this is just a boring fight. Lima minus 112. The under don't look good, too good, my man. Lima looking like he won this now. I don't know. I don't think Lima looked that good in the second round. I don't think either of them look good in the second round. And that's the end of the second round. That was a terrible second round. Looks like Costello's doing what I expected him to do. If Belter values take down so much, why did... Yves Landu win his fight earlier. Bingo. 1919 says Benjamin. What do you guys? So a lot of people here think that Lima won that second round. Okay, there's a nice right hand by Lima as we're looking. Leg kick by Lima. I guess because of some of the leg kicks, but... Okay, Lima landed two good right hands and a few leg kicks. Oh my God! Sneez is up. Come up short again. Lima... As betters, betters, we love booing. You low-key look like Max Holloway. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, Dash? Which, by the way, Dash, um, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you, brother. Everybody who's viewing right now, you all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Love the interaction the live. Sorry if I'm not getting to all your comments in real time. I'm trying to keep up and give play-by-play -play commentary. If you guys need a place to watch this, by the way, let me know. We can help you out. Third and final round coming up here next. Might skip some of your comments here as I dive into this third round, folks. Damn, I just missed the striking <laughs> numbers as I was going through the chat here. 
Four minutes and 38 seconds if you want to sync up with my streams. Lenny got away with a robbery. See, I had it for the other guy too. Mike Jones, but I think it was it was that second round because Landy won the third round. The other guy, the Polish guy, won the first round. That second round was the toss up round. I'm not angry. I hope Lima's down too. This is really close. He's hurt, says the Ant Man channel. Four minutes on the clock here. I'm caught up with the comments, so I'm gonna take a little deeper dive on the fight here. Keep the comments coming, though. We'll get right back to them. Low kick by Lima again. Body shot by Lima. Two front kicks by Vancinas to the body. Three minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. Ooh, a nice left hand by Lima. Followed by the outside low kick. Lima getting the better of Vancinas here. Shots to the body. Vancinas is going, what, what? And Lima punches him right in the face. Looking to bounce off the cage with the Superman punch was Vancinas didn't end up throwing it. Right hand by Lima. Lima is the favorite. I don't know if he won the first two rounds, though. Lima should retire on top if he wins. <laughs> Go for the takedown as Vanstinas. Yeah, I'll give it to I'll give Lima credit where credit is due. He's winning this third round because Vanstinas hasn't tagged him with anything. I don't believe Lima is favored live. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this third round. Who wants it more? Who wants it more? You can shout to everyone in the live chat. You all are amazing. Live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. If you're viewing on Facebook or Twitch, get your ass over to YouTube so you can join our live chat, so you can vote in the poll question, and so you can like and subscribe as we do Fight Companions every single weekend. We got BKFC after this, UFC tomorrow, followed by Top Rank Boxing Saturday night. Going in for a takedown was Van Stinas, stuffed by Lima. Lima now pushing him up against the cage. Van Stinas with the body lock. Mind your own saying, told y'all. The under does not cash. The time, 1 minute and 51 seconds on the clock here on my stream. Vansima's dummy is a clear grappling advantage. It strikes with Lima. 1 minute and 41 seconds here. Vansima's trying to go for the takedown again. Lima with the tie clinch, knee and breaks. Now center of the cage. 1 minute and 31 seconds left here. Who wants it more, baby? Who wants it more? Lima very well could be up or very well could be up in this fight right now. He's winning this round, in my opinion. If he wins that, if he in fact won that second round, he's going to win this it's debut at 185. Nice one, two. Only the right hand lands by Lima. One minute left. Low kick by Van Stinas. It's not over till the winner's announced. Lima wins round three. Might be a split decision round two. Was super close. Lima could be winning. Again, I had first round for Van Cena. Second round, I, I guess Lima. I'm not bullish on that one at all. This third round, though, I'm giving to Lima 100%. Just landed that straight left jab. There are 30 seconds left on my stream, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm watching on Paramount Plus app. Not sure why it's behind... It is what it is. Going for a final takedown, potentially, as Vancinas doesn't get it. 26 seconds on the clock here. Lima stuffed it, pushing Vancinas up against the cage now. I'll get right back to the comments in a sec here, folks. Ten seconds left. And that is it. Mind your own. All right, that's it, folks. That's it. Who do you guys think won this fight? I know a lot of a lot of people were hoping, and, and you know, I even picked Costello to win as well. Good display of respect by both of these fighters here. 
I have Costello winning the first round. I got Diego Lima winning the second round. And I got Diego Lima winning the second round. No one with a 10-9. It's uh, Costello, 10-8, first round. Lima, 10-8, second round. You know what? Sh- oh, no, I was, I was going to say, you know what? Give the second round a tie. Let's, 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 let's get crazy here, but no. If this was a tie, would I be blown away surprised? No. I think Lima won the second round and third round. I think Costello won the first round. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my God, the chat is going crazy. 29, 28, Lima for me. Yes, me too. I still have a house. My vote for the worst fight of the night. Yeah, it was a pretty bad fight indeed. What's up, Kevin? Uh, thanks for still sticking around, buddy. I appreciate you. I was told a week ago, decision Lima. Razor thin split four. Three twenty seven Lima chill. Split decision robbery incoming. Yeah, probably. Ain't much of a bout, but I'm surprised Lima made it through. Okay, I'm not scrolling down through the chat here because you guys are ahead of me, so you guys have already seen who won, so just give me a sec. We're just listening in. Okay, unanimous decision. This has to be Lima then. Douglas Lima wins unanimous decision. <laughs> Ayo! Hey, shout out to the underdog. Good to see him back in the winning column. There's his brother. Uh, two-time tough competitor. Mind your own's got the insiders, bro. Mind your own does. He's got some rise in insiders too. I remember that. I know Mike Jones loves the draws. Costello is very dumb. Lima takes a 29, 28. Told y'all that. Is mind your own? I'm, I'm thinking mind your own is JL. Does anyone else in the chat think that as well? Mind your own. Are you, are you JL's burner account? And I, I would love you if that was, the, I mean, I still love you, but I would love you even more if that was the case. By the way, shout to all 130 plus of you who are viewing us live here. I see there's a few of you on Facebook and Twitch. Guys, join us on YouTube. Get off Facebook and Twitch. Join us on YouTube. YouTube is the primary destination of our streaming channel. That's why we do Fight Companions every single weekend on YouTube. The only reason we have a Twitch and Facebook is in case we need a backup platform or two to stream these Fight Companions. Last week, we were unable to stream on YouTube, so we used our backups, Twitch and Facebook. We're streaming on Twitch and Facebook this week to tell all you who are still on Twitch and Facebook to get your ass over to YouTube, like, subscribe, and vote in our poll question. I agree with the decision as well. Gravedigger Jones is 2-0 and in his predictions. Lima. Lima dog money cashes. Good decision. Sasha is surprised. Speechless, says Sasha. Damn, you won plus 350 after one round. Save your money next time, boys. Never saw him winning this. Oh, mind your own. With the, with the hating words. Uh, I slipped on this pick. I always go for the Brazilian. I was hoping size would have been a factor. Dumbass didn't use his skills and showed too much respect. Sasha, I need a recovery for that under two and a half bet. No problem, Sasha. Who do you think gets the next one? Next one is a stay away. Barnwee most likely takes it. Sasha, it's all good. I'm up even with this lost ticket. I'm glad I didn't put money on any parlays. Shout out to everyone joining us in the live chat. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. We are on to the co-main event of the evening, the people's main event here in Paris, France. And it is the quarterfinals for the lightweight tournament, which has been absolutely stellar. Up to this point, ladies and gentlemen, love as quirky and how regional promotion-esque Bellator is. It is awesome that they still do tournaments. That's one of the reasons why I still like, dare I say, keep tabs on this promotion. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Now, if they just had like the money backing and all of PFL's fighters, 
it would truly be the second best. So it just sucks that the PFL is like this weird season format, which I'm just not a fan of, okay? I'm just not. Do I like some of the PFL fights and fighters? Absolutely. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, but, but, but just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen. I'll catch up with your guys' comments. Do, 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 do. Lima finally in the win column again. Shabili broke. Tofik. If anything, you parlay Barnway and Musasi. Cashed an 11 unit parlay. Let's go, buddy. Musasi decision. A hey, mind your own. Happy you made some money, brother. Mansur lost to uh, Makachev in Russia. He only has four losses and he's been dominating in, in uh, Bellator. I'm going for Mansur. Yeah, we'll get right to this pick in one moment, ladies and gentlemen. Or this uh, rundown in just one moment. My last cup of coffee of the day. Then we switch over to the Wobbly Pops for BKFC. No problem, buddy. No problem. Gotta give credit where credit is due. And hey, I know every now and then we go back and forth, mind your own. I know every now and then we, we, we argue. We may bicker a little bit. But... At the end of the day, I am very still happy and honored that you support this channel and then you hang out with us here, even if it's the shit talk every now and then. Uh, that's true. Yes, there is, buddy. There is. It is called Paramount Plus. It is called Showtime. Or you can accept this gift that I'm about to give you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Give me one sec, folks. Did I just lose you guys on YouTube? Did I just lose you guys on YouTube? Oh, no. Please, please tell me it ain't so. Yo, comment if you can still see me on YouTube. Are we still good? Okay, it looks like we're still good. Wait, why are people saying no? For some... Um, okay. Sorry, I'm freaking out here, folks. We've had some issues with YouTube the last uh, the last few weeks. We see you okay. All good. I wasn't able to comment back on YouTube for my program. And the last time that happened is when the whole stream got shut down. So my heart sank for a second, okay? My heart sank for a second. Um, someone help out Mr. Uh, Yunus... I don't know how to say your last name. Uh, Il? Il? Makachev is a beast. Losses to Islam Makachev, Kevin Lee, and Matuis Gamra. That is not bad. That is not bad. Sorry my heart sank there for a second, folks. Um, again, we had some issues with YouTube last week. There's this like scamming group that tried to take us down. And this was a, a sign of <laughs> the whole thing shutting down last week. So my apologies. Uh, for those who are on Facebook and Twitch, by the way, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. I love the podcast, bro. Just a bit of banter. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. Sometimes you can't tell, right? <laughs> so uh, no, I, I appreciate it. And his losses were all decisions. Went the distance with Islam and Gamrod. That is amazing. No, nope. We here. That's good. Okay. Whew. We all good. Never cut out. We all good. Because of what you asked. Never cut out. We here. We still good. Okay. Whew. Just say it opposite. Uh, who do you have in the co-main event? Up the Dingler. What's up, the Dingler? Um, okay, let me try this again. Let me, let me try this again. Okay. <laughs> try this. Paramount Plus Showtime. Okay, it looked like that worked. 
I'm taking Barnoui by sub. Uh, let's highlight this co-main event. Sorry for my heart sinking there, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it's been a nightmare the last week. Those who are regulars on the YouTube channel, those um, exclusive members, they know the struggle, what we've been dealing with on the channel. So my heart just sank there for a second. I thought the whole thing was going down, but we are good. By the way, we have 58 likes on the video right now. Um, if you folks could help us get to 70, that would be amazing. We hit our our record, or not a record, our uh, goal of 58 likes. If we can get to 70 now, that would be amazing. We just set a new goal. There you go. There you go. Appreciate you all. 387 votes on the poll question, by the way. Will Gegard Musasi win one more title before he retires? 53% of you say yes. 39% of you say no, 9% of you say yes, but not in Bellator. Let me know who you voted for in the poll question as well. Dun, 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 dun. Just got a shout out. <laughs> uh, I have no idea on the last two fights. I got Primus. He beat Chandler, says the Ant-Man channel. Probably going to do an underdog parlay. Brent Primus looks like he could pull another upset. My lock is still Monsoor by sub, so let's see how this plays out. Uh, True Star, what's up? Do you think Aldana can capitalize on a striking boxing against Nunes? I don't, personally. Um, now, is Nunes like... Is this the fight where we say, oh, Nunes is starting to decline, step outside of her prime? Maybe. I just don't think Aldana is... And, and I mean no disrespect, but I just don't think sh there's levels to this game. I don't think Aldana's at that tier, that level. We're, st we're still here. Uh, I'm thinking the same, Mike, or over on both. Uh, Lord praise all the Dinglers splendidly with their spoils. All right, the Monsieur Barnoui walking out in front of his home crowd in France. Who dares win? All right, let's highlight both of these fighters here, folks. Again, shout out to everyone joining us live here on the channel. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Co-main event of the evening, lightweight tournament quarterfinals, which means they will wear the white gloves. Love how in the tournament, how they wear the white gloves as well. Just one, just little details. You know, I go a long way for me anyways. All right, keep the comments coming, but I am on another tab right now. I am reading stats and highlighting these guys. So keep the comments coming, but just know I won't read them in real time. By the way, shout out to... Uh, Mike Jones, and who's our other friend who donated earlier today as well? And uh, DK MMA guys, thank you so much for the two dollar donations. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, Monsoor Tarzan Barnoui, uh, twenty and four is his pro MMA record. He's the minus three sixty favorite. He's thirty years of age, fighting out of Paris, France, in front of his home crowd. Six KO, TKO, thirteen submissions, one decisions, one and one in KSW, one and zero oh in Bellator. He also fought in Road FC. Uh, he's fought in M1, Bama. So he's fought in some solid promotions and 100% fighting, which is, you know, the old... I mean, it's still going on, but um, before Eris, before events took place in Paris and, and France, that was where a lot of the French fighters fought. He's even fought in Cage Warriors as well. As highlighted in the chat, his only four losses were to Kevin Lee, Islam Makachev, where he went the distance with, Ivan Butchinger went the distance with, and Mateus Gamera, who oh he went the distance with. So he's never his he didn't he's never been finished. And the only guys that he's lost to are absolute killers in the world of MMA. So this guy is he saw and again Bellator debut, beautiful rear naked choke to Adam uh, Piccolotti in our first ever Bellator stream that we did on this channel. So that was a that was a fun one as well. Keep the comments coming. We're gonna go looking at his opponent, Brent Primus, from the United States, Eugene, Oregon, thirty eight years of age, eight years the elder of Mansour Barnoui, eleven and three in his pro MMA career, training out of American Top Team. Again, he's the plus two eighty underdog, three and two in his last five fights. He lost his last fight. Two KO, two KO, six submissions. Three decisions. He is nine and three in Bellator, so he's very much a Bellator product. He lost his last fight to a twenty-one and three guy. Uh, he got knocked out in the second round. He beat Benson Henderson via decision back in twenty twenty-one. Uh, lost to a nineteen and one guy. Split decision before that. Lost to Craig Jones in grappling. 
Um, bah, 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 bah. He beat Kiesa and Jake Shields in grappling. He's been more of an active grappler than MMA fighter as of late. Um, beat Tim Wild back in 2019. Beat Chris Bungard in 2020. He's been mostly grappling between 2020 and 2022 as he only has uh, three MMA fights in that time losing two of them honestly folks i am way more confident in the favorite here tonight i am going with the frenchman i am going with monsieur banui that is my pick let me know your pick in the live chat as well sorry i missed some of your comments here folks i'll try to address them here but just know there's over 100 of you in the live chat and the live chat is buzzing so i may not get to all the comments in real time especially as we start calling the fights here as we do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction on this channel folks you all are amazing by the way thank you so much for joining like and subscribe if you haven't already ring that bell for notifications we do fight companions every single weekend if you're tuning in on twitch and facebook please migrate over to youtube youtube is our main destination for streaming we won't be streaming on facebook and twitch moving forward those are our backup destinations all right, what did I miss here? I missed quite a bit. Another one, who you got? I gave my prediction. I did not know the guru could fit that many rakins in his anus. Aldana will be the fourth Mexican champ this year. It would be an awesome story. Don't get me wrong. I just don't see it. Uh, Hill versus Yuri is my most anticipated fight of the year. They both want to prove who's the real champ and will end in a KO. Absolutely. I think that's going to be a tremendous fight as well. Hopefully the odds are off because France bet the country on Monster. That is true. Um. Buddy, if you migrate, uh, Xerix, migrate over to YouTube and I'll give you one. Migrate over to YouTube and I'll give you one. I'm coming. Wrestlers are hard to beat. This is a flip. I don't care what Vegas says. Barnaby by sub. Uh, the lines closed as I was betting on the dog. I got Brent. Splendid is not even pronounced is not even writing their name wrong. They think they're making they think they're jabbing away, but they're actually just fucking it up. I love you guys, but come on. Fuck yeah, Hilver's year is gonna be insane. What's the YouTube? The City Life Project, buddy. The City Life Project. Nick, the fight hasn't even started yet for me, buddy. All right, guys, you're killing me here. You're killing me here. Give me one sec. There you go, boys. There you go. I'm watching on the Paramount Plus app. Fight is about to begin. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. All right, like play by play commentary, reaction, interaction. I might miss some of your comments here while we are giving play by play action to this, folks. Let's get into it. Got to ride the American on this one. Locking it in. I got you. I just threw it. I literally, I li just read the comment above you. And we are coming and swinging here, folks. We're coming and swinging right in the clinch. Some nice knees from Primus in the clinch. Barn is the eight-ranked fighter. Primus is the fourth. This is the quarterfinals of the lightweight tournament. Clinch battle here. Nice right hand by Barn Nice right hand by Primus. Barn with the tie clinch. A lot of work in the clinch here, folks. Four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock if you want to sync up with my stream. Nice knee by Barnaby. Again, folks, I'm looking at the fight here. If you're commenting, my apologies if I miss it. Co-main event. I'm going to keep my eyes mostly on the fight here, but I will take some of your comments here in any delay of action. Four minutes and 14 seconds on the clock here. Barnaby with the triple left jab and right hand trying to set up a level change here, but in the clinch, nice dirty boxing by Primus. Primus. Back was up to the cage. Barnaby with the knees. Uh, Xerix from Twitch. I literally posted it in the chat. Please read, buddy. Use your eyes. Gibzo, same thing, guys. Use your eyes. You can do it. You're smart. Just subbed and put 100 on Fabian. Tony Trill, let's go, baby. <laughs> Barnley, look for the takedown. Has the back take on Primus right now. Baguettes all around if he wins. Go, Primus. Go, Barnley. Come on, man. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. L LC's SR. Use your eyes, man. Use your eyes. I literally comment in the live chat. Use your eyes, man. 
Come on, I can't spoon feed it, feed it for you. I ain't your mama. I ain't your daddy. <laughs> Spinning elbow attempt there by Primus. Three minutes on the clock here. It is a clinch battle right now. Good knee to the body by Barnwee. Good shots in the clinch by Primus. Primus looks like he's taking some damage here. Is he cut or is he swelling next to his right eye? Barnwee, some beautiful knees in the clinch here. Primus looks like he's hurt. Two minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. Primus better chill out. Clinch battle is crazy. Thank you so much, Sean. Chandler lost this guy. Well, again, he's he's 38 years old. That was a while ago. This is an exciting fight. Barn will win if it's boring. Primus will win, in my opinion. Barn me by rear naked choke. Primus gonna get finished. Splendid. If you say things like that, you're gonna get my stream banned, dude. So you can't keep using that lingo. Or we gotta ban you. Or the mods are gonna have to ban you, dude. And you've been supporting the channel today. I don't I don't wanna do that, but if you're gonna if you're gonna intentionally try to take us down, we're not gonna let you participate. That's just the way it's gonna be. Right hook by Primus. Come on, Barnoui. Nice elbow by Barnoui there. Just beautiful clinch fighting here by both these guys. Dirty boxing elbows by both of them. Nice right hand by Primus. One minute and 27 seconds. Um, Gibzo. Gibzo and Xerix. I hope you guys use your eyes. I hope you guys found the gift that I gave you in the live chat. Primus is a good band. Oh man. Yeah, come on. If you're talking about prime hydration, it tastes like trash. Noted. What a dingler. 45 seconds left in this first round. Some nice hands there by Barnoui. Oh, and Primus landed a good right on Barnoui. That looked like it hurt him. Barnoui looking for the takedown. Barnoui gets the takedown right into modified half guard side control. And that's because Primus landed a good left hand on him. Oh, splendid. Thank you for that. I can't let you get close. I actually had that one banked. Final 10 seconds of the first round, folks. Nick saying, Barnaby won that first round. I tend to agree. Uh, I see a lot of people buying uh, Logan Paul's Prime Jig. Never had it myself. 10-9 Barnaby. I agree. 10-9 Barnoui. Uh, Barnoui is winning. He just won that first round, in my opinion. End of the first round, folks. Stupid fuck said this was going to be easy. <laughs> Optimus Primus. For real, I'm out in Los Angeles and haven't tried Prime or even seen it out here. Dude, I'm in uh, Minnesota and I haven't even seen it here either. I mean, this this is made up for a boring fight that we saw prior to this. Oh, and yeah, Barnoui, his mouthpiece knocked out a few times too. I mean, very, very good round. But again, I'm I'm going Barnoui 10-9. Prime is way too sweet. Did not like it. This is Barnoui's fight to lose. Let's fucking go. Bro. I didn't notice you're from Minnesota. You from Minnesota too? Bro. Let's go get some beers sometime. All right, round two. Let's get it all. I'm super tight with a ton of the craft breweries out here. I do a craft beer and hockey podcast as well. The Soda Pod, baby. Go check it out. Dude, no way. That is my quick trip. I literally, that's the closest quick trip to my place. I go to Loose Line all the time. They're friends of my podcast. We literally did a live podcast event there a few, uh, few weeks ago. Dude, that's crazy, man. One of Barnoui and Primus takes him er, right to the ground. Primus inside control right now on Barnoui. 
Dude, check out my podcast if you're a fan of the Minnesota Wild, the Soda Pod. Well done. Plymouth Rock didn't land on us. Oh, shit. It's about to get boring as Primus is on top of Barnui. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. For real. So, what's up? You happy with Murray as your quarterback? I don't watch NFL. Canadian CFL, baby. The greatest football league in the world. Uh, three minutes and 50 seconds on the clock here. Second round. Barnoui is still winning, Nick. Barnoui is still winning the fight because uh, Primus is laying on him right now. Trying to sink in a choke here, but uh, he has to get into side control to be able to choke him out. Doesn't look like Barnoui is in a lot of danger here. Trying to go for an arm and triangle choke is Primus. Primus has to get into side control to really... Oh, he's free the half guard now. Okay, now, Nick, I would say now Primus is, might get the choke. And Barnui's rolling out of it. Barnui's rolling out of it, but is he rolling into a rear naked choke now? It's got to be over tight as fuck. Well, it's not over yet. Not over yet. I don't even know who the fuck Pete is. He doesn't even know who Pete is. There is no Pete in the chat, buddy. Primus is crazy with the subs. Uh, Barna Wee has decent sub offense. Come on, you got the whole country riding on you. And good job getting out of that submission is Barnui. So I will say to our friend Nick Rodriguez in the chat right now, second round so far is going to Primus as he's out grappling Barnui and he was threatening him with the arm and triangle choke there. Look within. The Splendid ding uh, Dinglers, they came in with a lot of love. Now I feel like they're just here to troll me. I don't, I'm, I'm, I thought you guys supported us. Now I feel like you guys just want to take us down. I'm, I'm a little confused, Splendid. I'm a little confused. He means Pete Davison. Ah, okay. Marlon, your mama is out here slaying Dinglers. <laughs> Now he knows how to win the third. One minute and 35 seconds on the clock here. Second round, ladies and gentlemen. Primus now in side control. Hammer fists. Potentially setting up an arm bar here. Nope goes. Try to go into full mount. Half guard. Gets right back on the other side. Absolutely dominating in top control here. Second round was a snooze fest. We felt the love at first. Am I not still giving you guys love? <laughs> it's because you guys showed the love. That's why. This is... Uh, yes, this is a five-round fight. My apologies. This is a five-round fight. As it's a tournament. I still do. Got gotcha. you. Five rounder. I told y'all boring means Primus is winning, and that is what he's doing right now. As there's not a lot even to commentate on, he's going back and forth in side control and half guard, landing some soft shots here on the top of Barnui. Again, Barnui won that first round. Oh, Barnui with the reversal here. 25 seconds left. Barnui with the reversal. Now Barnui is in the top position. Threatening for a Kimura, though, right now is Primus. We don't, we don't know. Much love from Yorkshire. Shout out to Yorkshire. Five rounds, no way Primus loses. Now we're going to know he's going to counter it. And he does. <laughs> CFL, lol. I'm just not a football guy anyways. So if I'm going to watch football, I'm going to watch. I'm going to support Canada, right? Because like football is not my sport, dude. <laughs> Box lacrosse, ice hockey, and fighting. Can you Can you see the common denominator in all of them? I'm a real man, dude. I watch real men's sports. I don't watch NFL and jerk off with the homies on Sunday watching mm, guys just hit each other and fucking boring ass 
lack of play and, and it's just it's just so boring it's like it's 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 like baseball just with bigger people it's not actually that bad i'm just i just don't like football that much i like combat sports i like fighting i like high energy i don't like breaks in action yes one one nick prime fueled premise who's more fresh well i would say premise because uh, because Monsieur Barnoui was defending on the bottom, so I'm guessing he utilized more energy there. All right, round three coming up here, folks. This is slated for five. Clueless on the ground. Round three. Let's get it all. Yes, sir, Eddie G. Just started here, folks. Four minutes and 50 seconds on the clock on my stream if you want to sync up. Shout out to almost 200 of you joining us live here. I appreciate every single one of you. Equal to TRT Belfort. The favorite looks woozy. What is up, Eduardo? Thank you so much for joining, brother. Eduardo, please migrate over to YouTube, buddy. That's where all the action's happening. As I said, Nick, I Nick, like I said, I'm trying to get your comments, buddy. There's almost 200 people in the live chat here, so. We said that Primus looks like he's the more fresh, and on the feet right here, he's piecing up Barnouille, so he does look like more of the fresh fighter. UFC, yes, indeed. Who's winning, guys? It is tied 1-1 right now going into the third. However, Primus looks like more of the fresh fighter, and he's landing more shots on Barnoui early in this third round. Barney goes with a flying knee here. Back to the clinch work. Barnoui with a left elbow, right elbow by Barnoui in the clinch. Barnoui found success in the clinch in the first round. He's looking for it again, but he does look slow. But yeah, he landed a few shots on Primus here. He's backing Primus up against the cage. NFL is the best. And I get it. It's the best. It's just, I'm just not a football fan. I just don't care about football, basketball, or baseball much. Oh, and Barnoui now is piecing up Primus on the feet. Primus is starting to look gassed. Just when I thought Barnoui didn't have anything left in the tank, he's starting to piece up Primus. Uppercut. Both of them look tired here, folks. Both of them look tired here. Straight left jab by Barnoui. Right hand by Primus. Eddie G, we'll get into it after this, buddy. You hockey fans talk so much shit about the NFL. Yes, we do, because hockey is the way better sport. Not a football. I just don't like the game of football, and that's okay. Some people love baseball. I don't get it either. I, <laughs> I'm very much a combat sports fan. High intensity. Two minutes and 45 seconds here in this third round. Barnaby finding so much success in the clinch here. And though in the first minute of the fight, or minute of this third round anyways, Primus was getting the better of Barnaby on the feet here. Barnaby going back into the clinch, landing some big shots to the body, knees to the head, and now these straight left punches, short elbows, and he's getting the better of Primus now. So Barnaby, oh, Primus just fell to his back. Primus just fell to his back. It's not that he was dropped. He just fell to his back. Barnaby, in the top position here. Barnoui maybe could finish this fight. They're just both so gassed here. Barnoui has to keep laying down strikes. Two minutes left. Barnoui's in modified half guard side, side control. He is postured up here. He is so tired, just like Primus here. Primus just fell to his back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I love it. That's awesome, Mike Jones. Good to hear, buddy. I watch it at all levels. Like, junior hockey is my favorite. I do not know, Pat. They look so tired. <laughs> Pat the back of my balls. Primus is done. Watching Gophers in the Natty have me depression, man. Dude, my co-host on the podcast fucking flew to Florida or flew to Tampa to watch that shit, brother. I have to say, since moving to Minnesota, I've become a Gophers fan. Oh, and a nice reversal by Primus gets in the top position. One minute and 11 seconds left in this third round. Again, Barton Wee, I think, has done enough to win this round unless Primus absolutely goes ham here in the top position, but he's not yet laying down a ton of damage on Barton Wee yet. He's got the spirit of France. Main event going the distance, boys. Give me the lock, or is someone getting a finish? Ask Bailey Hood. 
What's everyone scoring this fight? I have Primus winning the second round. I have Barnui winning the first and third. We love you because you're not a disabled... Because <laughs> I'm not the MMA guru. Is that his name, Mason? 2-1 Barnui. Nick, like I said, Barnui is winning in my opinion. I think he won this third round and I think he won the first round. He just needs his second win. Italian Vlogs. Thanks so much for joining Italian Vlogs. Final 10 seconds of this third round. Again, I have Barnui winning the third and first round. I have Primus winning the second round. Barn is up one round. Ant-Man thinks Primus is up all three. There's no way in hell, Ant-Man, that you think uh, Barnui lost that first round. Or, yeah, lost that first round. There's, there's no way in hell. Over three and a half rounds, baby. Let's go. All right, end of the third round. We go into our first championship slash tournament round round four is next ladies and gentlemen do my best to keep up with the comments shout out to everyone joining like this video if you haven't already there's 191 of you there is no excuse that we shouldn't have 100 likes on this video so let's go baby like this video if you haven't already please <laughs> ant-man's my boy barney we edged him out sean fighting words for the ant-man channel how can I watch Bellato? You can watch it on Showtime. You can watch it on Paramount. <laughs> That's three in my books. Same Barnaby, one and three. Your opinion is all that matters. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Uh, I don't think Brent stole the round. I don't think he did enough. All right, round four. Let's get it all. The better question is, who is more exhausted? 2-1 Barnui. How you feel about those MMA streams with the like four plus dudes all talking at the same time? Love you doing the solo commentary when I can't watch. Oh, appreciate it, Marlon. Can't say I watch a lot of Fight Companions since I'm doing them all, all the time. All right, we'll get back to the comments here in a sec. Uh, salut tout le monde, Paris, France, represent. Shout out to you, Nourdine. Thank you so much for joining. Salut mon ami, merci beaucoup. Permis is not up three. He needs to avoid the clinch. Italian vlogs we're watching on Paramount Plus and or Showtime Bellator. Beer Beast is Mike Jones. <laughs> Splendid. Hell no. Nah. You crazy, man. Uh, Italian vlogs. I got you, brother. Three minutes and 58 seconds here on their feet. Both of them still very much tired. Throwing at nothing is premise. I think Barno's still getting the better of premise on the feet here. Mind you, the pace has slowed down so much more than even if it, it was in the fourth round. dude ant-man is one of the biggest supporters of this channel he's a member of this channel he is on our membership streams he's here every single stream he's trolling us a little bit uh we are in the fourth round round cut Italian vlogs. I just... Oh, come on. Italian vlogs. Open your eyes, Italian vlogs. Open your eyes. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. I know. I know. The choke is in. Oh, my goodness. Primus is getting the choke. Primus is, I can't believe this. Two minutes and 41 seconds. Primus is getting the choke. Primus is getting the choke. This is deep. This is deep. Still hasn't submitted him yet. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Can Barnaby get out of it? Barnaby got out of it in the second round, folks. Barnaby got out of this in the second round. The fight has started. Ça a commencé. Round cat. What is up? What is up? Uh, I am originally from Canada. Yes, I just moved to the States about eight months ago. Shout Don Cherry. Oh, Canada. Baguette brutality. Come on, homie. Still looking for the arm and triangle choke. He just cannot get it is Primus. So again, this might be tied going into the fifth round. 
So even the official is telling Primus, you got to do something else here. You're clearly not submitting him. A uh, Khalid, 12 years ago, I was submitted by Monsieur uh, in Team Magnum Team. Uh, it was a, I was a teenager already. A, he was a teenager and already a problem. I live near the city, maybe less than a kilometer. That is amazing, dude. That is amazing. He's answering the phone. Uh, no, not from Quebec. Uh, British Columbia. Mais je parle un peu de français. He doesn't look like he's going to tap. One minute and 16 seconds on the clock here. Uh, this round, Nick, definitely premised this round. So I think the fight is tied going into the third. One more minute left. Oh, he's still squeezing. He's still squeezing, but Barn Barnoui is not tapping from this arm and triangle choke. It's not happening. He wasn't tapping to it in the second round. He's not tapping it to it now. Sean, why are you so mad at Ant-Man? Ant-Man's my homie here. Who's more fresh? Well, it's hard to say because they're just laying on each other. So I would say they're probably the same. I say they're both exerting energy here. Probably Primus a little bit more trying to get that squeeze. Rolling out of it now. Here's Barnwee. He's giving up his back though. 32 seconds left in the round. <laughs> Sean, you're, you're stoking the fire, buddy. All right, looking to get the back here is Primus. Can't even get the hooks in. 10 seconds left, but Primus does win this round. Shout out to all 200 of you viewing us live here. We appreciate you all. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction every single weekend, folks. We do up to, five, up to six fight companions every single weekend covering all sorts of combat sports, not just MMA, kickboxing. Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, boxing, as well as, of course, mixed martial arts. Appreciate every single one of you. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are too, we, we are just shy of 5,000 subscribers. If all of you, all 200 of you, subscribe to us on YouTube right now, we just might hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the night. That would be incredible. Thank you all so much for joining. Merci beaucoup à France, who's joining as well. You all are amazing. Now, back to this fight. I think... I think Monsieur Barnoui lost that fourth round. So I think Barnoui won the first, lost the second, won the third, lost the fourth. So it's 2-2 going into the fifth round right now, folks. It is 2-2 going into the fifth round. Again, Nick, I don't know. They both look gassed, buddy. I got it 2-2 now for uh, as well. Barnoui has to make something happen. It's 2-2, Ant-Man. Come on. Uh, they're both tired. Yes, absolute lay and pray. Absolute lay and pray. Yes, rest in peace. Round five all comes down to this. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Yeah, and it's looked like uh, John McCarthy scored it the same way as we did. It's splendid. Why, why are you going after people in our chat, buddy? I don't get it. We're all community here, dude. Both of them just join. What's going on in this fight so far? Andy, what's up? Andy reads cheeseburger. I love that. So far it is tied, buddy. It is tied. Both these guys are a little bit gassy. Whenever it goes to the ground, Primus is getting the better of Barnwee, but they're swinging here in Barnwee. The right side of his eye is starting to swell. Straight left jab by Barnwee. Primus going for the takedown again, but doesn't get it. But somehow Barnwee just gives up the position. That was a mistake by Barnwee. He had stuffed that takedown by Primus, but just gave up his back. Or gave up the, the ground position. Primus back in the top position here. Barnwee won the first round. Primus won the second round. Barnwee won the third round. Primus won the fourth. This is the fifth and final round in the quarterfinal lightweight tournament, folks. And Primus now getting the better of Barnwee. Elbows to the side of his head as he is in full-on side control. At the feet, I'd say Barnwee is... So far, has been the better fighter, but it's not on the feet anymore. Three minutes and 35 seconds on the clock here, fifth and final round. Thank you so much, Good Game Empire Fearless. I appreciate you. Shout out to everybody else who subscribed to the channel, who's voted in the poll question, and who's hung out with us here today. I mean, it doesn't look like it now. Barnaby can't get up. This is rough not being able to see the fight. Premise is my homie. Dank man! I don't get it, guys. I've been giving you... Oh, now I'm going to pull my fucking hair out. 
How many times do I have to force feed you like your mother when you were a baby? A place to watch this. Come on, Dank, man. You've been here for like hours, dude, and you still haven't found it. I literally have been giving you guys places to watch this the whole time. I'm... Oh, my goodness, folks. Oh, I'm going to have an aneurysm. Oh, two minutes and 50 seconds in the fifth round. Primus has the back of Barnwee. Last time I'm going to do this, guys, because you have to use your motherfucking eyes, okay? I'm sorry if I'm sounding rude here, but you guys are like, come on. It, it, I get, I'm absolutely blown away that some of you have been here so long and you have not been able to find this shit. This is the last time, because now I'm getting annoyed <laughs> that you guys can't fucking read. <sighs> oh my goodness. Last time. I'm not doing it anymore, okay? There you go. Wanna be bully. Premise crushing. Cruising for a decision. RJ. Oh my god. Read, RJ. Read. Come on, guys. <laughs> You're killing me here. It's getting nuts. It's a battle of endurance. One minute and 51 seconds here. Body triangle is secured. Primus has the back of Barnwi. Hey. The better man is winning here. Unbelievable game plan executed here by Primus. One minute and 37 seconds left. I'm afraid Primus will not win in a split decision. Bellator might want to make Barnwi the Nemagomed of Hunter. Barnwi been robbed by M1 against Islam Makachev. No, Nurdin, he Benwi is going to lose this fight because this fifth round, he he is a hundred percent. He might lose this fifth round 10-8. So Barnwi is gonna is going to lose this fight if he can't get out of this. I think that the takedown is going to keep my underdog parlay alive, especially because he's got the back take now. Uh, trust me, it works. And if it doesn't for you, I, I don't know what to say, buddy, but it has been it has been tested. Let's just say that. And again, I'm not trying to be rude. I fucking love you guys hanging out in the chat. Seriously, you guys are awesome, but it's just, it's just annoying every time I throw something in there. <laughs> and everyone's like, huh, where? Born who killed a new member mega of cousin at road to FC million to yeah we highlighted the fighters before this look for the rear naked choke 33 seconds left it's not under the chin it's not under the chin no look nothing but respect for Barnwe everyone in the chat picked him Khalid uh, but he is going to lose this fight <laughs> no problem RJ uh, trust me dank man you might you must have spelt it wrong then because look R it worked for RJ. And again, I can't keep talking about it, so I'm not going to. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, okay? Because I'm watching on Paramount and Showtime. But you're a smart man, dank man. You're a smart man. You can figure it out. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Shout out to Brent Primus. He made this fight boring. Barnwi wanted to make it a fun fight. Brent Primus made it boring, but I think Brent Primus... He got the win because that fifth round was the deciding round and he secured that round. And one thing, I don't think there can be a robbery in this uh, fight because every round had a clear winner. Clear winner in the first round, Barnwi. Clear winner in the second round, Primus. Clear winner in the third round, Barnwi. Clear winner in the fourth and fifth, Primus, right? There, there wasn't any like, oh, it was a close round. Like they were pretty dominant rounds. Uh, dank man i don't i don't know what to tell you buddy like i said it's been it's been tested so not i'm not sure i tried don't don't say i never did anything for you brother i bet on premise in the third round at plus 1000 a parlay edwards has to win dude dkma is gonna be rolling in it if that's the case again my apologies dank man i don't know what else to tell you buddy it's working for everybody else uh no problem rj you thought this would be a normal and this is it Huh? The urban cover. Bro, you are so annoying. Bro, thank you for commenting in the live chat. DKMA, where are you getting your live odds? Thank you so much to the urban cover, by the way. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you, brother. Dank, man. <laughs> Smoke another one, buddy. Uh, BetMGM. 
Primus went wet blanket. Dankman, word yeah, I saw before this wasn't working for me, but thanks. No problem, Dankman. Thank you, Dankman. Not everyone picked him, bro. All right, we're listening in for the decision. Absolutely, Khalid. Absolutely. Exactly that. Forty-eight, forty-seven. It was the right decision, man. Brent Primus wins unanimous decision. Atta boy, atta boy. Hey, great game plan. It wasn't exciting for us necessarily as viewers, but it was a solid game plan. Wow, the underdogs. In typical Bellator fashion, the underdogs are howling tonight. Damn, this is all bad. I need Edwards bad. Worst fight of the night. What did I say? Boring equals premise. And now you lose half of your viewership. And there's still 200 people here. There's still 200 people here. <laughs> I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you. I like the dank. Uh, I like the dank picture. Shit, Bellator has been rolling on so much. I haven't even been able to tank a. I haven't been able to take a dank break myself. But I will take a dank break between Bellator and BKFC. BKFC starts pretty soon too, so I got to get that stream up. This uh, really was a good fight. I never really felt like it was boring. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Uh, just because they're not trading every second doesn't mean it's boring. No, absolutely. That's, that's what I was saying. This fight actually wasn't that boring. The fight before um, with Lima, I think that was a way more boring fight. McGregor's going to wreck Chandler. Do we know if that's even booked yet? Primus did what he had to do to win. Absolutely. I still can't believe you're from fucking Plymouth, dude. Like, mind blown. Like, that is my quick trip. And by the way, fuck Tim Hortons. Quick Trip is the greatest thing ever. Fuck Tim Hortons. Fuck 7-Eleven. Fuck that, that other chain that everyone's talking about down south. Quick Trip all the way. Actually, no. Mike Jones does talk about that other uh, chain. Same with Brian and Brittany. God, I forget the name of it off the top of my head. That's like similar to Quick Trip down south. But Quick Trip is my shit. It's my, it's, Quick Trip is the reason why I moved to Minnesota. Uh, Brent Primus won for sure. Domination. Oh, I'm way behind in the comments, so my apologies, guys. Uh, Eddie G, Primus 1. Uh, Splendid Dingler just won't stop here with the trolling. What do you think this fight, brother? It was all right. It was a pretty good fight. I Put it this way. The rounds that uh, Barnui won were, were, my favorite, were my favorite rounds of the fight. But uh, no, props to Primus for winning. Okay, folks, I got to update the graphic on screen. Thanks for all the... Conversation in the live chat. I appreciate every single one of you, honestly. All right. Uh, being interviewed in the center of the cage, Brent Primus squaring off against U Usman Nurmagomedov. All right. Main event of the evening is coming up next here, folks. The moment we've all been waiting for. Gegard Musasi up against Fabian Edwards. We will highlight the fighters in just a moment. DK MMA, I need Edwards too. How much is your parlay paying out? Minus plus 4,700. 2-1 in Grave Digger Jones predictions. Fuck yeah, that's my dog. Oof. The old waffle. Uh, it was an interesting fight to say the least. <laughs> Le bleu. Uh, former champ against a new guy. Nobody gave him a shot. Just shows how much people don't know. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Good man. Premise. Uh, love seeing these numbers, mate. Well earned. Thank you so much, Mr. Grant Gregory. I appreciate it. Shout out to everyone who's joined us live here on the channel. If you haven't already, please like this video. I'd really appreciate it if you like this video. Comment in the live chat. We're totally interactive here, folks. Vote in the poll question. We have over like 400 votes in the poll question. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for voting in the poll question. Thanks so much for commenting in the live chat. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all the support. Main event of the evening next. And then we got some BKFC later, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Grant Gregory, one of our exclusive members, much like the Ant Channel, much like Mike Jones, much like uh, da, 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 da. Shane joined us here, as well as Benjamin. Thank you guys all so much. The pig is one of my first plants I ever grew almost 20 years ago. Thanks. Oh, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. How Brent so shit, it's winning. 
Mike Jones, thank you so much for the super sticker, Mike Jones. I appreciate it. I'm heading on YouTube right now to check out what that super sticker is. Thank you so much, Mike Jones. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. The $1 super sticker. I'm guessing it's good game. Let's see. What is the super sticker from Mike Jones? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, with the trophy super sticker. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. 83 likes. Folks, 83 likes. That's amazing. We have one more fight. Let's get this shit to 100 likes. Let's double our goal. Our original goal was 50. We've blown past that. We're closer to 100. Let's, let's get to 100 likes. I know we can do it. We all are amazing. You guys are so awesome. 552 votes in the poll question as well. Will Gegard Mousasi win one more title before he retires? 49% of you say yes. 43% of you say no. 8% of you say yes, but not in Bellator. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Mike Jones. Brian Platt, is that typical? You were saying with Bellator, the underdogs win a lot. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Brian, thank you so much for joining. Uh, he out-wrestled him, Nick, and he won three out of the five rounds. Uh, the over parlay looks good, and the underdog parlay is looking good. Who's winning this next one, guys? Casey's Gas Station is the best pizza in the world. Yes, Casey's Gas Station is good pizza. Sebastian, what's going on, Sebastian? Over, under, four and a half, next round, next fight. It's plus 110 for the under. Usman will win easily. I do agree Usman will win easily. DK MMA, what's your odds on that underdog parlay? Yes, Brian, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for subscribing. Brian, if you click the live tab on our YouTube channel, you will see we stream UFC, KSW, BKFC, Ryzen, Cage Warriors, Eris, Fury, Cage Fury, One Championship, um... Muradov, uh, fucking Fairtex Muay Thai. Dude, we stream everything in the world of combat sports. Glory kickboxing, top rank ESPN boxing, boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, MMA, all promotions. We do it all, brother. We do it all. We try to fit as at least two up to six every weekend, brother. Thank you so much for joining. If Edwards wins, I'm up just no. Quick Trip is amazing. It is. I love it. Dude, that's awesome. Have you gone to Loose Line? I mean, I don't know if you drink or not, but have you gone to Loose Line Brewing yet? They're good uh, friends of ours on my podcast, the Soda Pod podcast. If you're into hockey and beer, by the way, hit up the Soda Pod. So I was listening to the commentators. I'm so sad right now. Hope your favorite Musasi will do better. I'm kind of stunned right now. Yeah, away from home. It was a good game plan by the opponent, and he ended up winning that fifth round. Because Premier sucks, he wouldn't be top 30 in the UFC. Well, if he out-wrestles a striker... Maybe he would be. Anthony, unfortunately, Anthony, Primus Agagne, close fight. He won three out of the five rounds. Thank you so much, Mike Jones, for the super sticker. Again, I know I'm, uh, I'm behind in the comments here, so I'm going to just start hammering through them. Who wins the main event? Barnui lost. I love Lake Waconia as well. Love fishing by the island. Look at that. Waconia brewing, baby. Sneaks God, like we said, Primus won the fight. Oh, dang. I guess Oregon is legalizing mushrooms now. Oh, nice. We're 147. We can make it to 100 likes, guys. Yes, please like the video. Musasi Nation coming up. What's up, Ice Viking? Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, DKMMA, Mike Jones had a question for you. Your voice look like Sean O'Malley's voice. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Trey, what's up, Trey? Thank you so much for joining. If Edwards loses, this is my last day on planet Earth. Ooh. I hate to say that I'm rooting for Musasi here then, brother. Have you guys seen gas station encounters on YouTube? No, I haven't. Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. And as Mike Jones tells us more, we're going to highlight the main event of the evening here, folks. Gegard Musasi, the legend out of the Netherlands, up against the Birmingham up-and-comer in Bellator. Leon Edwards' brother, Fabian Edwards. Gegard Mousasi, let's start with him. 49-8-2. Folks, I just want him to get to 50 wins so bad. Look at that record. If he wins tonight, 58-2. That's MMA Hall of Famer shit right there. 
He is unbelievable. He would have dominated if he stayed in the UFC. Yes, I know he's 37 years old. He's, he's a little long in the tooth. He is no longer the prime Musasi, the dream catcher that we remember. But folks, he is 4-1 and one in his last five fights. He's the minus 260 favorite. Okay, 27 KOTKO, 13 submission, 9 decision. I'm going to say that one more time in the back. So open up your fucking ears and listen, folks. 27 wins via KOTKO, 13 submissions, 9 decisions, 9 and 3 in the UFC. 9 and 3. Let that fucking sink in. 7 and 2 in Bellator. 8 and 0 in Dream. Okay, the second edition of Ryzen, bef- uh, the second edition of Pride before Ryzen. It was a solid promotion, and four one and one in Strike Force. His last loss was to the current champ, one of the best welterweights in my opinion, Johnny Eblen. Uh, before then, he beat Austin Vanderford, destroyed him. Beat John Salter, beat Douglas Lima, beat Leota Machida. Um, he lost to Lovato Jr. Beat Roy McDonald. He- in Bellator before that. I mean, he had a three-fight win streak in Bellator before his first loss, then went on a four-fight win streak before losing to Johnny Eblen. Again, dominated. Tiago Santos, Uriah Hall, Vitor Belfort, Chris Weidman in the UFC. Beat Dan Henderson also, by the way. Okay? Strike Force beat a prime OSP. Looking at, he was even in K1. He beat Gary Goodridge in K1. He beat Ronaldo Sobral in K1. He knocked out Sobral in K1. He beat Ronaldo Souza. He beat Melvin Manhoof in their primes, ladies and gentlemen. Hector Lombard, who was the original secret. I mean, it's just crazy. Now, again, I know, and it, I know, 37 years old. I know I'm swooning a little too much over him. You obviously know who I'm rooting for here. He's an absolute legend. He's one of the greatest to ever do it in this sport. The dream catcher, Gegard Musasi. But his opponent, the up-and-comer, very, very talented bloodlines here as his striking is a lot like his brother, Leon Edwards, the champion. Look at me now in the UFC. Fabian Edwards, the assassin, 11-2 and in his pro MMA career. He's 3-2 and in his last five fights. He's on a two-fight win streak right now. My apologies. They're fighting at middleweight, not welterweight. Um, blah, 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 blah. four KO TKO, three submission, four decision. He's seven and two in Bellator, so a respectable record, the same as Musasi. Four and oh in Bama. I miss Bama, by the way. Um, last two fights, he won a unanimous decision and a first round knockout. He defeated Leota Machida again, who's very long in the tooth in 2022 via left hooks, and he beat Charlie Ward unanimous decision. It was a close decision, though, against Charlie Ward. I will say he lost and Austin Vanderfort, which if you look at MMA math, Musasi just ran right through. And he lost also to Costello Van Stinas via split decision. Before that, though, he went on a three-fight win streak in his first three fights in Bellator before then was in Bama. Funny enough, Fabian Edwards' first ever pro fight was in Bellator. He won via flying knee in the first round. Plus 210 underdog. Do I think the line should be a little bit closer? Sure. I'm going with the favor. I'm going with the dream catcher. 58 and two. Let's go, baby. Gegard Musasi locking it. And final fight on this card. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I'm behind on the comments, folks. I'm going to race through them here. All right. I think exactly the same as you. Game plan made the difference. Yep. Oh my goodness. It's exactly like O'Malley. That's amazing. Again, hope that's a good thing. Also needs to keep up his guard more. He's too exposed doing those fist exchanges. Thanks for the stream, bro. Got a roll. Dank, man. I hope to see you again, brother. I'll be back for BKFC later tonight, UFC tomorrow, and top ranked boxing on ESPN. Funkmaster Flay, what's up, Funkmaster? <laughs> Who's also the ultimate can crushing machine? Did you not hear the names that I just read? Funkmaster, how can you be a can crusher if I just I just listed names of legends who he's defeated? So I don't know. People forget Musasi left the UFC on a three-fight win streak and largely because they wouldn't give him a championship fight. Cool stream. Thank you so much, Em. I appreciate it. We do these live streams every single weekend. Check it out, Gold, on that channel. I saved it. I saved it. Vahid, what's going on, Vahid? Hi, bro. Just won a huge money. Bye, Brett. Let's go. <laughs> that being said, I think Edwards is a top 25 middleweight. Difficult task for Musasi. Absolutely. I don't want to take anything away from Edwards. I'm not an Edwards hater. I'm just not like... 
a fight fan of Edwards like I am Musasi, right? Like I'm a, there's like there's certain fighters who I just love, and even though I know they have like not favorable matchups, sometimes I'll just pick them. Like Charles Oliveira, Benil Dariush, which their fight that's going to be like a parent watching their kids fight. It's I don't want anyone to lose that one. Um, like I'm fans of those guys. I was fan of Anderson Silva. I'm a fan of Nick Diaz, right? And I'm a fan of Gegard Musasi. So I just I just want him to win so bad. Uh, you didn't know him. It's normally he's a famous influence in France right now who's always bragging about his past career. Oh, interesting. I hope he it runs in the family. Let's go, Edwards. Love the use of swooning. It's one of my favorite words. Easy win for the Iranian fighter. Let's go, Musasi. Easy win. What's the 58 2 you keep mention, mentioning? Uh, I want he okay. Musasi's record is 49 8 and 2. I want him to become 50, 8, and 2. What other MMA fighter has 50 wins on their record and single-digit losses? No no other fighter. Musasi making his walkout right now. Hey, brother, you are so cool. Canadians are so nice. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want Musasi to beat Fabian for beating Machida. I got the UFC veteran. Shout out Dennis. How's this still going on? I thought the main card was four fights. Yeah, Shane, they were four fights. They've all gone the distance. There have been five rounders. That's why this is still going on, Shane. You missed it. You missed the party here, Shane. We had like 250 people in the chat here just a few minutes ago. I was getting something to eat. What's up, Gravedigger? Albanians Mafia is watching you and we love you. Well, shout out to the Albanian Mafia. DK, May, it doesn't go well for me betting UFC. Oh, geez. So I'm taking a shot in the dark. Pretty worried. Honestly, I'm a fan of Musasi too. I started paying attention to Beltar much more when he signed. Uh, I felt like Vegas had that wrong and the wrestling was just the difference maker. Just like I thought it would be scary start, but finished beautifully. Unreal play. Very impressive. Sasha, Sasha I told you, you and Mike Jones are going to be best friends. Would have never pulled the trigger on that. I'm pumped that Sasha and Mike Jones got to connect in this live chat. Gravedigger Jones is going for Edwards. Again, 37, er, 37 years of age for Musasi. Dude, somebody is blowing up my Snapchat right now. I never even use Snapchat. It's literally just to talk to my younger sisters because they use Snapchat. Someone's going ham. I probably this is probably like some fucking bot right now going ham. My phone will not stop buzzing. I gotta turn it off here in a sec. But anyways, <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna smash it. I'm gonna fucking smash this phone. Usually it's Hoppy, my co-host on the podcast, who uh, <laughs> hits me up during the live streams. All right, fighters are being announced in the center of the cage right now, folks. Last chance to get your predictions in. Last chance to ask for some betting advice. Salut à tout le monde en France. My apologies, your boy didn't win. But it's been a good night of fights nonetheless. Switching over to BKFC after this. Dun, 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 dun. Again, I won't be able to get to all your comments in real time once the fight starts. Going to be watching the fight, but I'll get to as many as I can, folks. Garrett is a legend and beast. If Uriah Hall didn't get lucky against, he'd be champ and probably still in the UFC. Uh, he beat Uriah Hall. Uh, what odds did you grab him at? Uh, man, I did not know what to expect when I first started watching, but I like you, man. You actually sound like you know what you're talking about. A little bit. I'm a fan. I'm no expert. I'm a fan, but I've been watching this sport my entire life longer than any other sport. Thank you so much, Simon. I appreciate it. Please, guys, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 5,000 subs. It would be awesome. Oh, got you. Got you. Thanks to whoever it was that told me to bet MGM had live odds plus 1,300. Wow. That is amazing, Mike Jones. Congratulations to you. He does have cojones. No, Uriah Hall KO'd him spinning kick. Did he actually? I thought I just went over his record here. You're probably right. Let me see. Oh, yes, you're right. My apologies. My apologies. He, uh, th yeah, then he beat Uriah Hall um, three fights later. No, you're right. My apologies. My apologies. Musasi, let's go. Hall beat him. Yes, that's right. That's right. I know. I'm super excited. I can lose BKFC and still be up after that. If ever wins, that will be unbelievable. That was a fluke. All right, folks. Keep the comments coming. I might not be able to hit them in real time like I am right now because we're watching the fight. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on.
I might be a little bit behind, folks. I'm watching on the Paramount app. For some reason, it's been a little bit behind on my device, so bear with me. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock on my stream if you want to sync up. See, I was looking at the rematch. That's why I totally forgot when I was going through the record. Ah, okay. Gegard said it was a fluke. Four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock here. Both feeling each other. Oh, Gegard with the high kick. Four minutes and 14 seconds. Okay, my eyes are on the fight right now, folks. Keep the live chat going. Talk amongst yourselves. I will catch up with the live chat if I can and if there's any break in play. Shout out to all 120 of you watching live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction. Every single weekend, we do Fight Companions. Like and subscribe. We're trying to get this channel to 5,000 subs, and we're trying to get this video to 100 likes. All right, back to the fight we go. Still feeling each other out. No, no strikes have been thrown <laughs> since. Oh, inside leg kick by Musasi. And it looks like it hit Edwards in the balls. A little bit of a delayed reaction there as um, good job by Edwards who landed a good counter shot on Musasi upon throwing the kick. Musasi high inside low kick hit Edwards in the balls. Rip to his kids. Ooh, you saw them jiggle. Oh, Ouch. buddy got to get a steel cup. He's got to get a Demetrius Johnson steel cup. About two minutes in. Please don't continue. Stop the fight. Let's go. Let's get a draw. Oh my God, Mike Jones. Mike Jones will be eating like a king if he gets a draw. Sasha, Mike Jones sprinkles a little bit on the draw. No nephews for Leon. Hit in the family jewels. Fabian looks like he's in tremendous shape too right now. All right. Looks like he's good to go. We are back at it. Let's get it on. Three minutes and 33 seconds on the clock here on my stream if you want to sync up. Musasi stalking down Edwards here. Edwards looking good. Light on his feet. Fabian is the man. Again, I love the Edwards brothers. Leon Edwards, again, talking about a fan. I'm a fan of Musasi. I'm also a fan of Leon Edwards. I, I respect... I respect Fabian here. But he's fighting one of the guys who I've been a fan of my entire life, right? So... It's like a sports team, right? I may... I may like other hockey teams, right? I may like the Washington Capitals. But if they're going up against the Vancouver Canucks, I'm, I'm rooting for Vancouver all day, every day, baby. I cover the Minnesota Wild for a podcast. If they're playing the Vancouver Canucks, I'm rooting for the Canucks, right? Gago and Musasi is like my Canucks. I like Fabian Edwards. But if he's going up against the guy I've been a fan of my whole life, I'm rooting for him, baby. Gago and Musasi with a couple of knee strikes there. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Not a lot of action here in this first round. Trey is saying Fabian's going to KO him. Fabian looking for that knee to the body. Ooh, nice knee to the body by Fabian Edwards. Don't let them bully your son. Hayden, Paramount Plus, baby. Thanks so much for joining. And, and Hayden, you're late to the party, man. I've, I've done it all night. You missed it. Paramount Plus. Cups need shock absorption or some kind of improvements. I want to see Gary Musasi go to sleep. I do not. Musasi's best shot was in the nuts. Fabian fighting skit. Fabian, I don't think so. Fabian's actually looking better than Musasi, I think, thus far. Five rounds. He's just gauging the timing. I don't have the... I don't have it. I have Look At Me Now, but that's that's the only one I have. I, don't, I didn't save the Bully of Sun one. I have a sound pad. I ain't just pulling these from YouTube. Hayden, scroll up in the chat. You'll find it, brother. One minute, 24 seconds. Oh, nice left hand by Fabian Edwards. Yeah, Fabian Edwards is winning this round. Laco Hernandez. Yes, it has. Laco, please come over to YouTube, buddy. Anyone on Facebook and Twitch, get the fuck off Twitch and Facebook and get your ass over to YouTube right now. Facebook and Twitch are not our primary streaming destinations. YouTube is. We're streaming on Facebook and Twitch to tell you all to come over to YouTube. And Laco, yes, we are... Four minutes into the first round. 
Absolutely. Actually, no, I think Ray Longo's punch a hole through his motherfucking chest is my favorite. One, two by Musasi. Musasi stalking Edwards down, but Edwards is getting the better of him here, in my opinion. Edwards not being overly aggressive. Oh, and another left hand by Edwards, but Edwards is connected with the bigger shots in this first round. Final 20 seconds. He's clipped him a couple times. I've counted twice, so he's, he's hit him with a hard shot, and it's like, you know, the neck went back. There's another right there. There is no, and I, and I mean absolutely no way this parlay wins. No big deal. But if it does, I'm going to get loud as fuck. Please, Mike Jones, please do so. And that's it for the first round. Fabian Edwards wins that first round, folks. Simply put, he outstruck Gegar Musasi. Simply put, he landed three really nice shots and way more significant strikes. I wish Bellator showed... Uh, the striking stats. I mean, shit, even Eris stro showed the striking stats. Oh, look at that. Hoist Gracie sitting next to Johnny Eblen. Royalty. Greg Jackson had him with your crotch. <laughs> Y'all give it to Edwards after one? Yes, I do. Let me know in the live chat. Who are you giving round one to? I'm giving it to Fabian the Assassin Edwards. Again, shout out to everyone joining us in the live chat here. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Uh, yeah, guys, I don't have the, the live lines open right now, but uh, Mar what's the Edwards live line? Someone in the chat. Uh, and that's the thing. When, when sometimes people are asking stuff in the chat, don't just assume it's just to me. <laughs> assume it's also to you if you're in the chat. Edwards 10-9. Mr. Grant Gregory. Uh, yeah, someone. Um, Marlon, bet MGM. Look at it there. I need to hammer Edwards live. All right, round two. Let's get it all! Again, folks, this is the final fight of the evening. Nice left hand by Fabian Edwards. Round two, final fight, main event, Bellator 296. Shout out to everyone joining us live here. If you want a better look at the fighters, by the way, just let me know. And I can make the screen a little bit bigger like that. But back to live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction. 20 units on Penna. No way. Outside low kick by Musasi. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here. If you want to sync up with my stream, nice left hand by Edwards. Outside low kick by Musasi. Musasi tacking that knee of Fabian Edwards. I understand that shot. I don't like it. The John Jones knee crippler. Even line. If Beltar wants to stand out, they need to push for live scorecards. Outside low kick again by Musasi. A nice counter by Fabian Edwards and a good level change as he takes Musasi down in the rubber guard of Musasi here. Musasi landing strikes the side of Fabian Edwards' head as he's landing on his back. Half rubber guard here. Official warning Musasi to stop hitting the back of his head. DKMMA, wow, I cash out 700 now. Shout out to you, DKMMA. That is awesome. Parlay cashes, we go into UFC fully loaded. Let's go, Gucci Rari. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Fabian Edwards in the full guard of Musasi. Musasi closing the guard. Funny how you're synced up with the... Oh, that is funny. I swear, I'm not watching it there. I just think my laptop is fading. But that is funny. Because I have the Paramount app. Like, I downloaded the actual app, and I'm not even on the website. Uh, Sasha, I swear I was up a lot and took a shot. I even told Chad I was about to throw away 20 units. Don't let him bully you, Gegard. I didn't think Edwards would be taking him down. Edwards in the full guard of Musasi still. What's up, Tony? It's good to see you, brother. How are you? Tony, don't forget to like this video while you're here. Tony, it's good to see you. We back, baby. We back. There's a delay on YouTube by about 10 seconds. We can't watch it on YouTube in North America, but Showtime and Paramount. But scooting, uh, ass on the ground. Back to the cage is Gegar Musasi. Edwards trying to grab the outside of his knees and drag him back. Musasi 
looking to get back up to his feet. Edwards tried to take his back, and Gegard Mousasi with the beautiful transition flipped Edwards over his shoulder. That was a mistake by Edwards. Now, Mousasi in side control. Mousasi just need a downed opponent. Mousasi just need Fabian Edwards. I didn't see it. I thought at first Musasi was just kneeing the body, but it looks like he might have need the head of Fabian Edwards. He might lose a point here in a round that he was getting back. Okay, Urban Laden. <laughs> Urban Laden, that is a good name. That is a good name. That was to the chest, no? That was a knee to the chest, no? Oh, no, it might have hit the chin. It might have hit the chin. Look, I don't think that was intentional, but I get it. A rule's a rule. A rule's a rule. I'm biased here, obviously, because I'm rooting for Musasi. Um, I, I, I think that was meant to go to the chest. Obviously, it, it it rolled up and hit the chin. A point is probably going to be taken away, which is which sucks. That sinks Musasi pretty much. And I know it's early, but still. Wait, it's over? Don't disqualify him. Get Musasi the one he will dominate. No way, it's a disqualification? Hit the chin because Fabian brought his knee up. That's a DQ. If you don't want to keep going, he should take the easy win. Fabian's fault, not Musasi. Really? Mike Jones trolling hard. Nick, it has nothing to do with that, buddy. It has nothing to do with that, Nick. You're, you're watching this. You know what's going on, Nick. You know what's going on. Musasi need Edwards in the face by accident. No, don't disqualify him. What are you guys talking about? No, it's not over, but it might be a minute. Okay, okay, got you. No, hitting the chin because of Edwards moving his leg and deviating the knee. Edwards is doing an aljo. And now Nick's spamming the chat. Sebastian, under four and a half rounds. Cash that babe. All right, point being taken away. Again, I'm like 20 seconds behind you guys. So when you said disqualification, I'm like, oh, fuck. No point being taken away. No point being taken away. Just a second foul. Wow, this is a gift. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. One minute and 21 seconds left. And he didn't lose a point. Just over one and a half. Yes, we are one minute and 12 seconds on the clock. DQ or no contest and I'm paid in the shade. Oh, well, I do want you to make money, but I kind of want Gegard Musasi to win as well. Mike Jones always does. Oh, and Fabian Edwards just dropped. Musasi. I know France, I saw the reaction they made after the Qatar World Cup Finals. Fuck, he's continuing. Whoops. <laughs> Nick's just passionate. Good call. No point, what the fuck. Thank God they continued the bout. Thirty seconds left. A one-two by Gegard Mousasi. A nice right hand by Fabian Edwards. Yeah, Fabian Edwards up to nothing in my opinion as well. Both of them fainting shots here. Final fifteen seconds. Inside low kick attempt by Fabian Edwards. Checked by Mousasi. Final ten seconds of the first round. Again, folks, I don't know what's going on with my Paramount app. I, I'm, I'm I seem to be behind some of you guys, but that is it. Round just ended for me. We're on to the third round, ladies and gentlemen. In a long fight here due to these fouls, but Gegard Musasi did not get a point taken away for that one, but he is still down two, in my opinion, going into the third. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Yes, Nick. Yes, Nick. Yes, Nick. <laughs> He's asked me three times. I feel like I gave him the answer four times. Who do you think wins? Good game, Empire Fearless. I predicted Musasi to win, but right now, as we are two rounds in, Fabian Edwards is winning this fight. Good game, Empire Fearless. Thank you so much for joining. 
Okay, I made that underdog parlay for fun. 1% chance I gave it, but now I think Edwards is definitely winning this fight. You ain't behind there's a 15, 10 to 50 uh, delay on you. Yeah, but Mr. Grant Gravy, half the world ain't watching it on YouTube. Half the world's watching it on Showtime and or Paramount+. Plus. If Fabian wins, Eblen is going to freaking maul him like a bear. Dude, either of these guys. <laughs> if either of these guys win. 2018 Edwards should be 2017. Not in North America, it's not. Is Edwards gassing? No. Dude, he's... He... <laughs> Nick, sometimes I'm wondering if you're even watching or not, brother. Fabian Edwards is not gassing. He got kicked in the balls, and then he took two minutes there because he got kneed in the head. So if anything, he's, he's had more of a break. Let's get it all! Round three, ladies and gentlemen. So no, he's not gassing. I bet big on Primus and Fabian to win. Well, Primus won, so shout out to you. So far, Fabian Edwards is up two rounds, brother. So, Nick, he doesn't look like he's gassing. We're 30 seconds into the third round. Nick, you got to watch, Nick. Nick, there's no excuse for you, brother. You've been here the whole time, and I've given you many, many gifts. I've given you the opportunity, bro. So that's on you for not going and watching. It's on Showtime, not YouTube. Oh, yes. Right, right, right. I'm hearing your play-by-play. -play. Well, I appreciate it, brother. Sasha went home. Another foul. Oh, my goodness. Still looks like he has a full tank. Yes. Okay, well, Nick, my apologies. I thought you were watching it as well. I'm, I'm going to keep giving you as many uh, as many details as possible. Now, Fabian Edwards fouls Musasi. He kicks him low. Kyle, why are you being mean, brother? Nick's not watching. I don't, I don't know why Kyle Kelly's so mad. Kyle Kelly, I appreciate you joining, but Nick has, is far from a troll. We've had some people actually try to troll us and take down this stream earlier and ban us. Kyle Kelly, Nick is far from the issue here, brother. Whew, Kyle Kelly coming in hot. I don't think Sha Sasha's here anymore, brother. He's up to you. Fuck that ref. Edwards plus 200 on the way and plus 100 for the three units. All right, we are getting back into this, folks. Three minutes and 58 seconds on the clock here. Musasi back in the action. Musasi should faint low kick, then counter cross. Edwards is always countering those leg kicks. Fabian Edwards, buddy. We keep telling you, Fabian Edwards. Uh, Sensei, what's up, Sensei? Sensei Guapo 9. Uh, Fabian Edwards is up two rounds. Fabian Edwards is out striking. Gegard Musasi, Musasi walking forward, tried to land a 1 2. You must pay the troll toll to get in the bull's hole. Boy's hole. Sasha, who? <laughs> Nick is a troll, but a nice one. Mr. Big Wig, my jig, AG, Lig, Vietnam, Ham Jam, Fig. Nick Connor has the most output in this round. I will keep you updated. <laughs> nice body kick by Edwards. Even if you think Eblen mauls the winner of this, either way, it would be an interesting fight. Indeed, M, indeed. I was the only one in the chat on Edwards plus 200 and said it. All I'm going to say is trust your balls. Trust your balls, says Marlon Z. Two minutes and 52 seconds on the clock here. Overhand left by Fabian. Banana Facts with Banana Dave. Banana Facts with Banana Dave. I love your profile picture. I love your username. Like your energy and you got a sub. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here. A Canuck accent. Yes, indeed. From Vancouver Island, British Columbia, baby. Ooh, I don't agree with that take, Nick. I don't agree with that take. Another Bella Snore main event so far. These fights sucked. Bellator is so bad, and John McCarthy is a terrible commentator. McGregor equals the goat. No. Uh, Terpy Buds. What's up, Terpy Buds? Thank you so much for joining. Gigert seems to be having a similar end to his career as Masvidal. Just not enough output. And a 1-2 by Fabian Edwards. He's just eating them all here. He's walking forward is Musasi here as he's been doing this fight, but he's not landing anything on Fabian Edwards. So news. Connor equals money, yes. Goat fighter, no. Moneymaker goat, yes. 
Marlon Z, you're full of shit. Me, Gucci, and someone else had Edwards and Brent. Humble yourself, bro. We're actually betting on this shit. Fighting words from Mike Jones. Sebastian, so what? They went all five rounds. We are in round three, Sebastian. We are in round three right now. One minute and 11 seconds on the clock here in round three. Gegard Musasi eats a low kick again. I mean, Gegard Musasi, he's showing his age here, folks. Showing his age here. Not as quick as Fabian. Not landing as much output. Fabian Edwards doing a good job with the counter striking. 53 seconds left on the clock in this third. I miss Strike Force as well. And I say this all the time. Strike for oh, nice left hand by Fabian on the entry. Strike Force is the reason the UFC is where it is today. Frère de Krell. Who wins between Musasi and Edwards? Edwards is winning right now. He, I believe, is up three rounds to none. Island boy. That's me. Connor spends more money in a day than most in their entire boom life. Loif. That is true. Smash that like button. Nine away from 100. Yes, smash that like button. We have 150 people in the chat right now. And we have under 100 likes. Smash that like button. Let's get this shit to 100. Nice right hand by Musasi. Final 10 seconds left in this third round. That might be a round you give Musasi, but I don't know. Yeah, it's that one was really close. I'm still giving it to Fabian Edwards. Personally, I think he's up three. But if you want to give that third round to Musasi, and that is the end of the third round, it was close enough that you could. I think he ate more leg kicks, personally. So I can't give him that third round, but totally understand if you folks can. And I'm rooting for Musasi here. Good body blow. You need to work on your play-by-play -play for the people who don't have the stream. Well, I'm trying, Mike Jones. I'm trying. But I also want to read the lot. Put it this way, Mike Jones. I can't please everybody, right? Because if I don't read the comments, I literally have... Even even some of you regulars message me on social media angry saying, why didn't you get to my comments? I come to this stream to interact. And then on the flip side, if I interact too much with the chat, I get angry people messaging me and threatening me. <laughs> Death threats and all. It's hilarious saying, why didn't you give me the play-by-play? -play? So I can't win, Mike Jones. I think they're just trolling. I think it's all the above. I just think we have 150 people in the chat here and you know, I'm one man. I'm one man. Appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate it. I think Edward's got three. Must need a submission. Nick, that round went to Herb Dean, but he's down. <laughs> Close round, but no way Edwards lost. Um, I will do more play-by-play -play in this round. Sorry, Mike Jones, and sorry to those who don't have the stream. We'll do more focused play-by-play -play for this fourth round. The one thing is, Mike Jones, I, I gave everybody a place to watch this. They're just being lazy, but it is what it is. Uh, Gegard Musasi is plus 500 on MGM right now. Uh, fourth round. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Uh, da, 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 da. Rest, respect whoever said that to me. Sorry. My shit was directed straight to Sasha. Not with anyone in the chat. No way. People are salty enough for death threats. I mean, they're probably just trolling me. Don't get me like, but yeah. They're like, you fucking idiot, I'll fucking kill you, blah, 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 blah. And again, I know those accounts. I know they're trolls. They're not real death threats, but it's just like the fact that people go out of their way to even like hit me up on Twitter to tell me how angry they were that I didn't, you know, give proper play-by-play -play for a certain round in a fight with like hundreds of people in the chat. It's just like, I just roll my eyes at you. Um, I did get a 4,000 word essay on why and how I don't know anything about Muay Thai that I will share on a member stream soon. Fair enough, Mike Jones. Uh, it worked, buddy. It works. It works. Good game, Empire. Don't tell me it doesn't work. Fact checked more times than you can count. It works. Trust me. So don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Because that is a bold faced lie. You just haven't tried hard enough. Uh, three minutes and 24 seconds left in this fourth round. Nice one, two by Fabian Edwards. No, Barnaby lost. 100% he lost that fifth round. It was tied going into the fifth round. Some people also only have one device, so maybe they can either listen to you or watch the event. Yeah, that's true, but again, that ain't my problem, bro. I'm here chilling with you guys, watching fights, hanging out, giving that vibe that if we were like at a pub, hanging out, watching the fights. I do the play-by-play -play because I know there's some people who can't watch it. And you guys have the ability to tell me in the live chat, hey, Isha, please, I can't watch it. Do focus play-by-play. -play. 
instead of just getting angry with me for hanging out and <laughs> giving you guys some love in the chat. I can't believe I might actually get 47 units on a parlay. I gave no shot to hit. <laughs> and Musasi looks like he's taking Edwards to the ground. In the top position here is Musasi. Full mount by Musasi right now. As Edwards rolls to his back, Musasi looking for the choke here. Doesn't have any hooks in yet. Doesn't have any hooks in yet. This is a big moment for Musasi. So a 9-10 fighter just beat a guy in MMA. World calls a future legend. 400 for 1300 on... What are you talking about? I'm confused, gaming. I'm confused. I usually watch the fight on mute. Don't sleep on Musasi yet. Musasi now playing the grappling game. That's a good job by Edwards getting back up to his feet. Musasi still has the body lock on him, trying to drag him back to the ground. A 9-7 fighter just beat a guy the MMA world calls a future legend? Who's 9-7? and seven? I'm so confused. Fog Edwards might get leon They're back up to the feet here. 1 minute and 32 seconds left here in this fourth round. I think... Uh, Musasi. Uh-oh, indeed. We're back. Sorry about that, folks. We froze there for a second. My apologies. Uh, 51 seconds left on the clock here. Fourth and final round. I mean, this is a close round, too. Again, striking-wise, Edwards is outstriking Musasi every single round. Musasi had a better round here as far as dictating where the fight was going to go, so I can see an argument that Musasi won this round. I'm out. Respect to the Sea Life Project. Always love King. I'll try to be back for BKFC. Thank you so much, Marlon. I'll see you tomorrow as well for UFC. Don't let them bully you, son. Don't let them bully you, Musasi. My mic's not working. I'm back, right? I'm back. We good. We good. Is my mic working? Hello, hello. Check, check. One, two. I think we're good now. I'm back. How are we looking? Edwards is winning. And now Edwards gets in the top position on Musasi to end this round. Five seconds left. Hell of a body kick. By McGregor, Sugar Show is in trouble. Like, what are you guys talking about? All right, end of the fourth round, folks. Fifth and final round coming up here. Dude, honestly, I can see an argument where it's a clean sweep on all the judges' scorecards that Edwards is up. I could also see Musasi winning the third and fourth round. In that case, we would be tied going into the fifth. I don't think that's the case. I got Edwards winning one, two, and three. I got Musasi winning four. Again, four, though, it's up to debate. Edwards still could win four on the judges' scorecards. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the live chat before we get into our final round. Is my mic still not working, guys? It says it's working on my end. Check, check, one, two. Hello, hello? Someone, Mike Jones, let me know if my mic is working. The Urban Cover says it's not working. I can hear just fine. It's working. Urban Cover, it says it's working. Uh, thanks so much for joining. Appreciate it, buddy. It's working. He's trolling. Oh, okay, okay. My headphones weren't working. <laughs> Thank you guys for the, uh, for the confirmation. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. All right, fifth and final round. Last round on this card. Last fight on this card. Bellator 296. Musasi versus Edwards. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You scared me. You scared me there. Fifth and final round. I think there's an argument that Edwards has won every single round in this fight. There is also an argument that the last two rounds could have narrowly gone to Musasi. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Shout out to all 150 of you joining us. You guys are all amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. We're going to give everybody a shout out at the end of the stream. So hang around. Even after this fight, I'm going to scroll through the live chat and we give every single one of you a shout out. I mean, Musasi is a big underdog live. Four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock here. Gigard needs a miracle. 
He needs to dominantly win this first round or get a knockout, obviously. My sources say there's a judge who ain't going to like this score. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Mike Jones. Seriously, buddy. Thank you so much. The fight's not even over yet, and you're giving me the super sticker. Three minutes and 50 seconds on the clock here. Gegard Musasi, a lackadaisical inside low kick attempt. Great game plan by Edwards. Not getting overzealous at all. Employing the counter game beautifully. Very impressed. 96 likes, folks. We are almost at 100 likes. I know we can do it. I know we can get there. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Clinching now is Edwards push, pushing Gegard Musasi up against the cage. Edwards going for the takedown. Shout out to all 650 of you who voted in the poll question as well. Mike Jones, thank you so much for the good game. Super sticker. Thank you so much, Mike Jones. I appreciate you. And Edwards takes Musasi down. Body triangle is secured. And now he's going for the choke. Let's go, Edwards. You know what this shows me? This shows me that Paige Van Zandt's husband really sucks at MMA. Given that Aaron Jeffrey destroyed him and Musasi destroyed him recently. Seeing the at the Wayans going back and forth, the reason I picked Edwards. And he wraps it up. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this fight. And again, Musasi trying to roll out of this Edwards with the dominating fifth round here. GG Fabian Edwards. He beat Edwards though, which is funny. Yeah, I know. MMA math doesn't work sometimes. Hey, buddy, you, you've been here the whole time. I keep telling you. I'm, I'm about 30 seconds behind, okay? Parazzo. Trying to be all... <laughs> trying to be all... Uh, all big, big dick swinging over here. One minute and 48 seconds on the clock on my stream here. Body triangle secured by Edwards. <laughs> and he's fucking with me. You're lucky we don't have a mod. The mod would have banned your ass. I I have a lot more patience. <laughs> Appreciate you joining, Francisco. One minute, 24 seconds. Body triangle secured. Fighting the hands is Musasi. Edwards looking for a finish here late in the fifth round. <laughs> My roommates think I'm crazy. It's been five and a half hours. I'm hooting and hollering here about... MMA, but I'm just so pumped, folks. I'm so pumped. May not have been the best Bellator card. Some upsets for the France home crowd. Not the most exciting Musasi fight. It's kind of a sad Musasi fight, to be perfectly honest. But a great game plan by Edwards. Final 50 seconds in this fight. But you know what has made it incredible? The live chat has been buzzing. You all are amazing. We have new subscribers. We have new members of our community here. And I hope to see you folks later for BKFC and also for UFC and Top Rank Boxing tomorrow. Boring fight indeed. We'll be live later this evening for BKFC, tomorrow for UFC and Top Rank Boxing. Francisco, please check, guys. And I say this to everyone because everyone always does this to me. We post the schedule on the community tab. Please check the, the schedule. And yes, it will be live. Got to get food before Bare Knuckle. I will see you in a few. I still have to set up, so I'll probably be late. We'll probably be a little bit later than the original start time. So we might miss the prelims, but we will be here for BKFC. Final five seconds here. Solid work by Edwards going full backpack in this final round. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely BKFC later. Eblin mauls this guy. BKFC in how long? Whenever it starts. When does it start? Again, I post everything on the schedule. This is why I'm saying, guys, you got to look at this. Why do I post the schedule if no one looks at it? Why do I even post it? <laughs> Check the schedule, man. Off the top of my head, I don't know. It's in a couple hours. Or maybe it's in an hour. You know what? I'm going to look it up live for you. Look it up live for you here. So here you go, guys. Listening in for the official decision here in a moment. Da, 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 da. Community. Do, 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 do. And the schedule is here. It starts. 
Oh, shoot. It starts soon. Oh, wait. No, it starts in a little while. The prelims don't even start till 7 or 8 o'clock Eastern. So we got time. 8 o'clock Eastern, the prelims start, guys. 8 o'clock Eastern, the prelims start. Congratulations to the others who won underdog parlay with Mike Jones. Let's go. 2400 bucks. Shout out to you, Gucci. The reason why we don't check schedule if for these reactions. <laughs> You're killing me. Uh, Magic Stream going to pass it? Magic Stream? Huh? Uh, 320 on the over parlay. Let's go, Gucci. I'm glad you won some money, buddy. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Uh, Fred DeClaire, we're still waiting to hear the official decision, buddy. I will let you know once it happens, but I am guessing that it's going to be Fabian Edwards. The schedule doesn't work on most mobile devices, bro. I can't see it on the only thing I can watch on my iPad. That said, they need to update that shit. Oh, that is interesting. I can see it on my mobile, but I have an Android. Okay, good to know. I will start posting the schedule maybe as a picture. Or, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. But anyways, back to the official decision we were listening in. I, I mean, there, there's no world where Gagam Rastasi wins this one, unless there's total bias. I hope he doesn't retire, because I want to see him get one more win. Feed him a can. Horrible fight. Unanimous decision. Fabian Edwards wins this one, folks. Hey, great game plan for him. It was a boring fight, but it was a great impl uh, implementation of a game plan. Execution, I should say. Look at me now! Just like his brother, look at me now. He will be fighting for the title next, ladies and gentlemen. Being interviewed by Bing John McCarthy now is... Fabian Edwards. Three and one in Gravedigger Jones predictions. Let's go. Look at him now. He sounds so much like his brother, too. It's hilarious. That's awesome. All right, folks. Before we hang up the gloves here, before we end this stream, before I go and set up BKFC. I want to give every single one of you a shout out. Oh, and they're squaring up now. Johnny Eblen and Fabian Edwards squaring up in the center of the cage. Eblen will destroy this fool. Musasi nut huggers sad. I'm sad. I love Musasi. Again, I, I love Musasi. I don't know why everyone's throwing disrespect to him. This guy has almost 50 wins in mixed martial arts. That's unbelievable. Is he past his prime? 100%. Is this the end? Perhaps it could be. But Sergey, gotta love what that guy did throughout his career. Thank you so much. And we will start with that, folks. We'll start with that. We're, oh, they're fighting words here by both these guys. I'm gonna give everybody who commented in the live chat a shout out. So if you have comments coming in, I may not see them. Oh, look, a little, little kerfuffle there. In the center of the cage, Eblen gonna make this guy. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say he's a fraud. He, he's a good fighter, but yeah. On his prime, Musasi was better. Absolutely, man. In his prime, Musasi, I mean, Musasi was, was one of the best in his prime, man. And he beat some of the best. Too. Okay, folks, you can keep the comments coming, but I might not read them. Leon don't want none. Better calm down. Yeah, chill. Okay. Now what is going on? I'm live streaming. People are calling me and shit. All right. Anyways, I'm going to give a shout out to everybody here in the live chat. All right. Shout out to the Ant-Man channel. One of our exclusive members on the channel as well. Shout out to Fred the crowd. This might be like 10 or so minutes, folks. So stick around if you want to shout out. Shout out to Urban Lad. And thank you so much for joining. Shout out to Sergey. Shout out to Mr. Grant Gregory, one of our exclusive members as well. Shout out to Gucci Rari. I'm glad you won some money. Shout out to Gravedigger Jones, one of our exclusive members as well on the channel. Shout out to do, 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 Francisco. Shout out to you, Francisco. Shout out to you. Uh, they're, they're all deal VC. Shout out to you. Shout out to the Urban Cover. Shout out to DK MMA. DK MMA, thank you so much for the donation, brother. 
Uh, shout out to Good Game Empire Fearless. Thank you so much for joining. Shout out to Marlon Z. Shout out to Dufferet Gaming. Shout out to Toopy Buds. Shout out to you, Toopy Buds. Shout out to Ice Viking. Shout out to Sebastian. Shout out to Banana Facts. Shout out to User Anonymous. Shout out to Kyle Kelly. Shout out to M. Shout out to Mr. Big Wig Majig A Jig Lig Vietnam Ham Jam Fix Dig. Shout out to Sensei Guapo. Shout out to Nick Rodriguez. Shout out to Away From Home. Shout out to do, 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 do. Uh, Benjamin, one of our exclusive members on the channel as well. Shout out to you. Shout out to my boy from Plymouth. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, shout out to... Did I say Sebastian Emery? Shout out to you, Sebastian Emery. Shout out to... As I scroll up here, Funkmaster Flay. Shout out to Funkmaster Flay. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, shout out to Trey. Shout out to Pinche Walter. Shout out to Tony. Shout out to Duncan D's Nuts. Shout out to you, Duncan D's Nuts. Shout out to Sasha. Uh, shout out to Laco Hernandez. Shout out to Hayden. Uh, da, 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 da. Shout out to Simon. As I keep scrolling up here, shout out to Reaper Jones, Gravedigger Jones. I already said that. Shout out to Shane Van Nice, one of the exclusive members on the channel as well. Thank you so much for joining. Shout out to Vahid. Thanks so much, Vahid. Thanks so much, Brian Platt. Thank you so much. I'm swooning that you like, did I say swoon? Uh, shout out to. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I said, uh, Dank Man Nine. Shout out to you, Dank Man Nine. Thank you so much for joining. Shout out to Sneaks God. Shout out to Anthony. Uh, da, 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 da. Shout out to the Splendid Dinglers. Both of you guys uh, really made the chat something funky today. Shout out to Eddie G. Shout out to Peak Master. Shout out to Mind Your Own. Uh, shout out to Khalid Nurdin. Da, 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 da. Shout out to Habib. Shout out to RJ. Uh, da, 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 da. Shout out to Sean Spencer. Shout out to Andy Reed's Cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these names. Uh, da, 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 da. Shout out to Gal Official. Shout out to Italian Vlogs. Shout out to Bailey Hood. Still scrolling up here, folks. Still scrolling up the live chat. Shout out to Suji Threddy CR7. Shout out to Eduardo Galvin. It's crack lacking. <laughs> Shout out to who's next here? Do, 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 do. Um, but, 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 but a lot of the same, a lot of the same. Do, 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 do. Look at all you guys. This is what this tells me. And I don't have a new uh, username to shout out. It means that you guys have been here for so long. And I appreciate that. LC's SR. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for joining. Tony Trill. Thank you so much for joining. Tony Trill. I appreciate you. Xerix. Thank you so much for joining. Xerix. True Star, thank you for joining True Star. Jonathan Munguia, Jim Wayek, thank you both. Appreciate you guys. Uh, da, 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 I am more than halfway through. We're getting a shout out to you, Mark. Thanks so much for joining, Mark. I appreciate you, Mark. Uh, da, 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 da. Yo. Q we shout to Yo Q we thank you so much for joining Yo Q we. Um, who else do we have here? Dash, thank you so much, Dash, for joining. Void mate, thank you so much, Void mate. MMA as fuck, thank you so much for joining MMA AF. Uh, Renell Soto, thank you so much for joining Soto. And it's been a while since I saw Void Mate, so double double shout out to Void Mate. Hope to see you again soon. Soto always drops in, so it's good to see you as well, buddy. Uh, da, 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 Peak Master, I see there. Shout out to Peak Master, absolute beauty. Shout out to Mike Jones for the donations too. Thank you so much for sharing the sharing the wealth, buddy. Uh, Zach Arya, thank you so much. Kevin Robinson, thank you so much for joining as well. 
Uh, da, 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 da. uh Wish Momo. Shout out to you, Wish Momo. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Ravinder Singh and No Name. Thank you so much for joining Ravinder and No Name. Andy Hickey. Thank you so much for joining Andy Hickey. Baller B. Thank you so much for joining Baller B. Uh, almost there. Almost there. I think... Uh, oh, Arter. Shout out to you, Arter. Thank you so much for joining. Diego, Alex O. Thank you guys so much for joining. Diego, here every single stream. What an absolute beauty. Da, 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 da. Foul one. Shout out to you, Foul one. The foulest of ones. Uh, hockey from home. Shout out to Hockey from home. Thank you so much for joining. Andrew B. Shout out to you for joining Andrew B. as well. Jules. Thank you so much for joining, Jules. Shelly, Wisconsin, thanks so much for joining. Shelly, appreciate you. Uh, Meepoy13, shout out to you, Meepoy13. Uh, Payne Hansen, shout out to you, Payne Hansen. Thank you so much for joining. What other streamer does this, folks? Goes through the entire live chat and gives everyone a shout out. This guy, TRPZ, shout out to you. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to miss KSW tomorrow. Uh, Uriz Roy de Leon, shout out to you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. I think that might be it. As far as anybody new. Oh, French MMA, of course. Shout out to you, French MMA. Go follow them on Twitter for all your French MMA updates. If you are watching here from France. Uh, da, 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 poke, banane, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. All right, what did I miss? What did I miss here in the live chat? Uh, Got to go take a shower, then meet you at BKFC. Good times. Can't wait to see you guys for BKFC. Good job, Fabian. Shout out to you. <laughs> Autism walk. <laughs> I don't see uh, Fabian beating Eblin. Time for BKFC. Yes. Uh, give me about an hour, an hour and a half to set up the stream. I may start at the main card. I may not start during the prelims, but regardless, I will be on BKFC. I will be streaming that a little bit later. Uh, Joe McKenna. Gegard looks bad. Gegard, he's done, man. Over the mountain. When you have that many fights under your belt, I just hope he gets one more fight with a can so he can get that 50 because that would be amazing to retire. 50 nine and what is he two that would be nice thanks brother see you at bkfc stream in a little while yes thank you all i cannot say this enough thank you all for joining everyone in france everyone in the united states everyone globally for joining us on the stream it was so much fun the fights were meh but bkfc will make up for that bellator 296 is in the books ladies and gentlemen shout out to everyone who joined us live here on the city Light project youtube channel like and subscribe if you haven't already ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload we're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of this weekend again appreciate every single one of you we will be back later tonight for bkfc we'll be back tomorrow for ufc as well as top rank boxing three more streams this weekend on this channel again we do live play 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 commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat we also do live fight companions live watch parties covering all combat sports not just mma but kickboxing muay thai jiu-jitsu and the biggest promotions in mar mixed martial arts of course we sprinkle in a little bit of boxing as well that's it for me on this stream see you guys in a couple hours for bkfc follow me on twitter at vi sports tech vi sports talk subscribe to the channel the city light project youtube channel and i'll see you folks at bkfc peace see you later i'm out of here yeah.